I just looked up all her losses. Two out of three of them are from girls that are five one. Oh wow! So she must have trouble with smaller opponents. All this week we've been worried about the size advantage. I didn't even think to look at that. All right. Well, welcome everybody to Takedown Live. Thank you to Bubbles for sending me the key information that Bruna Brazil is officially starting a non MMA only fans. <laughs> Very specifically. Starting Very only specifically, fans. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was that was hilarious. So yep. um yeah, that really changed. I it was weird because when I was watching the film, I was like, ah, Brazil might be worth a sprinkle. And then I was like, no, no, it's probably it's probably Luma. And then I was like, I was like, well, you know, the height differential. And it was like, you idiot. She's always <laughs> like, she knows exactly how to fight this way. That's that's what I was yeah. thinking earlier today. I was like, I was like, that's mm -hmm. just bad handicapping. <laughs> just mm -hmm. terrible handicapping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So if you're short, you've always been short. You've always yes. had a fight. Yeah. yeah, she wasn't short this week. Um. <laughs> Dude, I, so. I'm short, and I have trouble with guys my own height. I'd rather fight taller people. Every time like, I played sports, I did better yeah. against guys that were way taller and bigger than me. You're I just faster. Loved you have it. a you have a smaller circumference of movement. It's I, I'm with you. I'm with you. So um, let's get in here. I forgot to make my graphic here because I'm an idiot. Uh, so let's see if we can try to do something a little different here. <laughs> Matthew, um, you are not going on OnlyFans. Because if <laughs> I, I know your better half, she will kill you. <laughs> in, your, in your sleep. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Uh, um, let's see. So... Uh, we're doing good on the Super Bowl video submissions. I think we're up to eight. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. If you I have ready, not. I was ready to do a second one, if need be. <laughs> I have a backup prop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah, I, I can go all day. <laughs> yeah. What else do you need? <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So we can probably start going through these. and. Get yeah, our... let's do it. Because I, I got some thoughts here, folks. Um, I, I want to win this night. I want to win. I want to get out of tonight with a win bad. All righty. All right. Um, so I guess we'll... S there, boy, there's a lot of different ways to play this. I guess start... Go we'll, we'll, we'll go fight by fight, but what's your, like... What's your, I don't know, like, favorites? My just, favorites? Just plays... Potential, mm. like, fight... Like, play of the night, like... Mm -hmm. What could we put in there? Mm -hmm. Parley okay. pieces, or what do you like? Mm -hmm. We'll start from the bottom. Okay. I mean, I'll narrow it down. Just favorites. I personally like the Pauga Goose Golf fight to end. And I think it's going to be from Zach Pauga. Okay. I saw everybody's taking the shot on Bogdan, trying to fade Zach Pauga. Zach's bigger at face offs. Heard a great interview with James Lynch. Liked that one a lot. Um, Griffin and Wells, I think, is a dead over. Okay. That's a that's a pretty decent number. Um, I like Loma now. Love uh, Rodriguez over Tavares. Love Petrosian. Love Pradas. As we know, I mean, everybody, we're taking the Pateri fight unders. I mean, that's that's what I love. Okay. That's that's what I'm targeting. Right okay. Um, it's juicy, but if we find the right pieces, I love Marcos and Arichi Lang to start round two. I love Fernie Garcia and Hyder Mill to start round two. Mm -hmm. Have that already. Yeah. So um, I'm, I'm with you there. I'm with you too on Petrosian. I, 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 I don't know if I'm missing something. I... For the life of me, I cannot figure out why. Well, the whole world's He's... not on Pet Petrosian, so that makes me feel better. Okay, well, that makes me feel better, too. I, I guess, I'm, I, like, what am I missing here with Rodolfo Villarro, who basically got knocked out by Cody Brundage? I don't know. People think maybe it's the small cage, it's the apex. Maybe it's easier for him to close the distance, but if you saw the height advantage, it's face-offs. I don't yeah. see how he's going to close the distance. I don't either. Petrosian is so slick. He's so slick, and I just don't see how this is going to be 
one takedown and submission in two minutes. And after two and a half minutes, I have 0% faith that the air is going to be able to take him down. None. Yeah, he gets tired. <laughs> it's like, None. And, I know, like, Chris Curtis stuffed, what was it, 20 takedowns? Like, 18 of them were pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> pretty bad attempts. They like were was... tired, lazy takedowns. R- Vieira, one time in his career, has shot a blast double leg from across the cage, and it was in his debut fight. And if you remember, he speared the guy like Goldberg. Yeah. We, we have not seen that since. Have not seen it since. So was it just that that guy sucked? <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> or what? <laughs> Hmm. So so yeah, I'm I'm pretty in on Petrosian. I have him bet individually already. Um, Is that just our show best bet? I don't know, man. I know you asked me that earlier. I don't know yet. I can't call it yet. See if we okay. find something better. I mean, I, I'm nervous about putting a money line as our show best bet. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I thought we were on the right track with the totals and just had a bad. Beat. Okay. Um. All right, well, let's start looking at totals here. Um, I mean, to start round two, I'm Marcos, Fernie, so I took Max. Bro, right mm-hmm. there is minus 143. I Mar- have uh, <laughs> both first two fights to over two and a half, so I'm with you on the starts right Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, both of them round two. Oh, I have that. Hold on one sec. That's what I did. So I did both of them to start round two and Carlos Pratas. Okay. That was the bet that I took with the round twos. Uh, if you like something better for a third leg. I mean, so if we do Marcos, do if, if we just keep it simple and do Marcos, the Marcos fight, the Garcia fight, and the Griffin fight. Like all it. To start, all to start round two. That's it. Like it. Okay. Like it. Um, so is it that or Petrosian? Let's make the call. Let's do the totals. Uh, Matt is giving us complete shit. He's talking mm-hmm. like we haven't given out one winner in six months. Uh, appreciate oh, it. You, you lose like one. Oh, <laughs> you look terrible. They've been bad. <laughs> oh, man. Been on the show for eight months, Matt. Eight months. <laughs> <laughs> Go back and look. Um, yeah, uh, Matt, I'm with you on, on, I think the Michael Johnson fight ends inside the distance. We'll get to that fight. Okay. I, I just, yeah. Um, I like the round two, Andy. Okay. I like it. So Garcia and Emil. God, that fight's going to be terrible. This is, uh, this is a very Andy, Nathan circa <laughs> about 12 months ago, 2020. <laughs> like funny. when you went on this, this good run of uh, yeah. starts round twos, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, All right. And so look, we're gonna have a bet on Petrosian. We know we are. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, all right, and that gets us minus minus one forty three. I like it. I think that's mm-hmm. a solid, solid bet. So solid, safe bet. Yeah, yeah. So all right, let's just start breaking down the fights. I like the over because both these guys are low volume. Um, they pick their spots with their, with their, uh, with with just their jabs and their strikes. Neither one of these guys is a submission like specialist or anything. Um, they're both really tough, mm-hmm. so um, I just think it's a really close, even fight. I'm not really sure if anybody rocks anybody at any point during this fight. Yeah, I kind of agree with you, man. I, I don't so, really have much more to add to this. Yeah, I just I it's, worry about I worry about the like oh you got to put Marco Marcos in your in your parlay like I just the guy's undefeated and I he's, he's not that good undefeated he's not, and untested he's not that good yeah <laughs> like he's, he's good but he's yeah yeah so uh, Garcia and Emil um, I mean this is a this is a bad fight. Uh, between two guys that aren't very good, mm-hmm. I think both. I think they both kind of are gonna want to wrestle and get in close, uh, work to clinch. Neither one of them has a ton of finishes. Um, Hyder is coming off contender series where it went the distance, and the guy he was fighting wasn't that great. Mm-hmm. Garcia's got to win. 
Uh, he's lost three in a row, but I just don't see a lot of I don't I don't I don't. What's the finishing maneuver <laughs> from either one of these guys? How does either uh, one of these guys finish? The only way I think it happens is if Fernie Garcia catches him with a counter shot that he doesn't see coming after he's tired. Okay. Like it's it's not going to be. I, I, like you said, I don't see big finishing upside. It's going to mm-hmm. have to be a mistake by somebody else. And as bad as Fernie Garcia is, he stays in there, man. Oh, he's he, hangs in. He's, he yeah. hangs in there, and he's kind of competitive. So, um, all right. Uh, so, yeah, you want to talk uh, Powell and Guskov? I, man, we made money on O's de Beer against Guskov, but it was one of those where it was like you could have backed up the Brinks truck and mm-hmm. <laughs> made a killing against well, my, Guskov. I think my, he sucks. My Brinks, my my bank truck is backing up possibly for this fight. I okay. Mean, from what I heard, from James Lynch did interviews. Listen to them all. Love James Lynch. Legit interviewer. Um, like the interview with Zach. You know, he knows that his back is against the wall. He knows that people don't want to watch him fight, and he acknowledged that that was a problem. Yeah. And he realizes if he wants to stick around... He has to. He has to make a move. Um, he's also been training with Devin Clark. They're in the same gym. Uh, he talked about being exciting, and I think it's just going to lend even more to an under. I'm really tempted to take Zach by finish, because Bogdan, I don't think can go three rounds with anybody who's in the UFC, UFC no quality way. or not. I think this kid is garbage. If he does win this fight, it's going to be a flash finish. Mm-hmm. You know, where he catches Zach just like Usman did. Mm-hmm. And everyone's going to be back on him, and I'm going to fade him again. I'm going to fade him <laughs> like I faded Jordan Wright until he's gone. And just like it. We can like ride it. a guy to a title, or we can fade the shit out of people like Shannon Ross. And, yeah. You know? So I'm on Zach, man. Okay. The under is probably a good one in that in, in, in. In that one, I, I not mm-hmm. impressed with Guskov at all. He was worse than I thought. I, I didn't think he was, was going to be bad. good against Ostemir. He was worse than I thought he was going to be. He was so. bad, and when you put that into perspective, that he got subbed by Ostemir, I think that tells you how bad he really is. <laughs> yeah, uh, Max Griffin and Wells. You want to talk about why you like the over? Uh, Max Griffin is a durable, annoying veteran that is never. He's never going to be any higher than he is. He's. Only going to go a little bit lower each time, maybe at the end of his career, but he's tough, he's durable, he doesn't get finished. Jeremiah Wells got caught in a submission on a fight that was going to decision that he was going to win. Shit happens. Running away with. Other than that, <laughs> even, even his fight with Semmelsberger, yeah, they were both wobbled, but that fight went long. So, like, Jeremiah Wells is tough. I don't see the submission upside from Griffin like I do with Carlston Harris. So that takes the worry out of Wells getting finished. I think it's a dead over, and the over two and a half at minus 120 is a damn good, damn good bet, in my opinion. Okay. I, I don't like see it. where the finishing ability is going to come. Okay. From either side. I don't have a strong opinion on this fight, so I, I definitely uh, just uh, go with you on that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pracnio and Clark. I don't really have an opinion on this one either. I don't like Pracnio. I don't think he's very good. And then I watched face-offs and weigh-ins, and I was like, oh, he's much bigger than Devin Clark. Yeah. That's a problem. So yeah. this is a – this is a. I think this is a lose-your-money if you bet on this fight type. <laughs> like, like nothing would surprise no me. No matter like what, Like, yeah. nothing would surprise me. If it went yeah. the distance, okay. If there was a finish by, by anybody, it wouldn't surprise me. I, I – to me, it's – Almost unbettable, unless you uh, unless you found something crazy. I think I'm gonna be interested in this fight to go the distance or over two and a half at minus yeah. 166. These guys always fight close. I mean, Devin Devin Clark, notoriously tough, made a submission mistake. Listen to his interview, acknowledge the problems. Practicing was not a submission threat, so let's forget about that. Yeah. Does he have knockout power? Can he knock out Devin Clark? Lesser men have tried, or, or greater men have tried and have failed. So, and Devin Clark's not like a, a volume monster. Correct. Where he's going to melt Procneau. Yeah, his cardio stinks, but is this like the other week with Pogues and Peterson where we know if it starts round two, we're just going to have a 
tired, <laughs> sloppy 15 minute fight. <laughs> right. Kind of feels like it, doesn't it? It does. Kind of feels like it. So that's the only way I would look. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Next we got uh, Luma in Brazil. Uh, I mean, I was starting to lean uh, Luke Bone Me and then OnlyFans. And I, listen, this is one of the theories. This is one of the better theories that has been hitting time and time again. You got baby theory and mm -hmm. OnlyFans theory has really, really been hitting. And if Brazil is... Got one, one foot out the door. I was gonna say one boob out the door. <laughs> one, one exposed breast out one, the door. One, ni one nip out already. One nipple. She's got one nip out. Out the door. <laughs> then, <laughs> then um, yeah, because Loma's coming in to win, baby. Yeah. Like, like she, she, mm -hmm. she she's a. Uh, her cardio's good. She's for. She's aggressive. She doesn't stop. And if Bruna Brazil is not ready, I mean, she went to decision against Shanna Bannon. That was about as basic as a fight gets. It wasn't Bannon very was, good. Bannon was horrible. Bannon was horrible. horrible. She got starched by Gomez and then knocked out Marduk Mann, who's awful. Awful. It's awful. <laughs> Marduk Mann is one of the worst I've seen. Awful. <laughs> off on Contender Series. So, yeah, her last two wins are against really, really bad opponents, and Luke Boomy would be what minus two hundred over at worst over both Bannon and Mark yeah. Man, probably minus three or four hundred against Mark Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think <clears throat> we're looking at, at Luke Boomy. Well, she left Bang Muay Thai in Thailand. She's yes. now training out of Canada. She's only two and a half hours away from Vegas, so she doesn't have to deal with jet lag and any of that. We've seen a lot of women's fighters going to Canada. So thinking this was a smart career move. Thinking yeah. that here's here's where my head's at with her. And this was before the OnlyFans. Uh she well she got that submission her last fight and showed improvement in her grappling. Yeah. And I think it's one of those things where she knows if she wants to get better, she has to leave Thailand. So I think this is a calculated move. We know who UFC wants to win this. Not impressive, Bruno Brazil. The question is, is she finisher or does it go the distance? Mm, How okay. do you see this coming? Okay. You know, Brazil's been finished, uh, been beaten three times. Uh, two of them, those girls were five foot one. So she obviously has a problem with shorter opponents. The other one was five five. So it wasn't like she was a giant. Um, I think the leg kicks are going to be a problem. I wonder if we're looking at a late Luma finish. Round three. Yeah. Accumulation of damage. Leg kick adds up. You know, and she will lock up that sub. So that's the question for me in this fight. Yeah, probably just try and figure out a nice little, um, maybe some kind of parlay or something with it. Mm -hmm. um, if I just want to... What is what is her money line right now? Minus two ninety eight. So you're looking at something else. I, I I can find something else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we like Luke Boomy. Just kind of. Do you take a prop or do you? Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Okay. Time is tough. What do you think about Oki and Kwamba? I mean, I was ready to fire away on Oki big time, mm -hmm. and uh, he just had a he had a great matchup. It was set up perfect for him. I'm. I'm nervous about these. I'm now really nervous about these contender series guys coming into yeah, UFC. I, I, I really am. And then, so who does he get matched up against? He gets matched up against a guy that I bet on mm -hmm. on contender series as an underdog, and I was, I was on Kawamba Island, population one. It was it was me and me only, and yeah. it wasn't a great fight. I mean, but Kawamba survived, striking mm -hmm. his. Uh, I, I I would say he's got professional striking. Like, yeah, it's that's a good description. Technical, good. but not not flashy or anything. <clears throat> um, I, I so I'm not going to bet it because Oki was planning for a 37 year old, you know, Demir, mm. and now he's getting a younger, more athletic, much faster kickboxer. Mm. And I think this fight is. I hope it goes the distance because I want to see these two put on a show. I think they're both really good. I think Oki's better, but Kwamba just was in a fight. 
Uh, he's in shape. Like he he didn't just come ah, off of a okay. yeah. He didn't just come off the couch. He's in fight shape. Mm-hmm. Now it was against a bum at Tough Enough. Uh, <laughs> so, but it yeah, you know, took it took care of business. So I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna stay away and just hope that these guys put on a really good show because I think Oki in particular could be a star in UFC. He's very marketable, and I hope it translates. But I think Kwamba's gonna be a nuisance for him. I'm thinking we're getting a massive discount on Oki. I don't think him fighting okay. a week ago has been been stressed enough. Uh, I've had a lot of inside sights on the UFC of recent, as you know. Yep. And the one thing that I've taken away is schedule, 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 schedule. Okay. Fight, fighters like to stay on schedule. And fighting one week and fighting the next week is not on schedule. Hmm. There's, there is guaranteed a cheat meal in there. There is a cocktail. Oh, uh, okay. There is a, okay, I have three months till my next fight. What are we doing? Let's make plans. Okay. You are not focused on getting in a cage fight, and now you're in the UFC. Um, I, I think that Oki's the real deal. Okay. I think that Oki's the real deal. You know, it also did take Kwamba, I believe, to the second round to end that fight. So it's yeah. not like he had a fight that ended in 30 seconds. He had That's true. an actual fight. He fought for seven minutes. You know, full contact. You're beat up no matter what. There's stuff that hurts. You're you're probably right because if we think about it, this is a contender series fight. It is. It's a it's a contender series fight. So mm-hmm. um Okay. I, I mean, hey, listen, we both love Oki. Mm-hmm. We, I mean, the, the two of our favorites from contender series are coming in. So maybe you're right. Maybe maybe this Kwamba not you know, not like Oki doesn't need does Oki doesn't fight a UFC caliber veteran, and even though had you know even though Hadzvik was, or, he's uh, trash. Yeah, yeah, he's thirty seven yeah, years old. Yeah, trash. Was, was, yeah, yeah. So okay, all right. I think I could be talked into Oki. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm worried about this next one. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Giles and Protez. We love Protez. The biggest selling point is that he's coming out of fighting nerds, that he was training there. And normally I don't pay that much attention to gyms because I think once you get inside the cage, uh, you know, whatever, the Fighting Nerds is absolutely one of the gyms I pay attention to. They know how to put together a game plan for their fighters. Mm -hmm. Every time you've watched somebody who comes from Fighting Nerds, they have a game plan, and it's always to attack the weakness of the other fighter. And... um, I think that I, I disagree with this line completely. Minus two forty five is kind of insane. Now, is Giles good? Of course not, but he is a UFC fighter. Been in there uh, against a lot, and we've just seen these contender series guys struggle. Mm-hmm. Um, it, you know, they're fighting dog shit on contender series. They really are. It feels like it takes them a fight or two to get kind of get their their wheels under them. So, I mean, I'm listen. I'm not going to bet on Giles. I just think it's going to be close. So. What do you like? <clears throat> Let me ask you. <laughs> do we trust our reads off Contender Series? Yes. Yeah. Was he our absolute favorite, undoubtedly, for the entire undoubtedly. season? Undoubtedly. Yes. yes. I'm trusting our read on this guy. Okay. I'm trusting our read on this guy. Trevin Giles is not good. Now, this could bite us. Yes, I don't like the number. I agree with you a thousand percent. I hate the number, but I'm going to trust our read on Protez, and I think Protez gets this done inside the distance. There is a level of striking that this guy has, and I heard another handicapper say it. I wish I had a show so I could have said it first, but it just <laughs> reminds me of Alex Pereira. It's oh, that wow. He's okay. older in his career. He's had the fights. He's, you know... He's been around, he's been through wars, he's been hit, he's been chin-checked. He's, he's experienced a lot of what you can experience. He has way more experience than your average debutante. Let's put it that way. He's 17 uh, and 6. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's let, been let's, fighting him for a while. A while, all right? <laughs> he's, a, he's a lifetime kickboxer. That's different than just starting kickboxing when you're 25. Like, 
what does Je- Trevin Giles do fantastic? I'm sick of hearing about Trevin Giles' jab that he doesn't use. <laughs> I'm sick of it. <laughs> That he every fight, use. every fight. That he doesn't use. That's every great. That fight. he doesn't use. <laughs> Trevin Giles has the best jab in the UFC. Oh, does he? Okay. Explain his record to me. I think Protez finishes him. I do. Okay. Um, I, I love really it. like Protez as a parlay piece. Okay. All righty. Um, I hope he does. We would, lo- we would love to be right about and Protez, man. M- money's coming in on Trevin Giles. So, Interesting. Protez is down to 238, so it dropped a couple. Okay. And we get something to watch. Uh, we already started talking about Rodolfo Vera and Armin Petrosian. I just think Armin Petrosian is just constantly underrated. How is he he's, underrated? He's always been underrated, and we've made money on that fact his entire career. I, yeah, I'm with so, you. I, I mean, on the feed, it's not even a, it's no contest. It's no. Petrosian with the distance, with the reach, with the jabs, with the movement. I just, mm. You know, and so you're left with, well, Vieira, sub, and it's like, okay, he's smaller. Okay, he's got cardio problems. Uh, Okay, he couldn't take Chris Curtis down. Okay, he got absolutely walloped by uh, by Brundage. I mean, any other fighter, he would have been finished after that, except Cody Brundage is like, how can I turn this win into a loss? Mm -hmm. That's how. Um, (laughs) Yeah, and then he and then he submitted Dustin Stoltfus. Whoop de fuck. <laughs> so, um, I like I and you know before that you know submitted by Hernandez, uh, you know, and then before that, I mean, look at it's a bunch the of hell chumps. Is sub, it's a sub bunch par- of chumps. Yeah, it's it really is. So I, I just I, I I it's one of those where I'm looking at the line and I'm going, how is Armin Petrosian like close to even money? When his loss in the UFC is to Kyle Barallo. <laughs> like, and is that is that why people like Vieira? Like, well, and wait, that's he lost to a grappler. He didn't like get finished monster. either. No, no. He didn't get it finished was a, by Kyle. No, <laughs> no. I mean, Barallo is a monster. So mm-hmm. I just, I, I think it's, Petro- I, 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 I think, I think there are so many more paths to victory for Petrosian than there are for Vieira. I guess mm-hmm. would be the other thing. Like, what's the path for Vieira? Because when he gets guys down, he lets them back up. It's That's not like he's going to hold them down for three rounds. Unless he shows some giant improvement in his wrestling control. Each round's going to have to start on the feet, guys. Yeah. And I, I, he may get one takedown, but I think he's going to get one takedown and one takedown only. He's either going to submit Armin in the first takedown or it's going to be a Petrosian landslide after that. After that, he gets up from one takedown. I think the fight is over. So maybe we can live bet this and get a killer number. It we also might get steamed out of the building by fight time. So I agree. I don't think there's a reason to wait on Petrosi if you like I him. Agree. The number's perfectly fine. So. I agree. I mean, I, I have a I have a two uh, percent play on him at plus money from earlier in the week. Okay, all right. That's where I'm at right now. I'll watch it till the uh, end. Okay. Um, Flowers versus Michael Johnson. Um, you've got a guy who's getting too old f- for the UFC versus a guy who should not be in the UFC. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> what do we do? I think Flowers is bad. Like, I bad. I think they're both bad. Bad. But, <laughs> all right, first fights. Oh, first fights getting ready to start already. Oh, shit. So, we'll, get, we'll come back to this. Unless yeah. you want to, you, you can start talking about Flowers okay. and Johnson because so, I just think I just think Flowers is terrible. He, yeah. he he came off a contender series because the guy broke his shoulder, and I know people say, well, it's because of the slam. You go back and look at the replay; he, he was it was hurt before the slam. Mm-hmm. So then he comes in and he just looked he looked terrible. He can't look worse than he did last fight. That's the best thing I can say for Darius Flowers. If he does, it's great for me because I I just don't see how this fight goes fifteen minutes. I think that's, I think Johnson's point. chin might be over, guys. I think we're forgetting you, how bad of a knockout that was. That was a bad knockout. That's a great point. I mean, that, yes, absolutely. That was unconscious before he hit the ground knockout. And then the head bounces off the ground. <laughs> so he yeah. got, got knocked out twice that's in that fight. That's a good point. That's a um, good point. Flowers is coming down a weight class. He should he's bigger than he ever was in a fight. His cardio could be shit. This cardio shit, I think Johnson can finish him. 
it's not going to be a 15 minute wrestling affair because yeah i don't think flowers has the cardio to do it he's going to come out hard come out fast and somebody's going going out in this fight yeah all right all right so we're looking for overs here mm -hmm. come on This is exactly what I expected from a Daniel Marcos fight. Mm -hmm. Just standing in front of each other, flinching. What time are you at? Uh, 4.36. Oh, are we at odds with bubbles? We're at odds. Vito, I agree a thousand percent. If. <laughs> it's a huge if. How many times have we seen Michael Johnson just have it in the palm of his hand and be yeah. done? Calm down, guys. Boy. You didn't make anything of Marcos missing by that little bit, right? Nah. Yeah, it was like, I think something was off with the scale today, honestly. Mm -hmm. There you go. Huggy time. There we go. This is perfect. Huggy Let's keep time. Keep this here. Oh, boy. Boy, I forgot how bad a Ricci laying is. <laughs> we're, we're two minutes in against Daniel Marcos, and he looks like he's been hit with a wood chipper. <laughs> <laughs> a low-volume guy, and you just done. <clears throat> that was a spectacular flying knee, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Picture of athleticism. Jesus, a Ricci Lang. <laughs> Just all bloodied up, my God. That bloody nose is going to seal the deal for this yeah. fight because nothing's happening. Ooh. Maybe not. That's great. He said if he listens that he was supposed to wrestle. <laughs> if he listens. It's the state of their trading blows. No wrestling whatsoever. <laughs> like, not even close to wrestling. There you go. Immediately breaks it. Yeah. Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, they were thinking of wrestling and India. Uh, both their ankles are wrapped. Gee, I wonder what the game plan was. Right. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great <laughs> if a fighter on his walkout wore like the wrestling headgear? Oh yeah. Right? Just came out and like Kurt Angle used to do. That's great. 
You know the Steiner brothers? They used to come out with their... Yes, yes. Good body kick. All right, there's one, buddy. Don't blow the fucking blood out of your eyes and have your eyes blow up where they cancel the fight like uh, Cerrone did. Remember that? <laughs> it just blew the people's eyes just blew up. By the way, Donald Cerrone with the quote of the night last night in Power Slap. Did you happen to I catch didn't, it? I didn't hear him. I was listening to something else. I saw him on, but I didn't. It was a riot. Uh, the girl Nina's like, so what do you think, Donald? He's like, well, I've been to every single one. And uh, if you want to watch people get knocked out and hear what CTE sounds like, this is the place to be. This Dude, what he, power this slap what he goes was, right to. Power slap was off the chain last night. It was. It was great, man. It was I, great. I, I know why they did it. <laughs> there is. I know. I know. <laughs> the the the. Uh, K.O. Chris lost time at the end of his life. Yes. So if you guys didn't watch Power Slap, the main event, K.O. Chris was... Well, he, he did it to himself because he was flinching. And, he, and so he had to take two hits in one round. And that was where it, that was where it turned. Yeah. Um, he was absolutely concussed. He was absolutely wobbled. He could not have counted to two if you asked him. And they sent him out there to take one more slap. And it was just like, mm -hmm. we need a highlight finish in our main event. Send him out there. And I like, I was, I didn't like it. I got to be honest. I didn't like it. It was a little much, buddy. It was a little much. Oh. Hang in there. <clears throat> um, he literally couldn't count to two. No, it the was one bad. The one round, he, t he was saying the other guy didn't go on his count. And... He literally did, could not count to could two. Could not count to two, yes. That's how concussed he was, and they sent him out again. And I get it, it's their own their own decision. They're grown men. Mm -hmm. But I thought that crossed the line. I will say one thing in defense of it. Manny had some damage on his face. He was dropped twice. It was close. It, it was, was one of those close, things. Yeah. It was close, and it was the fourth round, and you're like. It'd be a real shame, but at the same time, you could visibly see that he was not 100% yeah. there. It was bad. Yeah. 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 Chris, I I do not want to see Chris in a power slap match for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. He needs a lot of time to heal. So, And then Jim and I cashed the most insane, amazing oh. bet ever. Here, let me pull it up because we can show it. It's free on Rumble. That's true. Wait, which one, Vernon or the? Oh, which, the Vernon, the girl uh, our girl who won. The Vernon slap was my highlight of the night. It was the best. Okay, that was the best. So we'll let me see if I can. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I can pull up the whole thing so we can show highlights. Oh, this, this will be, be great, great, guys. This will be great. We'll finally get all you in on a live show <laughs> for the next one. If, if we were live last night, we would have had a blast. I'll tell all of you right now. Yeah, that was a good night. <laughs> it was, it was fun. a good night. You remember when I said that I was a little worried about this fight for uh, Daniel Marcos? Mm -hmm. Can we delete that? Can I go back and <laughs> change that? <laughs> like... Andy, he's not running away from it now. Let's not... Let's not no, pretend this guy isn't a fade train waiting to happen. He absolutely um, is a fade train. Like, yeah. like I can't wait to fade this guy. By the way, you know who else is a fade train? Is the ref in this fight. That was one of the worst refing oh, performances Jason? I've ever yeah. seen in any sport. What yeah. Jason Herzog did in Power Slap last night. That was embarrassing. Mm -hmm. They didn't know the rules. They had to check with the ringside officials on how many dis how many uh, fouls you could have. He kept How giving warnings. It? Yeah, it was he weird. kept giving warnings instead of taking points. It was silly. Well, Lang took a low blow, I guess. Hmm? Arici Lang. Mm -hmm. Low blow. Mm -hmm. Oh, that got him in the Arici's. <clears throat> Take a drink, bitches. Let's get back to our, uh, our old ways here. <laughs> what a classic Daniel Marcos fight. Like, 
not landing a ton, but whatever he does land is like mm-hmm. really effective. Yeah, well, how many people took him at what plus six or minus six hundred and parlayed him? Oh, there's another. All right, so we've had an eye poke and two groin shots in a span of two minutes. Nice. We're off and running. Over one and a half caches, folks. There were some really bad slaps last night. Like, really, really bad slaps. Like, guys just completely missing. Remember the, the super heavyweights? Yeah. Like, somehow. Oh, the DQ? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, s- somehow you have uh, one of the mo- one of the more massive human beings walking the planet. Somehow the guy almost missed his head completely with a slap. Yeah. He's not moving. He's standing. <laughs> He's just standing say, there. The guy has a head the size of a Buick, and you miss it. Yeah. It was um, okay. So did Dana make a wise investment? Um, one thousand percent. Yeah, it's, it's, what in the hell is going on, Jim? I don't know. Don't worry, he won't take a point. Herzog's a, is like I said, he's like Oprah, just handing out warnings. You get a warning, you get a warning, you get a warning, you get a warning. Oh, well, you can't fault him for that. You jumped into okay, it. Okay, that's true, that's on. true, that's true. Yeah, so, so Power Slap's never going to be like, the most massive like sport on the planet but is there a place for it absolutely yeah. it's got a it's got a small but probably like loyal fan base i would say so that's what did, what did they push last night andy what did they start to push i don't know what betting what? odds Oh, that's right. Yeah. The, fir- the first couple times shows they've not talked about it a lot and last night they had the odds on over unders flashing on the screen, the odds on the fighters and their previous odds history. They were throwing it at us. That's going to be a gambling gold mine. Yeah, I find it very difficult to bet on because of the disqualification factor. And that the first is a, slot. yeah. Um, That's big. Yeah. So Yeah, so I I, I do th- I do think he made a wise investment, I think. Um mm-hmm. I'm sure there's a reason why they don't do it, but I'm surprised that they haven't tried to pair a couple of these things together. Like like how they do those grappling tournaments. Mm-hmm. Why, why not throw a grappling fight into this fight yeah. night? Like like I'm surprised they haven't tried to cross you know well, promote. So I'm I'm but they won't do it, but I was like, you know, a couple of like I will tell you if they would have started this fight night with the women's power slap in the main event that would have had eyeballs. Oh, that yeah. would have had eyeballs. Mm-hmm. So, name three people you would like to power slap. Uh, the head of uh, the head of my HOA. Uh, that that's a that's a no brainer. Um, uh, the and the the two guys that stole my stage. Although I'd like to do more than slap them. Mm-hmm. I would bring weapons. I would take the DQ. <laughs> wow. Lang hit him, and boy, his head got what? Oh, oh! Lang slipped on brass knuckles. Oh, oh! And those have razors Dumb. on them. <laughs> like, yeah. Why did it sound like metal on metal? <laughs> sound like a frying pan hit somebody in the head. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Craig, I'm not gonna name mine. I don't want to get myself in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Roger Goodell. Roger Goodell. <laughs> Roger Goodell, that's a funny one. <laughs> Plus, uh, think about it this way. If I was to slap Roger Goodell, the slow-mo replay would be glorious. That Just would be pretty glorious. funny. Yeah. If there was some way that you could, like, throw a flag and then hit him, too, that would be amazing. <laughs> throw like, it up. Hey, Roger, look. <laughs> Just... Is Richie Lang going to pull the, um, I, I can't continue? I think he is too. Mm-hmm. So beginning of round two, no contest or DQ? It's unintentional, keep in mind. That was an unintentional fact. Because I I, it didn't make it to round three, so I don't think they go to the scorecards. 
So it's going to be, I mean, that was unintentional, so it's no contest. I would think, right? Yeah. He's not going to continue. Look at this. He's not going to pop. If, if it's been four minutes, he's not just going to pop up. I think this is the old I'm losing the fight. No, it's the Brundage. Mm -hmm. That's right. Stand up. Come on. Get your shit together. Marcos is getting pissed now. <laughs> imagine, nope, he's not, done. imagine not cashing your Daniel Marcos tickets. What a shock. On a no contest. Mother well, no contest is going to blow everything out, right? Overs, unders. It's just void. Everything. Well, no, th to start round two still counts. Yes. Because yes, that, that happened. And the one and a half counts. So anybody who had to start round three or over two and a half, that's going to void, right? Does he get more than five minutes? Oh, uh, he's not. Yep. Jesus. Great start to the night, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking weird. All right, so you want to see the Vern slap real quick? Yeah. I can All right, so, this. so this is Vern. Goes by the name The Mechanic. Here's one thing you got to love about power slap guys. These are literally guys that they just pulled off the street. These are not people mm -hmm. that train for, like, so you'll have guys on there, and they'll come on, and they'll be like, this guy's a mechanic, and he also owns a roofing company. And you're like, mm -hmm. you're like wait, so what is it? Wait, what does he do? And he's a power slapper. Okay. All right. So this is Vern. You want to describe Vern a little bit? So Vern's a farm boy. Um, literally a farmer. That's it. No training. No combat sports training. He's, what, 36? So Vern's got one of the hardest slaps that we've ever had. Like measurements. His knockouts are crazy. Uh, but his thing has always been he has no chin. Is this just a knockout, Andy? Yeah. Or is this the fight? So he had already taken two shots here. And, uh, yeah, this is fun. And you just watch, and, uh, watch Hamlet take a little nappy nap here. <laughs> Puts him down nice and easy. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, wait, it's not over. He tries to stand up and no. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no, oh. you, we're gonna need you to stay down. <laughs> but the the sound, the sound of this slap. You know, look, you guys go on go on Twitter. Uh, they yeah. have all these replays on Twitter. The sound of that one was quite something. It was it was good. It's good to see Vern get a win. You know, he, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's not a he's not a piece of junk. God, yeah, he he just murdered Hamlet. <laughs> That was awesome. That was a good one. The woman's fight. You want to tell everybody about the roller coaster ride of emotion we had there? Yeah, we'll save it. We'll save. <laughs> we'll save. We'll save. We'll save. We'll save. Uh, let's That's see. They're one. gonna do a. Okay. Yeah, we'll get through these fights. All right, Fernie Garcia. Mm -hmm. So we're liking over here, right? Start round two. Mm-hmm.
Ah, crap, wrong button. Yeah, JC, the first fight to start round two, this fight to start round two, and the Max Griffin fight to start round two. Yeah, Hector, it was a... Uh... It was a nut shot, but... It didn't seem like a uh, you know, big one. Look at these guys that Emil's finishing. Come on. <laughs> it was, it just falling out like break. a sack of potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Give me a break. All right. Bubbles on the other side. He always does this. He does. Have you not noticed Bubbles always does that? Mm -hmm. When we're like, we like the over, Bubbles is like, I like the under. We have two very different styles. The one thing I could have done without on Power Slap was them bringing all the... Uh, Live streamers up for an interview. That was a, a genius marketing idea right there. <laughs> have them all come up at once, like three of them at a time, and have yeah. them Nina do the interview. That was painful to listen to. That went on mute. <laughs> yeah. So you have all the videos already cut together, ready to go? Um, I I need to put uh, Kelly just sent me hers. Oh, good. Yeah, if you yeah if you guys want to send me a video, you guys have had all week, but uh, just take out your phone, record a video, and send it to me. Could not be easier. <laughs> I, I, there's some, I like, there's no like obvious props that the people sent me. They dug deep. Good. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm pretty, it's, it's pretty cool. That's right up our alley for Road to Millions. Oh, it's great. on the main props. Yeah. I was shocked that nobody took mine because I did my video late. I was shocked that nobody even said that. Oh, said your prop? Mm hmm Somebody did a prop involving your guy. Okay. But it's not, it's not the same. Yeah, I did a podcast. <laughs> so I did a podcast. I, I, I just, I, I, ha I said yes. Like, <laughs> um, one guy was like, "We do a podcast. Would you like to come on?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, "No details, nothing." I was like, "You got balls enough to ask?" Yeah, I'll go on sure. there. Well, it was it was a guy from New Jersey. And I think a guy from Philly, and it, they just checked all the boxes, man. Just like before we started recording, they're arguing. <laughs> and That's had a blast. Where this came from. Had a blast. Okay. Rob and Good. Stu. Yeah. So, Hector, all you do is take a video of what your favorite Super Bowl play is and send it to me. And when we do our Road to Million show tomorrow, I got a montage of everyone that's sending a video. Just 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Just take a selfie video. I like. Patrick Mahomes over passing yards because of this. Or make mm -hmm. it obscure. Hell, you can do the spread. Of course, Bubbles, like, instead of recording a video, is just going to type it in and send yeah. it in the chat, like, Jack. completely not understanding the assignment. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why, that's why we love you, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs>
Yeah, just do it. Do it today. While hell, while we're sitting here. Mm-hmm. The freaking Blackhawks last night ruined my Super Bowl Dude, bet parlay. Dude, I I, I turned off. it off. I turned it off. So did I. Th- it was three to one in late in the third period. I was like, then, yeah. I, then I then I like check. I'm like overtime, and then I went on Twitter and Rangers fans were just losing their minds about mm-hmm. how the Rangers just stopped playing. They did fucking. I couldn't believe it. I had under two and a half and the opening kickoff to be a touchback at plus money. And they we'll have to wait out. and take Blackhawks under again. I mean, fucking. Oh, yeah. Oh, just, yeah. That's happening. No, I that's saw the happening. late goal, which was a shot and a tip in. Fucking random. It was just one period of cheesiness. I'm like, okay. we're. Yeah. I, I mm-hmm. was like, I hope the Rangers lose. That yeah. was the worst. That was the worst part is the Rangers won in overtime. Yep. All right. Yeah, everybody who had them minus one and a half loses. <laughs> yeah. Just one of those games. All right, guys. Can we hug a little bit? Oh man, they are throwing Mm -hmm. Takedown's coming Takedown's coming There we go There it is, yup I knew that was coming This is good No, that's that's not good Use that Oh, come on, Fernie. Yeah, this could be a big uh, error for Emil, guys, if he's willing to expend this much energy this early. Seriously. Mm-hmm. Let's keep the live lines open on this. <laughs> I am dead serious. Dude, is he on his back freaking foot already? Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Oh no. Shit. Hang in there. Hang in there. Let him go, ref. Let him go, ref. Let him go. Let him go, Smith. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. It's like oh, the most exciting shit. fight of the night. I hope they're both tired. My God. Who the fuck saw this coming? Fernie, cover up, for God's sake. I cannot believe this. What is happening, Jim? Oh, we're so fucked. We're so fucked. Can we get to a control position, somebody? <laughs> Just hang right? out here. Hang out for a minute. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. Nope. Nope. Fight that hand. Nope. Ah, oh, we're fucking done. No, it's not in there. It's not. Now, oh, now it is. Come on, Fernie. Fight. He's got his arm trapped. He's in trouble. You got to get your arm out, dude. Oh, my God. We got a minute 58 of this. <sighs> Come on, hang Come on. Come on, Fernie. Get that arm out of there, buddy. Hang in there. There it is. He got the arm out. Nice. Oh, and he's on top. Oh, my God. Bro, give me Fernie Garcia the second they open this. Give me Fernie Garcia. You've got to be kidding me. What in the hell is going on? No, no. Don't you get submitted in the first now. No, I think I don't think I don't know if Fernie's got yeah, the energy. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it tight. Uh, uh, he's out. Okay. Come on, stay safe for one minute, please. <laughs> this, this is horrible. Crazy. This is horrible crazy. handicapping. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, well, it's all right. After this fight, we'll find out that these aren't, like, the same guys. They just changed their names. Seriously. <laughs> Who the hell are these two? Huh? Hang in. 45. No. Okay. <laughs> what we have, like fifty-seven significant strikes. <laughs> Has Daniel Marcos had that many in his career? <laughs> We've had. We're gonna be in the eighties for significant strikes. We're gonna have five submission attempts. We're gonna have three knockdowns, and this is gonna start round two. No, 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 no. Come on. Hang in there. No. No. No, Mark. No, Mark. No, Mark. No, Mark. Oh, thank God. Mark Smith oh wanted to God. stop that Oh, my God. He was ready fight. to stop it. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Can this start? Because it has to start round two. <laughs> It'll start. It'll start. We're okay. This is going to be interesting. I want to see what... Fucking Hyder looks like, man. Whew. Man. Well, this is a good sign for our contender series, guys, if this is the ones that... We might, we might find out tonight that we went through all the shitty contender series fighters and these are the guys that... <laughs> actually want to get Jesus. you know they want to push <laughs> I can't believe it. it was wild man okay just start just start baby <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it. oh my god that was wild what the hell man <laughs> whoa whoa, whoa. <laughs> Jesus, where was the slow pace wrestling? I would be willing to bet you this may not see round three. <laughs> oh, gosh. Look at this fight. I watched film on both these guys. <laughs> I did not see any of this from no. either of them. Like, <laughs> none. What the fuck? They're just throwing haymakers. Yeah, Fernie's in deep, deep shit. Yeah, we never saw in film them fighting like Griffin Bonner in the... Uh, <laughs> 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 <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like Bernie, just why don't you try to wrestle? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like your wrestling's not horrible. Come or on. just do anything besides what you've been doing for the first six minutes and thirty seconds of this fight. What time are you at, Jim? I had to Three, refresh. <laughs> Three twenty six. Oh man. Mm -mm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> My God. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Every exchange is just. Oh, it's going to end. Wow. That one hurt. <laughs> Cash it. <laughs> I don't know how. But cash it. <laughs> oh, bubbles caches. <laughs> hey, we and all we cash. cash. <laughs> wow. Wow, man. That was wild. Wow. Yeah, wild. Did not see that coming.
Whew, man. That was a hell of a fight. <laughs> yeah, that, that was, we both that was guys, but Jesus, yeah, exactly. That was insane, man. Um, here, we want to start. We, we can finish breaking down. Uh, uh, we can finish breaking down the uh, yeah, fights go for it. here. Yeah, go for so, yeah, so Johnson and Flowers, yeah, live lines for sure. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I, me personally, I think Flowers stinks. So, uh, Tavares and Rodriguez. I can bet against Brad Tavares. I'll take it. I'm in. I'm in. We that like Robocop. We, we, we had Tavares in a parlay against Chris Weidman, and we were nervous because yeah. Chris Weidman, it, it, Weidman wasn't walking him down. He was, it, can you call it limping him down? Like, Weidman is just hobbling around on half a leg, mm -hmm. and Tavares cannot finish. Just low volume. It was so bad. So, so bad. And, I mean, I don't know. Like, is... Do you think Rodriguez does have chin issues, or was that Ferreira fight just a one in a million? I think it was a one in a million. You think so? Uh, I, uh, yeah. I think he's young enough to not have chin issues, first of all. He's not a okay. dinosaur. I think he's learning how to make this weight better. You know, it could have been a tough weight cut. We don't know. He's a That's big true. guy for this weight class. Uh, but I think he just got caught on the button. That's all. I mean, I just I don't. I'm not ready to buy into that narrative that his chin is bad. And honestly, yeah, Tavares has always had a great chin, but we all know that doesn't last forever. Truth. You know, it's, so we're going to see that end very soon. It could be now. Yeah. Very much could be now, you know. I think he's got the advantage on the ground if it gets there. Yeah, yeah. Tavares has great takedown defense, but he can be taken down. Um, and who says he has to take him down? If he hurts him and wobbles him, gets him up against the fence, we could end up in a dominant position. And I just think there's way more value on, you know, the Rodriguez side. So mm -hmm. as a parlay piece, I love it. Absolutely love it. What's the path of victory to Tavares? Decision, somehow. Oh uh, well, if if the chin can, if we're wrong about the chin, then he he knocks him out. But he hasn't not knocked he anybody out do since that. 2018. That's not what he does. Yeah, exactly. If you can't get Weidman out of there, you ain't getting. <laughs> I gotta believe you're not getting RoboCop out of there. I mean that Wyman fight. Wyman looked like, you know, Jason marching down his prey, <laughs> like the the horror movie guy that everyone's running, <laughs> but you're just lurching towards them. Yeah. Um. Is it pronounced Briz Brizcheck? I don't have the slightest clue. Pal. Okay, so I'll just sum this up. Uh, mm -hmm. So Paterius, <laughs> so Paterius not been to the third round. Three, he's lost three fights, won one mm -hmm. of them. All three of his losses, he got murdered. His one win, he took out Rua, and I'm pretty sure the UFC didn't like what he did after the fight. Mm -hmm. So they put him up against murderers. Even then, he almost beat Bellato, if you yeah. remember it. Like he, he, so he has no cardio after about a round and a half. Then it all falls off a cliff. And he's coming up against a guy coming from the Octagon series, his five first round finishes in a row. They these you won't see four seconds of grappling no. <laughs> in, the, in this fight. It's just I think it's just stand there, bang away. Even at face offs, they were just mean mugging each other. It was like these guys are just gonna come in there and throw and throw and throw. That's why I kinda I, I think there's a lot of value on Pateria, to be honest with you. I get everybody's you know, anyone that says that, I get it. I get it. But just why fuck with it? Like, yeah, there's value. It's just under. But you just take the under. God. I mean, it's going to be ugly, guys. It's it's not going to look like a high-skilled competition. This is two berserkers walking towards each other <laughs> with negatives on both sides. Berserkers. I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, there's no reason to 
There's no reason yeah, to I, overthink. Don't, yeah, just don't overthink. Overthink that one. Um, all right. Next fight. Ige and Feely. Whew. Good match. Yeah. Like, good matchmaking. What do you think? I like Ige. I've liked Ige all week. Okay. I, I, if he's not fighting a top five guy, I'll take him. Okay. You know, it's just... it. I I get Feely. I get the love for him. You know, but... Ige just finds a way. He's just like cruise control. He just... And if Feely comes out hard, like he may lump him up in a little bit, but I have a feeling as this fight wears on, I think Ige is going to wear on him. He's yeah. going to wear on him. I have no opinion on the distance. I've seen a ton of people taking the under in this, and I don't get it, which scares the shit out of me for taking it over, but I just don't get it. Like, I could see this going three. I mean, you know, Ige went three with Mitchell. If... if uh, if there is wrestling, we know that he can do that. Mm-hmm. You know, he knocked out Damon Jackson, but Damon Jackson is notoriously knocked out when he loses fights. Yeah. He doesn't lose decisions. He gets finished. Um, so, yeah, I kind of like the over. I don't know. I, I'm thinking of a play on Ige. I think it's playable. Okay. Here's a plus 1,400 parlay. Giles, fight over one and a half. Petrosian, plus three and a half. Rodriguez, Ige, and Pfeiffer with the win and over one and a half. 14 to one. All right. We'll be rooting. We'll be rooting for it. So we're rooting for what? Pauga in the under here. Yeah, Pauga in the under. Um. I took this fight not to start round three. Mm. And Luma. Mm. Minus 116. I want to get something on Luma. Just at a better number. Uh, his lips are nice and dry already. <laughs> He's all nervous. <laughs> See that? He's like... I know EQ. He looks just like him. He looks just like him. I'm going to try to grab something live and put that with my touchback play because I just like that play so much. Only minus 300 for the opening kickoff to be a touchback. It's because it's because a lot of guys run it out. They get excited yeah. in the first the first one.
No, he said he's going to wrestle. Zach? That's, that's what DC just said. I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> no. <laughs> you got submitted by Vulcan. Who's to me? <laughs> of course yeah. you should wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Good. Of course you should wrestle. I could have gave you that advice for free. You don't have to pay your coaches. Man. <laughs> I don't know, man. The way these fights, I'm gone. I hope we're not stepping in front of an under trade like we get once in a while. I feel good about our last piece, though. Yeah, it's well. Yeah, I, feel good, I feel good about our last piece. After this fight, I gotta run upstairs for a moment. All right, here we go. Are not shot. Okay. Good outside leg kick. That leg's gonna be in trouble pretty soon. I was, I was. You took the words right out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. I was like, he, he's not gonna be able to take too many of those. Mm -mm. Oh man. Good shot, Zach. Uh, what time again, Jim? Uh, three fifty-seven. Uh oh, there's the wrestling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the Marcos fight, everything gets voided that wasn't officially decided. So, like, mm. like to start round two, that that was decided. But anything that could have happened after when the fight was stopped just gets – even Daniel Marcos to win is yeah. voided. So let's watch this cardio of Guskov just melt away here. That's what I was thinking. Well, I got to tell you, I don't know why he would keep doing that when Devin Hester is involved in the game. <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, you can't. You can't have idea. Devin Hester. That was like how. That was like a majority of their points that year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, if you wanted to beat the Bears, all you had to do was kick it out of bounds. <laughs> Come on, Zach. Go back to that kick, man. No, he's reaching. Nice. Oh, he's melting.
Come on, Zach. I was just going to say, a couple more leg kicks really soften mm -hmm. him up. He'll be ripe for the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh -oh, Zach's out. Right. Uh-oh is right. Oh, my God. Zach. Oh, my God. He just... Zach. That's a bad look for Mr. Pauga. Oh. The under was the I mean the under was the way to mm -hmm. was the way to play it. Yeah, there's that under. Jesus, Zach. And now you got to and now now he he now he's been knocked out by the bad Usman and the guy that got submitted by I mean, Ozemir Jesus, in a couple minutes. What happened to him? I don't know. He ran was running away with this fight. He really was. He was running away with this fight. Jeez. Boy, I put Gustav on that fade list. That cardio was gone. He was. He was. Cardio was. His gone. leg was. To his leg was tore up. His cardio was. Jesus. I'm going to back the dump truck up for his next fight. No doubt about it. <laughs> Absolutely. Anybody with a chin. Anybody with a chin. And it's... How much do you have in <laughs> Anybody your Anybody with a chin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll be right uh, back. I'll yeah, be right back. I got, I got to check on Tyron real quick. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, we'll both be right back.
ready. Oh, here's Minty. Okay, Minty likes over two and a half rounds. Her picks have been pretty good, I believe. Max plus three and a half. That's a good, that's a really good one. Yeah, if it goes a distance, yeah, ha hanging on to a Max Griffin plus three and a half. That's good. Yeah, he wins. Yeah, for sure. That's a good one. What are the odds on plus three and a half? Well, let us see. Minus 145. So it looks like someone from the waste management jumped onto the course. No shirt. Started roll around in the bunker. Have fun in jail. You cannot do that. They like the anarchy. What? I need a couple more. I had to look up a couple more Super Bowl props. Some guy on acid. He didn't look like he was on acid. He just... Just a lot of four loco energy drinks, it looked like. Blood Diamond.
All right. Ready? I'm ready. We'll see what the next 20 minutes brings. <laughs> All right, so what's everybody on? We got to get this thing to start now. round two, but we're uh, we're sitting pretty. Yep. Jeez. Minty yeah. likes over two and a half. Okay, so whoever told Minty <coughs> likes her picks have like. been pretty decent. You better start doing air quotes when you say that. <laughs> what's that? <laughs> what you, you better you start say? doing air quotes when you say that. Her her picks. She's a good messenger. <laughs> good messenger. <laughs> <laughs> yep, start round two. Let's go. See a lot of love for Max here. He's just never been someone I could, I got behind. Well, Zach's got one more fight left on his contract after that knockout. We'll see if they let him. <clears throat> let well, him, it was uh, exciting. Fight. It was exciting. <laughs> what a what a dummy, man! Oh man, just it was bad. Away. Uh, I'm going to do a shot. Oh. I don't have a glass, but I'm in. We're good. I'm going to do a mandatory shot. <laughs> Man mandatory. <laughs> yeah, we have had we have had finishes and not done shots, so. Oh, that's right. The the Garcia I forgot. All right, yeah. let's do one. Cheers. Cheers. Max looking jacked. shot felt good mine tasted pretty good too a little yeah. vodka lemonade mm. i'm running a uh running a health experiment on myself i'm i'm i i am craig didn't you guys coach uh yeah we've we got our bets in already yeah we've done our picks so and it takes more than one shot craig that's yeah we we mean like <laughs> We mean like obliterate. <laughs> like yeah. it's okay if you have a couple cocktails or little shots, but like you don't want to be ten sheets to the wind in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl firing off live bets on every handoff. That's what we mean. Yeah. 
You think they score this drive? No way. <laughs> well, I got to go back to it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The only thing better than winning one live bet is winning two. <laughs> yep. <laughs> McCaffrey rushes for seven yards. You're like, he's going to score four touchdowns. Easy. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Plus 900. Nice. Great value. Right, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, my God. It's funny because it's true. I love, that's one of my favorite things to do in recent years at Super Bowl parties is sit back and listen to the live bets that people are putting in. Like, dude, I'm going to jump on whatever. Yeah. Like, I blows his ACL like the next play. You're like, ah, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It was a trip and a stumble. Yeah. Jeremiah Wells has been training in Kung Fu, it seems like, because he's done three spinning attacks already. Right. <clears throat> Max is doing a, a rookie mistake right now. Mm. Okay. He is he is following Jeremiah Wells. He's not cutting him off. Okay. So he just he just cut him off the first time there. But if you watch, see how he just keeps rotating in a circle with him? So he's mm. following him. He's not cutting him off. And that's it. Okay. I know he wants to move away from the power hand, but you have to break that pattern. That's probably why Wells threw that that hook kick. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, if you get someone that always goes in one direction, you start setting up that way. I don't, I don't like this distance between them. They're setting up for a big shot. Mm -hmm. Yep, there it was, bud. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'll tell you this, I'm looking at this 170 on Max Griffin and getting really interested. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, they're eating up big chunks of time, which is good, but God mm -hmm. damn, it's because they're each setting it's, up it's, for a yeah. massive... Like, it's nerve-wracking. <laughs> like, kill shot. Yeah, that's it's what they're trying to set up for each other. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, no no leg kicks or yeah. light jabs to soften them up. There, there, there you go. There's a little... No There's feeling like that, out, just... That Curtis Blades-Derek Lewis fight, when, like, three minutes in, you realize that Curtis Blades was going to stand with him. Yeah. Like, oh, oh no, Curtis. Oh no. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like, oh no. Right. <laughs> and then boom. <laughs> wouldn't mind here a little wrestling. I wouldn't mm -hmm. mind this at all. Mm -mm. Love it. There you go. Get one of those underhooks. Oh yes. Just oh, oh Jim, eat up this last minute with this with this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we stay here and you guys can try and show each other who's the strongest in the clinch. That would be great. Uh-oh. No, 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 gosh, no, you got no. 30 seconds, my relax, God. Relax, relax. Relax, man. What is the hurry? <laughs> so Wells has, Wells has definitely been hurt twice. And because he's getting too wild and he's getting caught. Yeah. I'm really starting to get interested in Griffin here. I think I'm going to jump. 
Oh, He's yes. So... St- steal the round. You can steal the round here. Yeah, Max, I'm t- Max yeah. can. I'm taking Griffin, man. I, I know I'm being a little dangerous here. You but... get plus money. Yeah, hey, plus, uh, who, hey, who had that plus three and a half in the room? That, I think that looks like it, that, that may a have been. A few people did, didn't they? Yeah. A few of you did. Who was it? Born Sinner. Plus three yeah, and a half. Yeah, that was a good one. Because I there's a there's a chance Griffin got that. He wobbled him twice. I mean, and let's face it, we know Jeremiah Wells's fight IQ does not get better as the fight goes on. <laughs> Just need some get, get some sense knocked into him. <laughs> Let's be Griffin's corner, man. What do we say? Listen, he's swinging wild. Just throw straight shots. Straight shots and stay defensive. Jabs sound. right down the pipe. Yep. Just, just jabs shots. right down the pipe. Nothing big. Just touch him. Mm-hmm. Just touch him. Just touch him. He's going to get antsy. He's mm-hmm. going to swing big and make a mistake, and you can take him down. Yeah. Just touch him. You don't need to swing hard. Cash that show best bet, Jimbo. Let's go. Matt, can you come in here every week and just do exactly what you did earlier? I'm a, I love my routines. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm superstitious. Gambling gods exist. So if you could just come in and tell us that we've been cold <laughs> and that the distance props are not working, <laughs> like that would be great. Me, me and Matt are going to have fun tomorrow. We're watching the Super Bowl together. Oh, cool. So, we're, awesome. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to have a good time. We'll have a good time. It'll be like, you know, three hours into the night and the girls will ask us what we talked about. And like, all we talked about is lines. And <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. Did Matt tell you what he did to the house? No, the game's on. <laughs> That's all we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to continue for another two hours. So be prepared. I kind of acted like an asshole last year at the Super Bowl. I didn't mean to. Like, it was my stepdad's last Super Bowl. He mm-hmm. passed away. So we were over there. And take me and my wife out of it, the average age of everyone there was, you know, 68. Yeah. And um, we had a 5% play on the Super Bowl, so of course it's a big deal. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh boy, Wells is. Come on, Griffin, just survive. Let Wells get tired. Yeah, yeah. Good knee. So what happened? I knew it was going to be my stepdad's last Super Bowl. I was a little emotional. Had a 5% play. And everyone was old, so someone was asking about betting, and I tried, was trying not to get involved. And then what I was trying to say was, like, basically I was trying to say we don't celebrate early because we had the Eagles' yes. first half. And so okay. they scored a touchdown, and then it was like, yay. And I was like, mm. I was like, no, 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 I'm on a text there with my friends. And, you know, we have a rule that we don't celebrate early. I was telling them, I was trying to tell them about my friends, and they all yeah. thought I was talking about them in the room. So oh. I was like, I, so they, they all thought I was like, don't celebrate. <laughs> so I just, my wife, to, my wife told me after it, I came across like a gigantic asshole. So, um, that's a misunderstanding. Though. I didn't mean to, but yeah, you didn't it was, actively tensions actively. were high. Mm-hmm. Stakes were high, man. So. Stakes were high. I was super pissed because I had like three sack props in that game with two of the best defensive lines in the league and nobody got sacked. <laughs> and I was Crazy. not happy. <laughs> Crazy. I, I love oh, that. was a good spinning tomorrow. kick. It was a good spinning kick. Come on, Griffin. You're pissing this away right now. Over one and a half. 
Uf. I agree, Sinner. It's just every single time you gotta you gotta do something off the break. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter. It can be an elbow. It can be a body shift. Something. Well, that can cement that control time for you. Yeah. You know, like if 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 you're pushing for control time and on the break, you land a good shot. They're gonna credit you for that previous. Mm-hmm. Minute. And vice versa. If you're on the cage and you land something good off the break, they're like, well, you didn't do anything with it. Close fight, man. This is tough. Mm-hmm. This kind of screams a 1-1. Ooh, good shot. He hurt him good there. It did. That was a good moment. There you, you go. Griffin. What the fuck are you doing, Griffin? What in the world was that? Man, he's hurt him a bunch. He just won't capitalize on it. I've had success punching him, and I just landed the best punch of the round. What should I follow up with? I know, a head kick (laughs) that I haven't thrown all fight. (laughs) All all career. (laughs) But I'll surprise him, and I'll do it it at 50% speed. Mm -hmm. (laughs) He's got to get this. He gets a takedown early. He can squeak this thing out, man. I mean, I'm glad I'm not judging this fight because I have no idea what the judges are doing. I like, think he can hold Wells down. If he gets Wells' shoulders to the back, I think he can hold him down for the whole round. But the plus three and a half looks great, guys. Mm, mm-hmm. I would not be upset sitting on that ticket. I, I talked... All week about that damn prop on the, for there to not be a hole in one at this golf tournament, and I didn't, I didn't put it in as an official play on wager talk. Oh, you should have. That was a great call when you were talking. Ah, about there it. hasn't been one, and uh, yeah. I mean, there's still time to go, but my read was correct because the balls are not rolling a lot on the greens. So they're just, they're just kind of landing, and you get a little, mm-hmm. a little hop and a roll. It's a great call. Yeah, we'll see. Got a. F- uh, okay, Griffin, come on, buddy. Close this distance, get to wrestling, and take him down. And you will win this round. I'm probably overthinking it, but I was just thinking, like, we like Petrosian. Mm-hmm. We like Loma. You could parlay those two at, like, plus 160. You could, most certainly. And if um, Loma wins, pop a little one on Vieira. I like it. To protect yourself. I'm, I'm liking Loma, man. I'm liking Loma. Yeah, that's I, not, I am, that's too. That's not the one I'm worried about. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Although you did a damn good job talking me into Oki. Loma and Oki's plus 109 on DraftKings. Like that That's too. a... When you said we're getting a discount on Oki, it did hit me that he's not fighting a UFC veteran. Mm-hmm. And he was that favored. Was a, he was a way steeper price against... Against a guy that's a not a UFC fighter. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like it's a veteran replacement, you know. Um, yeah. If it was a guy who already had three fights in the UFC that was replacing him, then, yeah, it'd be very weird. Hey, buddy. Griffin, nice right hand. This was a dead distance, man. Yeah. I got the two and a half in a parlay. Um, oh, nice. I should have played it straight, though. Like, as, as dead as this was. Yeah. A few more seconds here.
Oh, oh. oh nice <laughs> shot. <laughs> it's a... Seriously, Snap that what, head back. Where did this like dynamic kicking game from the outside come from with <laughs> Wells here? All right, two and a half. Cash it. Love uh, it. We need Griffin to cement this round. Come on, get that, get that takedown. I know you're winning on the feet, but get that takedown. <laughs> There's a certain other channel that hates uh, Philly Gracie. Yeah. Academy. And uh, they're fucking right, man. Like, their reasons are amazing. Like, none of those guys get better at striking. None of them. <laughs> they're great grapplers, all of them. And whatever their striking is, it just is. Like, like Sean Brady yeah. looked fantastic his last fight. But he got to wrestle. Yeah. And like, let's see what happens when he's got a strike again. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Get this takedown. Get this takedown. What's up, John? How are you? Hey, buddy. Uh, yeah, this is, gosh. This is tight, man. This is tight, but I think Max is kind of pulling away in this round. If I could just do, finish a little emphatic. Mm -hmm. He's landed the better striking. Yeah. Like, no doubt about it. He caught him coming in twice. He's getting this cage time. The takedown seals it. As those first two, the first round I think is going to be the rounding question. Tyone. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. I don't know, man. What do you think, guys? Three and a half, I think you got. Three and a half was a great play. Tough. Tough, mm -hmm. tough. And I hate to say it, but I really think this next fight is going to look exactly the same as this one. Mm. Um, so what do you think there? Luma and Oki? Is that what we're going to do? So I don't want to get greedy. We mm -hmm. hit our lacrosse play of the day. Corbin went 2-1 and one in soccer. Our golf plays look fantastic. So I don't want to get greedy because we got a big MMA play on the main card. Just love. So I don't know what to do with. I don't want to leave money on the table, but at the same time. Is there something like ridiculously... No, you don't want to do NBA. Oh, I see where you're going. I didn't like anything in NHL, personally. There was only a couple plays I looked at, but the matchups were not good. Is there dude, a I'm, shitty I'm team scared. that's going to get wall up tonight? I'm scared of the All-Star break, dude. I'm scared of it. Yeah. All right, what do we got? What? Jeremiah Wells. Nice. Beautiful. Nice. Plus 145. Yes. Beautiful. All Plus right. Three now and I'm a feeling half, better. Never in doubt. <laughs> well done. Well right. done. I'm feeling better about it now, Andy. Feeling that was better. great. Um, 
Yeah, I don't want to leave money on the table either. Uh, especially with putting the handcuffs on myself tomorrow. Yeah, that's smart. Which I want to do. Um, do you think that these lines have been overlooked? you think it's a very similar audience with the Super Bowl being tomorrow? Do I think what? Like the Super Bowl being tomorrow. Do you think that these lines... Uh, are moving more or less than usual? Do you think it's a similar audience, NFL fans versus I think they're about the fans? Same. You don't think it made I, an effect? No. Okay. That was a question I thought of this week I wanted to ask you. If you thought the Super Bowl causes other lines to adjust a certain way in other sports. Nah. <laughs> Ian Parker already getting on Mark Smith on Twitter. Is he really? Yeah, That's great. Mark Smith woke up today and chose violence. <laughs> yeah. The only time he never did was the fucking Brundage fight. Every other time he lets people uh, get murdered. Uh, now he's so like, ah, right, kill each other. Have at it. And then a pitter-patter on the back of the head is worthy of a DQ. Fuck face. All right. <clears throat> Devin Clark and Pratchney out. What do you got, fellas? What's everyone looking at? Oh, you know what we didn't talk about? Who's the bed shitter? I mean, what, I mean how many nominees are there? I mean, well, it's Pfeiffer. You think it's Pfeiffer. Okay. I think it's Pfeiffer just because everybody is on him. Mm -hmm. I am literally the only person that is giving. Not only am I giving Hermanson a chance, I think he wins. I think Hermanson wins. I get it. I, I totally understand it. But what have you watched or listened to where someone, where anybody is like, oh, Hermanson? It's a main event. It's Dana White. It's one of Dana White's favorites. Go down the list of Dana White's favorites. They don't do mm -hmm. very good. Let's give Colby Covington Leon Edwards. He'll be champion. <laughs> now he's like out of the UFC, like one fight. Mm. Um, Haley Cohen. Yeah. Um, who, was, who was the other guy that just lost? Oh, well, here's an interesting thought. Zach, who was... Pauga. Zach Pauga. Okay, Zach Pauga. Here, there, there was another. I'm, I'm... Oh, you mean his favorites? Yeah. Tom Nolan. Tom Nolan. He was okay. A contender. He was big um, the, there was there was another one. So Colby Covington, Joe Pfeiffer. Cause it cause he he like moves them up way too fast. Uh huh. Like gives them fights that they just should not be getting. Bob Strickland Duplicy. I. I keep wanting to say Cody Durden, but it's not Cody Durden. Who's one of his favorites that he just like <laughs> put in a matchup and they got they got beat? Gosh dang it. I can't remember. Um Cause there were three of them. On that card? No, just three so Haley Cohen. I'm sorry, four of them, because Haley Cohen I count as one. Um, Colby Covington, obviously. Pfeiffer's one, and then who's the other one? I'm I'm looking it up, and I'm going to see because he he moved he moved he moved the fighter up, gave him a fight that they really shouldn't have had. Oh, Mike Malott. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Mike Malott <laughs> gives him to Neil Magny. It's <laughs> yeah, good old Mike Malott. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I knew it. 
I knew it. I knew there was one. I'm not. I'm not that crazy. So yeah, <laughs> well, Haley Cohen, Mike Malott, Colby Covington. I got Joe Piper as the next one. Gotcha. <laughs> I hear you. I feel you, man. I feel you. I get your point. Nice, Corey. L- losing to a killer like Neil Magny. I mean, a a pit bull, Neil Magny. <laughs> I fucking called that fight. I fucking called that fight. I loved it. Love that fight. That was that was one of the best third round stars where we went. Wait a second. <laughs> Holy shit, this is gonna happen. Wait a second. <laughs> That's great. Wait a second. The only thing that pissed me off was I didn't have the balls to double dip when I saw it happen. Yeah. Like, the beginning of that third round, he was plus three thirty. You could see him a and lot. And I was like, he saw it. I just saw it. I'm like, I already had him. I'll be careful. <laughs> like, fuck. I was right from the beginning. Oh. Uh, so this is interesting. Devin Clark and Zach Palga, big training partners. Big Jesus. training partners. That's yeah. terrifying. Yeah. So. Yes. Huh. Yeah. So. So no, I, no, Ige is not a parlay buster because like, so I do this segment on, on our golf show. It's called players that can trip you up. Yeah. Yeah. And the, and the, the premise is uh, people mix up the premise. The premise isn't me talking about shitty golfers that are going to continue playing shitty. It's trying to pick the players that I think everyone is going to be on. Mm-hmm. And then I tell you why you shouldn't. So I don't go on. I don't do the golf show and be like, don't play this guy. He's missed the cut 18 times in a row. Nobody needs that information. But what is helpful if I go, hey, you know the guy that's the third biggest favorite? Here's why you shouldn't play him. So the the parley buster has to be the like most obvious one that Everybody, Mm -hmm. no doubt, is putting in their parlays. And I I don't think Ige is the – I don't think Ige is the – I don't think Ige is in everyone's parlays. So that's why I I can't nominate him as an actual parlay buster. Mm -hmm. It's got to be just the most disgusting, like, how did that person at plus 500 win? Like, that's that's the parlay buster. (laughs) I'm with – it was going to be one of the two. I'm I'm not really worried about Piper. I'm very confident in him. Oh, Devin Clark is going to get this knockout. If he already touched him and hurt him, this guy's got no gyro. <laughs> he doesn't. Once he's hurt, he's hurt. Come on, Devin. <laughs> I love it. He's, that's Come no on, recovery Devin. bar. Once his recovery bar gets dinged at the top of the screen, if it yeah. was a video game, it does not come back. Well, remember Glass Joe from Punch Out? You just had to hit him once and his whole energy yeah. went away. It's very similar. So this is this is kind of my thinking is like we were talking the other week about teammates. Like when you see your teammate lose first, I think it, I personally feel that it gives me extra incentive to go out there and perform. Do you think they even know? They 100% know. They're all in okay. the same room. They're all in the same room. They're all watching. I mean, if you don't give a shit Yeah, I I, I guess when they I guess when they bring back uh Yeah. Powell got on a stretcher and Goose Golf is, to- is cracking bottles of champagne. Mm. <laughs> I guess yeah. it's probably easy to figure out. <laughs> Some guys actually like to watch it. I, I personally would not be watching, like, attentively. I look for the result, and that's really it. Here's the thing, though. Devin Clark, man, God, he's carrying a lot of muscle. God, he's carrying a lot of muscle. Look at yeah, those but, tree trunks, man. Yeah, but he's gone three so many times. Like, we yeah, know he right. can go three. We know he right. can go three. That's interesting. Nice takedown, take Devin. Down. What in the... <laughs> Prachnow, really, with some big energy-wasted movements. Yeah, you're right. Because recovery and cardio, that practice is not. Mm-mm. None of those are coming back. Yeah, he's not reacting well to shots. It's just a shame that 
Devin Clarkson, other looks like Tarzan, fights like Jane. <laughs> Seriously, like, give me that body. Like, why, why God, <laughs> lifelong martial artist, and I can't be built like that? Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Yeah, five, that's great. Five, yeah, eight, okay. Five Thanks eight a lot. was a real gift, God. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> well, it looks like both their game plans him and Zach's game plan to wrestle which is what he said in his interview is going <laughs> Go fucking swimming magically <laughs> the both of them <laughs> <laughs> like now I want to see the wrestling practices that they had if this is how their <laughs> wrestling game plan went God the wrestling practices that's great <laughs> ripping off <laughs> the ear <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I like kicks a problem. Ooh, good hook. shot there you go Devin kick him back there you go tough <laughs> round man kick him back <laughs> kick him back <laughs> tough round So there's two future women's fights coming up that we have to have a serious discussion about. I oh, think we're doing look-aheads? I think they're slam dunks. Like, okay. absolute slam dunks. All right. Is one of them Miranda Maverick? No. Okay, I was going to say, be careful about the pickle queen. Mm -hmm. She's got her mind elsewhere. I'm out. I am yeah. too. One got her mind is, on the pickles. And no, it's not Andrea Lee Bubbles. You will it's never see Lee. me betting Andrew, Andrea Lee. Um, it is. Hold on, hold on. Your, okay, okay, go ahead. Oh, you, you, okay. You, surely you think Amanda Lemos is going to beat up uh, Mackenzie Dern. I do, but that's not one that was. Okay. That's not one of the two that I, I want to see if I'm missing something on. I think we're in agreement on that. <laughs> you already know how I feel. I love Mackenzie Dern, but my God. I can't anymore. Oh, my God. They're going to let Sam Hughes fight Yasmin Waragi? That's a new one. I don't know, man. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute now, Andy. Stop. Just stop. You're not going to make this. Let's Sam think Hughes about this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's think about it. Okay. You think about it. Um, oh, Josephine Knudsen's fighting. Nice. That one I like. I'll take her over mm -hmm. somebody I've never heard of. Um, Marina Moraz over Joanne Wood. Joanne Wood's awful. She is awful. But She's awful. Marina Moraz has an OnlyFans. And it's That's not a good the, point. It, it's, it's the, yeah. Oh, you're a Macy Barber fan. You, you got her over Chikagan. Yeah, yeah. You're, yeah, I, you're I, all I in don't. on Macy Barber. And Ride the Macy one. Barber train. I like it. I see. I, I yeah. I mean, as hard as Macy hits, I know Chukagian's going to try to dance around. Okay. I just, I, 
that pitter-patter style is not going to keep Barbara away from her for 15 minutes. She will get her hands on her. Wow, Jacqueline Amorim and Corey McKenna. Ugh. Mm, not a fan of Corey McKenna. Um, oh. Oh, good shots here. Um, Rose over Hebus? 1,000%. Yeah, that's a great one. I mean, Rose That's a is, great one. Rose is striking. Uh, not Rose. Amanda's striking defense. My God. Non-existent. <laughs> Non-existent. What, what's she going to okay. do? She's, she's going to out-wrestle Rose and choke her out? Not going to happen. Yeah. Not going to happen. It's a question of what Rose do we get, but... You like Justin Taffa over Marcos DeLima? I like DeLima. Yeah, Vito, I'm on DeLima on that one. I'm looking for a reason to fade the Taffas. Home over Harrison Bubbles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Home over Sit. Harrison. I'm with you. Sit and wait. Just sit back and wait. Just sit back and wait. That woman is about to go through so many changes. Fighting in the UFC, different weight class. And she's fighting Holly Holm, who... Holly could fight all of Kayla's opponents, except for Pacheco, back-to-back in one night and probably beat them all. Mm-hmm. They've been horrible. She went to decision with Aspen Ladd. Her last fight. She's against an unmotivated a, against yeah. an, against a classic Aspen Ladd. Wasn't it? Wasn't it like two weeks' notice too? Well, she was a replacement. Yes. Um, yeah. So it was like a short notice Aspen Ladd. I have no idea who's winning this fight. I don't either. It's crazy. Ooh, Clark heard him. Uh oh, perhaps she oh! has cardio. There's Devin Devin Clark plus two forty right now. Is this a death gas? Jesus, Devin Clark. My God. <laughs> wow, is he lucky there wasn't 10 more seconds in that round. Yeah, for sure. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I know his legs are done, but man. God, Ryan Seacrest. Did you know? I I don't I I'm entertained by stories like this. And I feel terrible. Like, like, did you know that there was a guy? There was a fifth member of uh, Boys to Men that left the group. No. And, yeah, and and he said he said this is a bad fit, so he left. <laughs> um, there was a guy who used to be in the Rolling Stones. Believe it or not. And when they performed at Yankee Stadium, he was one of the hot dog vendors. 
No shit. So things like that are just just weird. Like people that were in like circumstances where it could have been Rolling Stones. He could have been in, you know, whatever. So Ryan Seacrest, when he was first coming up, he did a radio show with a guy. And this guy was his business partner. And the guy, the guy got out of business with Ryan Seacrest. Oh! The guy got out of business with Ryan Seacrest because his wife got pregnant. And he was like, it's taking up too much of my time. So they did a follow-up on him. The guy was an Uber driver. <laughs> could, have been, could have been a business partner of Ryan <laughs> Seacrest worth over a billion dollars. Yeah, he owns, like, everything, that guy. Everything. Mm-hmm. And every show that he's on, his he makes his – it's his production company. Yep. That's that's where the money is. So he owns mm-hmm. all the equipment when they're doing all the shows and stuff. So. Devin, you got to go for it here, buddy. Come on. Yeah, now. both these guys look wobbly and tired. <laughs> yeah. I love when these guys get tired and they start thinking that the head kick is the way to go. Like, what what can I use that is going to use the most energy? I know. I'll throw a head kick. Oh, bad look. Oh, bad boy. Bad look. Oh, okay. Get okay. got back up. Got that's gotta around. be that's gotta be frustrating for Prack, you know, when he looks up at the clock and he hopes there's twenty seconds and there's mm-hmm. three minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. What a great contest, guys. Ugh. (laughs) This might be the worst fight of the night here so far. Shit, even Fernie put on a show. Zach got knocked out, but he put on a show. (laughs) Neo is just dead. Mm-hmm. And Clark can't do anything about it. Right. Yeah, another head kick. Great idea. You got to finish him, Clark. You got to finish him. Nope, you're going to fall over too. Okay. You're going to fall over too. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's, it's... Yeah, Prackneo is dead to the world and Clark can't do anything to him to hurt him. He's getting hit. <laughs> Right? Oh, God. Go to the body, you big idiot. He's tired. Finish him. Stop walking. You you need to finish. God, I even called it this fight to go the distance. You did. You absolutely two, did. Two just shit fighters. <laughs> shit fighters. Absolute uh, dog shit. 
All right, it's Luke Bone Me time. Mm-hmm. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? So you have nothing with her yet? No. It's time. All right. Well, I'm doing Luma. Figure out if I do Oki, if I do something else. Ugh. It's either Oki or... I don't know. I could get down for Oki. I'll, I'll, I'm going to throw a little bit on Loma and uh, Oki. Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm doing it. Let's let's do it. Something small, just to where if I lose, I'm not too disappointed because we hit our be- our show best bet. But if we win, it's like sweet. Now we're, now we're rolling. Yes. Mm-hmm. If we win, then the the reads are coming in. Everything's coming That's exactly in correct. Right. We're building momentum. Thirty twenty seven unanimous. Okay, that's I gotta tell you, that's a really bad loss by Devin Clark. That's a terrible loss. I don't know what they're doing at that camp that those two guys are at, but I'm gonna go back and find out where it was and who it was. That's a terrible. Like, okay, flash knockout. You're like, okay, he got caught, but to get to get thirty twenty seven. <laughs> By an exhausted, outfit. exhausted. <laughs> by an exhausted. Crack me out. Oh. Yee. Man. <laughs> I'm going to find out what they're doing on the gym. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know who's there. I want to know. What other fighters are out there? That's hilarious. I want to yeah. know what's going on at that gym. <laughs> they both came out and said they're going to wrestle. They both couldn't. They both <laughs> came out and said they wanted to be exciting. <laughs> they both lost. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they both said a lot. They both absolutely said a lot. <laughs> Dude, I'm thinking Luma's going to have such a speed advantage here. Yeah. Oh, Andy, I might. She's. Oh, Bruno Brazil had a little work done. She had a little work done. A little face. Uh, hey, you, you got a inv- little investment into the OnlyFans. That's all it is. A little skincare products going on there. Look how, you know, nice complexion. Watch tomorrow. There's going to be an article. Only fans false. <laughs> Somebody puts it out. I'm going to take a little taste of Luma in round two and in round three. Plus oh, 750 wow. and plus 1100. Okay. Quarter of a unit. Tiny. Tiny. I think Brazil could keep her at bay for a little bit, but I think the leg kicks are going to add up, and the speed, once Brazil starts huffing and puffing, is going to be very evident. Mm-hmm. L- Loma really doesn't slow down. I mean, she's, no, that's, that's she's what I noticed. She's got really good cruise control, just yeah. kind of fights at the same pace. I'll be right back two seconds. I'll be right back.
after this fight, I'll have to tell you about, uh, I'll tell Jim about, uh, Jim and you guys about how I'm following medical advice from the internet as opposed to my doctor. Could be great or bad. <laughs> Could be really good. Oh no. Blonde Luma? Minty's on Luma. Mm hmm. Did she cash. What? Did she. Did that fight go the distance? I don't remember. Did it she had two over and two and a half on the Griffin. Yeah, so, okay. She always wears the t-shirt. It's all good. <coughs> I love when they show that highlight of her knocking out man. And you can time that fucking head kick with a sundial. It took so long to get there. <laughs> and man, man just like turned and put her hands down. You can time it with a sundial. <laughs> <laughs> like, how did you get hit with that? <laughs> you never heard that before, really? Oh, I know. It just—it oh, okay. was—it was. It, what was funny it was just—it yeah. was so true. It's just so true that. Hey, wait! We got fresh ink here on uh, Loma. Yeah. A little sneaking out there. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Loma. I'm uh, really, really, really excited to watch this because I've been training Muay Thai for the first time. Oh, yeah? And so to watch Loma now, it's I'm excited to see if I recognize things style-wise like that they do way differently than what I'm used to. So now you, you have like a different education on it. It, it blows my mind that the UFC still does not have an atom weight division, though. I, I know how people feel about women's MMA, but mm -hmm. if you watch two atom weight women who are skilled fight, God yeah. damn, is it a good fight. It yeah. is so good. Yes, yeah, Sander, it's a different animal. Ooh, what a leg kick. Damn. It's a it's a very different animal than what I'm used to. It's pretty awesome. Yeah? Yeah, it's it's rough and tough though. Like you 
the next day you are beat up if, until you're conditioned. <laughs> Nice body kick. Those kicks are finding homes big time. Dude, I'm sorry. Brazil doesn't have the ass for only hit fans. What, what is she thinking? I know you're an ass guy, Andy. That's that's not an only fans ass. No, but let's, <laughs> some guys demand it. Other guys don't. She's, I mean, it's. I, I mean, I'll, I'll never forget what, uh, watching the Andre the Giant documentary and some of the wrestlers being like, women loved Andre. I was like, what? <laughs> him? And they were like, loved him. Loved him. <laughs> loved him. Just everybody's got their niche. This might have been a little bit of an error here by, all right, good. She separated. Good body kick. That's what I'm saying. Those kicks, man, are absolutely finding homes. And they're loud. So the judges, like, hear them. Oh, yeah. Another good leg kick. That was a calf kick, too. Nice. On the knees. That's a good way to close the distance from Brazil. Give her that. Nice job. Oh, what a beautiful way nice to end the first job. round. What a beautiful way to end the first round. That's Loma, Because it was close. Like, I was like, eh. Hey. I, like, I think she's got the bigger shots because, they, like I said, they sound big. They looked yeah. big. But then that, that's a way to. No. You give that round to Brazil, you, you need to be fired on that one. After that takedown, there's no debate. So what's on the menu tomorrow for Super Bowl, Andy? You, uh, yeah, I got a big thing of uh, uh, me and my wife got a big thing of corned beef. Nice. Um, yeah, yeah. So we'll do corned beef, cabbage, uh, probably some. Just I'll go get some other fresh things like that. I I, mm -hmm. I gotta tell you. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll tell you I'll tell you after after mm -hmm. this fight. We've 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 found a couple of things for meals that are just. I told you about the bag salads. Yeah. So Aldi has off brands that are a dollar a bag cheaper. They're three dollars for a big ass for a full bag of salad. Like we have one every day. It's your vegetables. <laughs> yeah. And you don't have to cut. You don't have to cut anything. You, you don't have lettuce going bad in your fridge, which was always annoying as shit. Like mm -hmm. they are. Yeah, Aldi two ninety nine for a for your daily vegetables. For two people. It's the best. So we got some of those. So it'll be salad, cabbage, corned beef, and probably some other goodies. Nice. What about you? Oh, I'll give you my list in a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I did the old go to the grocery store with no plan, so now I'm cooking way more things than I should Yeah. Do. It's all going to be killer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, center. It's it's great. I just the, the tough part is I can't 
I don't know if you've been in before, but I, I own a, um, a karate gym, so I can't be too Muay Thai because then when we go to our competitions, I'll, I'll get smoked. So it's a gentle balance. Come on, Loma. Put a stamp on this fight. Come on. Nice. I almost want to see her wrestle, man. I do want to see her wrestle. Not almost. Yeah. I do want to. I, know, I mean, I know she's having a lot of success with the kicks, but she's also getting pushed back. Mm Mm. Nice outside kick. That was a strong one. <laughs> yeah, that dug in, Ooh. huh? See, this is actually pretty smart by her. She's not worried about the cage. So by her being back up against the cage, it's making Brazil close this distance for her. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, she's countering the shit out of her. See that? Yeah, great movement, she's, too. Because yeah, no she's, cause she's not getting hit. Center. Yeah. Yeah. She's just setting traps here. Really need Loma to finish this round strong so we don't get the bullshit classic 1-1. One, one. But I think, she's, I think she's kind of pulling away from this round as the round goes on. Yeah. She's... Dumper, dumper, dumper. Come on, Loma. Do not give them a reason to give her this round. Come on, she's going to dig. She's going to dig. This girl's smart, man. Oh, she's there you smart. go. Get out of she there. Doesn't, she won't sit there. Nice. Yeah, I'm thinking 2 0, man. I'm thinking 2 0. It's got to be, right? It's got to be. Her, everything that she laid in is just so clean. True. Uh, what was I? Oh, I was gonna look up. I'm, I I don't know why I do this to myself. I tell everyone, don't don't let the live lines tell you a story. Oh yeah, Loma's minus sixteen hundred. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why the live lines mean anything. They tell you nothing about what the judges are thinking. <laughs> like actually, yeah, nothing. nothing. They nothing. tell you nothing. All all the live lines are is Vegas protecting themselves. 
<laughs> All right, how are we going to line good up? Way, good way to put it. We can't let good somebody put a big bet on this. Good way to put it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Center, it's Ishin Rue. It's from Okinawa. And shameless plug, guys. Uh, the East West Karate Instagram is up and running with nice every day. So East West underscore karate. Give me a little follow. You can see all the fun. That body kick's just money. Look how red underneath her, her arm is. Even nice the leg. Shot. There you go. Yeah, it's Shinru, correct? Check that one. Oh, come on, Loma, put a stamp on this. Craig, I trained with him when I was a kid. Before he passed away, yep. Really? Years ago, yep. Years and years ago. Come on, Loma. Somehow get this underground. Or Jeez. just control. Just go in there. Come on, girl. This is good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, he came all the way from Okinawa, stayed with us for a week. Look how old he was. I think he was in like his mid-80s. Something like that. He was up there. Oh yeah, you got him. You got him when he was still moving. <laughs> still moving good. There you go, Lola. Keep working that knee. Forget about the elbow. Play that night. <laughs> Just put a stamp on this thing, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't like how <laughs> Fight up the I don't like how close it is. The, like, I mean, those kicks have been just—they've been so vis, like, visual, mm -hmm. and audible. Good punch on the way in. Mm, don't get taken. Nope, nope, nope. Mm. Rut row. Rut 
right back up. Awesome. They better not have given a bullshit round two to make it 1-1. One, one. They better not have. They better not have. Oh, let's just say. No I'm... way you can tell me Brazil won two yeah. rounds. There's no way. I agree. I agree. I'm just going to wait it out here. Yeah, that's what, Senator, that's what I tell people. They're like, oh, karate. I'm like, no, no, no. This isn't, this isn't movie karate. Like, this was, this was taught to our military. Mm-hmm. Like, you know how Krav Maga is, it's their military. That's what they, that's how they train. Like, anyone who, I love when people shit on Krav Maga. I'm like, no, it's military training, guys. It works. Like, you know, legit stuff. Nice. Yes. <clears throat> Maybe it was closer than it should have been, but it's a good little win. I'm okay. I'll take it. Just need Oki to take care of business now, man. Oh, so I was going to tell you... I'm <laughs> I'm taking medical advice from the internet, not my doctor. <laughs> so, so my, <laughs> okay. So, Got you know, it. one of my, you know, one of my New Year's <laughs> thing is my blood sugar. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, just, it's been, since going down this rabbit hole and it, it, it being diagnosed with type two diabetes and not having any of the symptoms <laughs> has mm -hmm. just been there. And, and some of the symptoms are hilarious. They're like, they're like, well, are you thirsty? And I was like, uh, if I work out, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then they're like, and then they're like, well, drink a lot of water. That helps. And I'm like, okay, so being thirsty is a symptom, but you're also telling me to drink a lot of water. And they're like, yes. And then one of the symptoms is also um, peeing a lot. And I'm like, mm. so you tell me to drink a lot of water, but then you also tell me that peeing a lot is a symptom. So what gives here? <laughs> um, they go down all the list. So I didn't want to take any medicine. I, I agreed to take metformin, and then I had an allergic reaction to it. Mm -hmm. So obviously that didn't work. My blood sugar has slowly been going down. Um, well, I mean, I say slowly, but just since the first year, it's down. Uh, my... My, my blood meter thing doesn't work right. <laughs> I already know this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like One day it told me like my blood sugar was like in the 600s, which basically mean I would have been in shock and in the ER. So yeah. I went to the pharmacy and I was like, hey, this tells me it's 600. And they were looking at me mm -hmm. and they were like, change the battery. So I changed the battery and it went back to working fine. So I was like, so you have a device that's supposed to be a pinpoint accurate on my blood sugar, but it can't handle a low battery? Like what is what is this? So <laughs> so uh, so I found that there's this. If you make tea out of bay leaves and cinnamon, it's like a super food. Okay, it's a super thing for blood sugar, and like for your heart. And I was I saw it on TikTok, and I was like, whatever. And then I looked it up. There's a million videos about mm. people swearing by this. They're, they're like, took medicine, didn't do anything, started drinking this tea, and immediately, like, no like within a couple weeks, like, started noticing things. So, like, the, the reaction of the hot water with the herbs of bay uh -huh. leaves and cinnamon supposedly is just, like, a huge regulator of, of, uh, of your blood sugar. So I just started that today. So, all right. Well, listen, I'm, you preface this with I'm taking advice, medical advice from the internet, and this ended with you drinking a homemade tea. So, okay. Let's, 
Okay, I probably no. over exaggerated that. <laughs> yeah, you're not you're not drinking you're not drinking J- Drano trying to clean. No, fire no, fire no. Fire. It would cl- that would clear out your system for sure. I, that's interesting. I'm gonna look into that because those are two things that I like, and I bet it tastes pretty fucking good. Actually, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, it's it's really great, good. Right? Yeah. They were like, you can put honey in it, and I was like, I don't, I don't need honey in this. This is like delicious. Mm-hmm. So that's that gonna was... be part of my daily diet, and I'm gonna see if it works. It's a good idea. So. It's a good idea, and not for nothing, I. I not wrong with sitting down with a hot cup of tea. Sometimes it's, it's fucking you, delicious. You just so sit good. down, nice little warm cup, and I know, just kind of zen out for a little while. I'm like an oaky here, man. I'm really like an oaky here. All right. Kwamba's got uh, got a little I bit just of have a, a soft spot here vibe. Yeah, and I have a soft spot in my heart for Kwamba, so hopefully you've mm-hmm. steered me down the right path. <laughs> you want to eat just bullshit out. Uh, that's great. Have you guys ever seen... <laughs> what is it? Um, Master Ken on YouTube? Mm-mm. No, you never seen Master Ken? It's this comedian that did a whole comedy series about like a fake karate teacher. So it's like it's like called Meridote. <laughs> And he does these hysterical videos, and it's all geared towards making fun of these Mick karate schools, these Mick dojos that sell you on this bill of goods and teach you absolute dog shit. It is hysterical. <laughs> That's pretty it funny. It is hysterical. I'll be doing like a gun disarm. He's like, most people would move their head out of the way. But if you hold it up next to your head, the gun can't fire because of the compression. And then move here this way. That's great. Oh, it's so funny, man. Come on, Oki. All right, Oki. I think we're doing a shot after this one, man. I think we're doing a shot. God, I would not be feeling comfortable. I was just standing across the ring from this guy. I just want him to get his hands on him. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to get this, get your hands on him and drag this right to the ground. I don't see the redness that DC was talking about, but I trust him. 
anybody's on point, it's DC. <laughs> What a fucking frame difference you can see. What's that? You can see such a big frame difference. Mm-hmm. Like, obviously two different weight classes. I like that jab. I like that jab mm-hmm. he's working. I like the game plan with a short notice opponent. Just be cautious and Yeah, he's very patient. Mm -hmm. That's pretty interesting. They're saying Kwamba's looking for the takedown. That's not what I remember Kwamba doing. No. Oh, oh, oh. Land some ground and pound here, Oki. Land some ground and pound to end this round one. Yep. I'll take that. Okay. I'll take it. That's one. Those jabs were working nice. Cash this baby. Come on. So I guess after Sean Strickland broke the guy on power slaps the ribs, now people want to spar with him. So did you see that Instagrammer? Oh, live Sneeko? Streamer? Yeah. That was a genius idea, wasn't it? Dumbass. Like, what did you think? Did you think he was just going to play with you? You said sparring. So he is going to spar with He's you. He's going to spar. Yeah. The power slap guy learned that lesson? Like, no, he wasn't going in to play around. It's sparring. I remember Oki was real patient in his contender series fight. I know he got the first round knockout, but I went back and watched. He was patient. And then. He's not wild. Yeah, and then just. Yeah, I had totally forgot about his contender series fight. I had to go back and watch it. Mm hmm.
Oh yeah, you can start to see on Kwamba's face welts and yeah. Mm-hmm. That jab's working. It's mm-hmm. Working really good. There you go, Oki. Mm-hmm. Don't rush. Don't rush. That's going to be discouraging. Oh, yes. Come on, Oki. Oh, lock up that guillotine. That'd be beautiful. Just keep it on the feet. Don't go for a goddamn... Don't brundage this. job digging for that forget about that other hand forget about the other hand oh spin around take his back come on Oki get that leg out of there buddy mm-hmm there you go it's if he coming. gets that leg out of there we're in good shape on this it's position coming. it's coming there he goes get that other hook in come on come on Get your other hook in. Don't end up on Shit. bottom. Oh, no. Don't end up on bottom, Oki. Mm. It's so close. Get up, Oki. Elbow. Get up. Elbow. He's wide open. Shit. He's just being calm. He's not really working really hard. Now he's in. Fuck. Now he's down. Coming back up. Come on. Get up. Fucking, fucking damn news. it. Come on. I don't like this. This is going to be 1-1. One, one. Yep. Oh, man. Kwamba's 10-1. to one. I'm gonna sprinkle. Probably a good idea. I'm 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 absolutely sprinkling. Mm-hmm. If because if he wins this round and does this again yeah. in round three, he's gonna win the fight. Mm-hmm. It's eight to one. I'm with this you. is a really good hedge. I agree. I'm with you, pal. Yeah. It's so guaranteed profit no matter what. Mm-hmm. What's crazy is now I. <laughs> Now you want Now I'm no yeah. ready for Kwamba because yeah. I yeah. got him at, at yeah. 10 to 1. <laughs> Come on, Kwamba. Shoot, Kwamba. <laughs> no, Ed, no. Go, Ed, go. No. Protect the jab. What are you doing? Yeah, my, my how live betting will change your rooting right. strategy. Every time. If I if I didn't put that live bet in, it, I'd be like, Kwame didn't do anything with that. Oki landed the better shots on the on the feet, close round, give it to Oki. But I put that live bet in, and I'm like, Kwame all day got the takedown, dominated. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not even a question. I mean, I mean that's the that's this is what this round comes this is what this fight comes down to. Kwame gets it on the ground. Yeah. He's going to win. He's going to win one of the weaseliest or weaselly. You know what I mean? Like yeah, one of the yeah. weakest. <laughs> like his weakest is it. Face oh, is wow. all, his Andy, face is all mashed listen, up. Plus 300 right now on. on yeah. So smart yeah. move, man. Good call. Good Dude, call. his face, his face is so all better. beat up and he's one takedown away from away. just stealing one from Oki. Just stealing one. I, will, I, I do want Oki to win because I want to 
continue our run of being. We want to be right. Yeah. 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 We want to win money, but we want to be yeah. right. No matter. Yeah. yeah. That was a nice way to use live lines to lock smarter, in profit. Man. We got to do more of that. We really should. We should do more of that. Not get burned by this. Yeah. Judges scorecards bullshit, you know? Yeah, Kwamba, put your hands behind your back while... There you go, back. Oki. Here That's smart. Go. Or Oki. What? He's... <laughs> it's 1-1. One, one. Not exactly the time to, uh, <laughs> to brag. You dumbass. Jesus. Hey, Bob, how are you? Yeah, we're doing good. So far, so good. We yeah, had our show day, best bet. We got a situation where no matter what happens in this fight, we win. Mm-hmm. I mean, Jesus, Oki, you know you have to win this fight still, right? Like, it's, it's not. Cr- he's acting like it's over. It's a lock. I know. Uh-oh. Okay. Here comes, pal. Jeez, snooze fest. I just realized we've been on uh, Luma and Oki, and they both have white hair. It's the white hair parlay. Oh, wow. We didn't even see that. Didn't, that, yeah, I think I'm just used to it. Like, that's how Oki always looks. Yeah. Loma? Is that how she always looks? No. No. She never had Oh. Hair. I think she's okay. gotten blonde before. We're sitting here saying pissing a, this one away. It's not a great fight. But it's another short notice situation. Yeah. Like he's doing just enough. He thinks he's doing just enough to win. But this not make Dana happy. No. I have Oki up this round, but it's not dominating. Like, Kwamba could sneak it if he does something crazy. Oh, good shot. Mm, here it is. What's he going to do? Oy. No, he doesn't have the energy. Go for it, Oki. What are you going to do? Yeah, Kwamba's... As soon as I say it, he (laughs) rips Oki's head. But this is the one week notice right here showing. Yeah. Yeah, if he had a full... Think about how much we'd be sweating if this was a full camp fight. My lord. I mean... Yeah. What's up, Max? How are you? Exactly, Craig. Not to lose. He's just fighting not to lose. Yeah. Yeah, this should be Oki. Mm-hmm. That's all right. I'm glad you. I'm glad we made the move and didn't have to even worry about that last. Didn't round. sweat it. Yeah.
And you never want to have the judges. <laughs> Anytime the judges are involved, man. Nope. This is very true. So we went from, no, we're not going to cook much for Super Bowl to having like four or five different types of meats. <laughs> <laughs> making, uh, oh, making, of course you do. I know. We're making burnt ends. We're making teriyaki beef on a stick like you get at the Chinese food place. <laughs> we're making chopped Italian uh, hoagie sliders, sausage and peppers. Love it. Three different <laughs> kinds of dip. How many people are there? Ten. <laughs> like everybody's going home with a tray of food. Everybody. That's great. Not leaving at my house. It's like they tell you never go to the grocery food store hungry. <laughs> That's why. Uh oh. Split. No. Wow. Wow. Dude, come on. Who gave two rounds of Quamba? Come on. Hey, that's why what? it's why it's ter this is that's terrifying. Yeah. It is terrifying, man. Who is watching this shit? It's really bad. <laughs> really, really bad. <laughs> and I love when I say this stuff and people get pissed. Like, oh, well, it's because you had a bet. It's like, well, well wait a minute. We would have made more money if, if Quamba won. I would have made more money if Quamba won. But he didn't won. win that fucking fight. Won. Like, yeah. period. Yeah. Jeez. All right, our guy's coming up next here, man. Here we go. This was the... Uh, this is our boy. This was the um, bad motherfucker. It's the bad motherfucker. Nah, Clint put out a tweet. Kwamba really? Live, 10 to 1. <laughs> Ten to one. Yeah, Which that's what I got. Do? Oh, Quamba. I'm sorry. I keep yeah, Quamba live. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe he's getting smarter, safer. Let's put it that way, safer. All right, we need Protez to take care of Officer Trevin Giles here. Oh, Petrosian's the favorite now. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Love it. <clears throat> I think I'm going to take my uh, Oki profits and put it on Petrosian. We just, we, we love it too much. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. I think he, yeah. I think he knocks him out in round two or three, like. He doesn't have to to win even. Like, his, his win condition isn't even based off the knockout. Like, he could yeah. very easily outpoint him in two and three. Yeah. That's just, that's just bad, man. That, that, that was not a split decision. No. I mean, it had to have been rounds two and three for Kwamba, right? Round one, definitely not. Uh, 
How could you? I don't know. Round two, really? Round two. Well, let's see. I, I, he won round three. Let's see. Uh, let's see what the scorecards are. Okay, where are the scorecards? <laughs> Still waiting. Getting right into it. Protez, geez. We don't get a breather. <laughs> Come on, Protez. They're going. Make us proud, Protez. Mm -hmm. Come on, big boy. Okay, there it is. Uh, yeah, they gave someone gave Chris Lee gave Quamba rounds two and three. It was Lee. It was Lee. Of course it was. Of course it was. Did you know that the other Mac the McCarthy judge is Big John's son? I believe. Mm -mm. Yeah, Ron McCarthy. He's related to Big John. I'm not sure if he's his son or his son-in-law or whatever. All right, come on, Protez. This is already a dipshit strategy by Giles is to play leg kick with the Muay Thai guy. <laughs> Fucking moron. <laughs> like, I wish the line wasn't so out of whack as I love Protez right now. Like, it was like when Sean Strickland, <laughs> when Strickland stood with Pereira for the first like 15 seconds, he should have just yes. all hammered yeah. Pereira. <laughs> like, That's great. <laughs> I was just going to trade like he's the Muay Thai specialist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> I gotta tell you, oh, there's a child. I gotta tell you, uh, I, I, that could have been a little dicey if Oki fought what's his name, because that guy could at least try and take Demir? that. Demir. Yeah, that could have that could have been. If Demir mm -hmm. goes for a takedown and gets it, but Oki didn't look like he was that comfortable on the ground. It's it's the short notice opponent thing too, though, like. He, he, I'm sure they had stuff worked out for Demir. You're fighting that guy. I mean, hey. Mm hmm. But I think you're definitely on to something with the short notice opponent thing, the fights being. 
and having it be even match fighters. You know, it's different if it's a short notice opponent where it's some guy who's never, you know, Chris Matinho. Like, <laughs> that's different. Um, but I think when they're even matched and it's short notice, it, there's this level of awkwardness to the fight because you haven't, you haven't done any scouting. Um, you haven't yeah. I feel like Prata is just kind of stuck in the mud a little bit here. He is absolutely stuck. I was just he's there's there he there he let one let one loose. But yeah, I mean he's he's absolutely letting Giles set stuff up. Jeez. Don't like it. I don't either, man. Just over Overconfident or something. I... Jesus, just throwing kicks from a mile away. Yeah. No leg kicks. Giles may have stole that one. I think he did. He may have stole that one. Oh, wow. Live lines are even. I, Let's see I, wouldn't, I, would, I wouldn't say anybody's looking bad. It just... Giles looked pretty good and Protez looked kind of a little too tentative. Yeah. Let's see how this second round starts here. I want I wonder if that was a you know, relax and download the game plan kind of. Yeah, and also like you don't want your guy to get too amped up, mm -hmm. blow his wad in the first round and then be dead. You know. Jesus, Trevin Giles is the favorite now. Uh oh. God, his, his striking defense. He is just letting Giles just tee off on him. One shot and done. No combinations. Mm hmm. He's not setting anything up. Moving straight back when Giles is blitzing in. Well, that knee to the body got Giles. Like, that, that was a clean shot to the body. That body's got to be softened up now. Mm hmm. He went to it with like two or three front kicks to start this round too. It seems like he's not yeah. getting it. Again, Giles not known for cardio. 
big favorite now, though. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, Protez isn't pushing him to expose the mm -hmm. cardio. You know what I mean? Well, this Pro fight's one big letdown, guys. Yeah, this isn't good, huh? Those stats, give me a break. Practice has landed more than three fucking headshots. Mm -hmm. Don't get me started on the fucking on the stat keeping of UFC. Protez's right eye is fucked up. Mm-hmm. God, he's not going to be able to see that jab coming now at all. Nope. Nope. Oh, good knee. Wow. What's it? Uh, th th these contender series guys, man. It, like, it, it, is it that, that you're just fighting the worst fighters? That are we just gonna go back to the contender series fade, like, and just fade? These I guys? mean, o Oki Oki had a split decision <laughs> against another contender series guy. It's a big favorite, and Protez looked like a world beater, and he's getting worked over by Trevin fucking Giles. Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah, God, baby! Holy shit! There's that fucking left hand again, dude. Oh Man. my god, Jim. That Wow. Count your lucky stars, brother, because that <laughs> the fight was not going good. <laughs> That's why they call what what does Cody Saftik always say? But it's punchy punchy kicky kicky. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> dude. He flatlined Giles. Just that straight, that straight Bang. left hand. He's got, he's got some, he's got some real power on that thing. But man. well, we we knew that, but it's like, where was it? Dude, oh, he just, dude, Giles was. Yeah. God, look got, at his eyes. Holy yeah. shit. That's got some. See, right on the end, perfect extension. Giles. Oh he know man. Where the fuck he is. Good refing. <laughs> Good refing. He got yeah, he got Protez the hell out of there because he was straight shots beat round shots, man. Protez, you better get your shit straight, bro. <laughs> you can't fight like that in the <laughs> UFC, man. That was you Jesus. Get All right, I will happily do a shot. Yeah, I'm gonna do two because that's a bullet dodged. Right. <laughs> God. Do my God. Guys, don't go back and watch my breakdown of that fight. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I, it's getting close to baby time. It might be start time to start fading me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you won. You won. Oh, I won. Cheers. Oh, let me Buddy. go on Twitter. Let me go on Twitter and brag about it. Easy cash on easy the money. Yeah, easy cash on the Prates. Mm -hmm. It was always Protez by KO in round two. It, w <laughs> it was always. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. It was always. <laughs> All right. While I have a second and there's not a fight on.
I gotta get something to eat. I will be right back. All right. Whew. Protez parlay. So, like, Bubbles, you were asking about the parlay buster. It it was certainly looking like it was Protez, but now it's. I think Pfeiffer's the last huge parlay that I think everyone's gonna have. I thought it was Protez and Pfeiffer, pretty unanimous. Wow. Man. Pfeiffer. Oh come on! That not that many people were on were on Devin Clark. I I don't I don't know about Devin Clark. That's so I. Here I wonder if I can see something here. I wonder if we have it on our live odds page. Let me go to let me go to the live odds page on Wager Talk and see if it'll tell me, it'll tell me volume on, on the fights. Fighting. UFC. Oh, come on. Oh, there it is. Okay. Mm. No, let me see if there's a website. Piper Manson um, bet count. Hmm. Public bet count. Yeah, I guess, this one's. Yeah, I guess this is tough to. I see the free picks, but I don't see the betting odds. Hmm. Uh, I wonder if best fight odds. Okay, it'll at least tell me what it opened at. That doesn't really mean much, though. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Tough to see. I'll have to look that up and see if I can find a way... Because it's really easy with the with the main sports like football and baseball and basketball. I I haven't really seen a way to track fights. Yeah, in tapology, you don't know. Are those people betting money? Are they betting five dollars or a hundred dollars? Um, let's see. So, fights that we have on this card. The first is Petrosian. 
I I did officially put a play in for Petrosian. I didn't put it on wager talk, but I took the money I made off of the um, off of the uh, Loma and Oki situation and put it on Petrosian. We just both we both me and Jim both really liked Petrosian, and I I probably am underrating Vieira, but I just don't, I think Petrosian's always undervalued. I haven't done anything with Johnson and Flowers. Probably a great live betting opportunity. <laughs> Bubbles. <laughs> a mere eight years ago. God, eight years. It was eight years. 2000, February 2016? Yeah. Uh. Look at this face off there. Hermanson. Hermanson's pulling the upset tonight. Jesus. Oh, Minty's got a bet. She's going over. Over one and a half. Oh, she's going under two and a half rounds. I thought she was going to go over one and a half rounds. All right, here we go. Petrosian versus Vieira. Come on, Armin. Prove me right again. All right. How's Tara doing? Oh, uh, she's doing pretty good today. I mean, like she's very uncomfortable um, and very yeah. tired. Very tired, but we got out of the house this week. We good. Uh, we are good. Me and her, good. Awesome. Um, the rest of our family, as much as we love them, they are driving us up the freaking wall. <laughs> <laughs> up the wall it's just like a wedding it's just like just... both both moms are saying stuff and i'll be sitting there and i'm like you just said that to a fucking eight month like nine month old pregnant woman oh no or nine month pregnant woman like are you trying to have her kill you because she's gonna flip she's gonna flip um yeah her dad was the one today he just left we're like, he was, he was mad because we bought chicken from the grocery store and that she shouldn't be eating chicken from the grocery store because of all the additives. And he said that we should be going to the butcher to get our chicken. Oh. Yeah. I'm so like, we're well, there. Yeah, we're so there. <laughs> mm -hmm. <Yeah>. So <laughs> we're <laughs> to that point. <laughs> we're to that point. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh right. no. Okay. The kid was totally normal. Then she had a, you know, a processed chicken wing at over nine months. And yeah, all hell broke loose. I know. Now we got to buy three gloves because it's got three arms coming <laughs> out of the torso. It's really uncomfortable. 
God. <laughs> like, Dad, really? <laughs> And we're just going through nail files left and right for the horn coming out of its head. Just <laughs> you shouldn't have had the chi- Tara shouldn't have had the chicken wing. Fucking chicken wing. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Other than that, I mean, damn. <laughs> we went uh, last night. We went shopping for stuff for the baby's room. Just little decorations and stuff. And uh, we went to uh, Hobby Lobby. You guys been to a Hobby Lobby? You guys know what Hobby Lobby is? Oh, yeah. Is, yeah. Right? Um, we walked around Hobby Lobby for an hour and 40 minutes. We had a bunch of stuff picked out. And when it came time to check out, she just couldn't decide on whether she wanted it or not. So we put everything back. Everything back. And we're leaving. And I'm like, I can't leave here without buying something. Like, I can't have our day out. Be, uh, we went and walked around Hobby Lobby as our day out, like day date. So I went and I bought, um, there's like a couple things to hang on the wall. But there's a, uh, like a, a block, like a kid's block, like ABCD, right? Little toy block. But it's like big and it's a cabinet that you open up. So I brought that home. So tomorrow I'll paint that, like hmm. a toy block. And <laughs> big event, you know? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, but she should, she should be. <laughs> she is. Uh, they, man. None of them can understand that they're not allowed in the hospital room when she's giving birth. They don't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, this isn't <laughs> this isn't the 1950s where they delivered a baby on newspaper and a cup of boiling water they also like, don't want you <laughs> sitting in the waiting room so like well we'll just go and wait i'm like no you're not you can't come in what don't you understand <laughs> so yeah it's been... <laughs> the, ho- <laughs> the hospitals don't want you there and we don't eat. <laughs> the hospital and us are Stop. in lockstep. No. You're just making things more complicated. We have enough to deal with the whole birth thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that they give a shit, but man. Oh, it, it could it could be worse, but it is. I mean, yeah. I mean God, God love them. They care. They love it. And, it, you know, you do just want to say, like, hey, can, can this just be between me and my wife and have no first baby? But then they just want their grandkid. I, so, uh, oh, well. We had, we had to have the conversation weeks ago. All of a sudden it was, what are you going to do for work once you sell your business? How are you going to support a family? I'm like, well, I made it to 40. Um, think I can figure it out from here. Yeah, I'll, just yeah. a hunch. <laughs> you can't drive by a business without seeing a sign that says "now hiring." I can. <laughs> like... All right, here we go. Come on, Armin, keep this on the feet, buddy. Mm-hmm. I like VR. Going over, shaking everybody else's hands, nice and happy. Oh, yeah. You know, not a violent man. Not a violent man. Doesn't like violence. Where's that stiff jab? I. That's what I want to see. I want to see Armin just torch those legs, man. Mm-hmm. Let's see the first shot, dude. After the first shot, if he gets right up after it, Backing up the dump truck. <laughs> That's a good point. Like, God, he's biting on every single faint, every single trap. Nice leg kick. Loving these leg kicks, man. 
Yeah, how much experience do you think Rodolfo has, like, conditioning-wise, taking leg kicks? <laughs> Not much. All right, shots coming any second. I was going to say two minutes, 30 there seconds. It run. Yeah. Fucking A, Petrosi. And you could see that okay. coming a mile away. It's okay. He's right back up. See? Yep. Come on. That's right. Grab the fence. Why not? Everybody else does. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Uh-oh. Get back. Come on. That was dumb from Petrosian. Come on, man. You got to know that thing's coming. Well, you got to know time-wise. Two minutes into the round. Yeah. It's, it's coming. Half Nelson. Okay, big deal. Turn towards him. Up to your toes. There you go. And let him get that leg around. This is so bad for Rodolfo. Yeah, I yeah. The, y y if he if he is gonna work, if he is gonna shoot for takedowns, make He's, him work, work, work. Mm -hmm. Smart, smart. Just relax. This is the position that worried me, Andy. Right here, if he gives, has the ability to grapevine his legs like that. Yeah. Because then he's not going to be able to work up. But he just loses every position. He's he's not a position grappler. Mm-hmm. Armin. Jesus, Petrosian. This is a horrific performance on the ground. Turn into him, please. Yeah, Rodolfo's not going to pound him out. But that arm triangle's coming. Oh, we're in trouble, bro. That's it. It's over. You're not getting out of this one. 20 seconds. Hang in there. Fuck. Are you serious, Petrosian? You suck. I, is he saying he didn't tap? God, Petrosian, you're fucking, you fucking bum. Okay. I actually, I actually didn't think that was a tap. I, like in the moment, I thought, I thought he didn't tap. Yeah. I mean, I guess it looked like it, but I. Th well, but we've seen that before, where guys make a like make a movement, mm -hmm. and then it's, and then they were. They were trying to do something else. And then we've seen, I can't, the guy's name escaped me, where he like tapped and then he was like, I didn't tap. Because mm -hmm. he was blinking his eyes like, like he was there. I didn't see Was he here. reaching for his hand? Oh, that's a tap. Yeah, right. It is. That's a tap, Petrosian, yeah. you fucking idiot. Bum. Yeah, if you were trying, it, like, if he was trying to, like, grab his hand, I thought he was going to reach and grab his hand. Mm. But you can't. Yeah, you can't do that. Just dumb. God, he's an idiot. God, just how could you not know the takedown's coming? Ugh, terrible read.
his positioning on the ground was the more alarming part. Like what's that? Well, it wasn't so much that he got taken down. I kind of I expected him to get taken down in the first round, but I mean, Rodolfo moved to mount about as easy as you possibly can. His oh, it was elementary. Was pretty bad. That was yeah. It looked like his that first like. That looked like Petrosian was setting up for like it looked like he was he was supposed to fight a striker and then like mm-hmm. right before the fight they were like you're fighting Rodolfo Vieira Jesus Christ Does anyone else get the Chumba Casino commercials on ESPN Plus Nope I have sustain It is <laughs> it is all I get is it goes in waves like, I had the Applebee's commercial for, like, three months. And then I had the Burger King mm-hmm. for three months. And now I have Chumba Casino. Is anyone else – does anyone else get the Chumba Casino Where commercials on Chumba ESPN Chumba? Plus? <laughs> you're, you're even in my account, aren't you, Jim? Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, you're right. I am. <laughs> that is like, strange. We're literally watching on the same. We are it, we are logged in to the exact same to ESPN Plus account, and yet mm-hmm. we are seeing different commercials. How is that possible? That's wacky. Awful. Very wacky. <laughs> oh, Rodolfo! I hope you fight again soon. God, what a cakewalk for Rodolfo. They gave him the fucking perfect opponent. Mm-hmm. I want to fight a guy that's going to hand you a win? Yes, I he do. Just, like, he rolled over to, like, why would you roll to your back? It's just terrible. Like, lock down half guard, keep him in half guard. He, he's going to have a hard time submitting you in half guard. Instead, he let him get right to mount. He went right to back, back controlled, and right to mount. Yeah. It must be regional. Well, but here's the thing. Nathan got different ones. Yeah, and he's 200 he's yards from a me. mile down the road. <laughs> and the other thing is I don't go to Chumbo Casino. <laughs> like, I, it's not – that, that's the other hilarious thing. Like, if they're doing Target – if they're doing Target advertising, they are whiffing horrifically. Yes. I haven't been to a – I get burger. I got Burger King all the time. I haven't been to a fast food restaurant in a decade. Applebee's? No, haven't been there since literally probably since high school, or unless it's the only thing open. Like when you're on the road, <laughs> like when you're doing it. like you're driving, everyone in the car is hungry, and you're like, "All right, everyone's hungry. What's the sign say? <laughs> Applebee's. We're going. Rib tips. Let's go." Like, <laughs> it's like it's the worst when you're on a big road trip and you have to eat places you would never want to eat. Never. I, so we used to do, we used to do video production for, so Indianapolis used to have one of the best uh, professional women's football team in the country. Like they whooped everyone's ass mm-hmm. and it was great. Cause we did production for them, but they would always win like 58 to three or just like, it was the easiest production in the world. And, one one of the camera operators was this girl that was a a vegan, and one of the other camera operators was a guy who only ate meat, never ate a oh. vegetable. He was Al Michaels, never ate a vegetable in his life. <laughs> and home games, hey, we just meet at the stadium, set up, be done. We would go on the road, and it was my job to try to to like feed everybody and everything, and it's like. Where do you pick a place to go where for a strict vegan and a guy that only eats meat? And crazy enough, those like Chili's Applebee's places were like the best places to go because you could just. Guy was like, I'll take a steak wrapped in a burger. Like, All right. <laughs> what do you want? Like, I'll take a salad wrapped, <laughs> wrapped in lettuce. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't been to the Mexican restaurant. I took a week off. I decided. Oh, yeah, that's right. I decided I'm not welcome there this week. Mm -hmm. I'll go in. 
I'm trying to figure out what to. I'm trying to figure out what like my what plan of attack saying. is. I'm trying to figure out what the plan of attack is. Like when I go in there, what do I do? Mm. I think you go back in. You don't ask for extra chips. You see what they say. Like, are you sure? No chips. Like, no oh, chips. I'm sure. No chips, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'll take some chips. Okay. Dead man wants chips. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. (laughs) Wouldn't eat veggies. (laughs) Yeah, that's Al Michaels. Never had a veggie in his life. It's crazy. He was doing an interview, and he went on this rant about carrots, and it was just wild. (laughs) It really was, man. It was wild. I'll always pick meat over veggies, but I don't understand people that just don't eat, like literally do not eat vegetables. Like, listen, you peel a carrot and eat a carrot raw, it's a good time. Corn, I can't do it without corn. I love corn. <laughs> I I love all veggies, man. I just, I, I, I do. If I don't have any, in one day I feel it. I can tell yeah. that I have not had vegetables I'll prefer meat to veggies but I need both Mm -hmm. I've been doing uh, blueberries and beans every day too those apparently are uh, blood sugar (laughs) superfoods what's your favorite corn song smart ass do you mean song by the band corn or is there songs about corn, about the actual food of corn? Yeah, most, most country songs, I think corn's mentioned. <laughs> What's your question? Yes. Yeah. There's True. always a, you know, tail in that corn. <laughs> um, oh, probably Frosty the Snowman with the corn cob pipe. There you go. That's a good one. I, I have started seeing the thing where pe- uh, people's cats have diabetes. Have you seen this? Well, animals can be diabetic. Yeah. That they can. That's not a new yeah. thing. I, yeah. We were talking about this last night at dinner about, about how I didn't want to go on medicine for high blood sugar, and then I did, mm-hmm. and it was, it was just terrible. And I was listening to this podcast, and this guy, this guy was saying, he was like, all these medicines are so new, but they're new because humans have not had these conditions. And yeah. like the last 50 years, all of a sudden, like all the stuff we keep putting in food causes us to be diabetic and all yep. this stuff. And he was like, we, we require new medicines because we're somehow creating new illnesses. It's ridiculous. Because of all the shit, man. There's so much shit in everything. Even like a Gatorade. (laughs) Look at the side of a Gatorade. The amount of sugar. I know. It's it's Kool-Aid. Yes, it is. It's it's Kool-Aid. It is. Yeah, I just... I Like... Medicine, like, of course medicine's great. Of course, like, Mm. of course dental care is fucking amazing, (laughs) you know. But, yeah, a lot of stuff that we suffer from, we we don't have to. (laughs) We were just looking at this, like, regarding baby food and formula and all this stuff. And so many women say they're going to, like, pump or breastfeed and then like three weeks later they're like screw it just buy the formula Mm. and we're good so I think you can do a mix of both but we were talking about baby food like 
why spend the money on baby food? Like, if I buy a thing of carrots, and we're having a salad for the week, there's always one or two carrots left over. So what do you do? Leave them in the fridge till they grow legs? It's true. Just blend them up, put them in a jar, put it in your fridge. So, like, every vegetable that we have leftovers of, we're just going to throw in the... I mean, we got the quick little little pod, like, uh, food processor. And you just stick it on there, put a lid on it, throw it in the fridge. This way nobody else is handling the stuff that... It's pretty good. ...you're giving your kid. I don't want to... I don't want to mess around with it. You know, I'm already in trouble for the chicken. So. <laughs> for the chicken. <laughs> Go to Stop and Shop brand chicken. The chicken. <laughs> Meanwhile, she's eating a Reese's peanut butter cup. I'm like, you think well, what's in yeah. that Reese's peanut butter cup is... Better than what's in that chicken? Okay. All right. Oh, my God. All right. Flowers and Johnson here. I got my li- I got live lines ready for this one. My hope is that Flowers has a good first round, gets way too cocky, overconfident, starts swinging for the fences, gasses out. and you watch, you watch the UFC vet put it on him. No pre-flop here. I have it not to go the distance. That's what I mm. have. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what I have. That's all I have. I'm not taking a side. Quicker it ends, the better. I did not put a hockey play in because I was so mad about last night. Mm-hmm. The play I would have put in would have been Boone Jenner to not have a point. So let's check in. By the way, our new we're doing a new concept. Um, still in the first period. Ooh, the second guy I would have put in would have been uh, Nick Paul on the Lightning. He did. He just scored a goal. So. So that was good. Um, so we're going to do the lazy line of the week. And it's prop or something that the books are just really lazy on. Because it's kind of what we do. Especially with the props. So like last week I wrote an article about it. And it was LeBron. They kept They just keep putting out one and a half three-pointers. And he, you know, he, he keeps landing on two. So if they move it to two and a half, you just take the under. If they leave it at one and a half, you take the over. And mm-hmm. they just keep putting out one and a half. And I didn't fucking play him. And he played back to back on Thursday and Friday. And he landed on two both both nights. <laughs> <laughs> like he did exactly what I he, and the exactly Friday what was you predicted. Yeah, he was two for two. Mm-hmm. Like he only took two sh- fucking shots and he hit him. Or yeah, he only took two threes and he hit him. And the juice was, like, completely reasonable. So this week, I'm going to write an article, and I'm going to do a video, and so we'll see. Yeah, two of two on Friday and two for six on on Thursday. You only took two three-pointers. I like, I like, I like uh, those type of NBA plays, man. Those one and a half, the turnovers when it's, like, Two and a half Ugh. turnovers or whatever. Those are great lines. I, I, I yeah. completely missed the Draymond turnovers. Did you see they had it at one and a half? He hit it 16 games in a row. He went over 16 games in a row. Wow. They finally moved it to two and a half. I was sick I missed that one. But they're all over the place. That's the nice thing. They're all yeah. over the place. Yeah, I like flowers here too, Center. But as long as somebody falls down, we're good. <laughs> I, I don't I I can't trust Michael Johnson's dusty ass chin. Never, flowers never looks in so much better shape than he did in his debut. Doesn't he? Yeah, he really does. 
He looks big. Maybe he took it serious and he isn't going to well, he moved do to the Vegas. moronic things. Um, he moved to Vegas. He was saying he was always jet lagged. But I mean, that doesn't change your skill. Kwamba lives in Vegas. Kwamba's just, I think he's born jet lagged based off that fight. <laughs> and enough. He shot. was. Okay. He was tired from the tough enough. Fucking hell, man. After this fight, let's start going through power slap. We'll, we'll, go, we'll go over our women's oh, yeah. fight. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. Such a good time. Man, Michael. Every time Michael Johnson fight, I forget how he's got some chicken legs, man. Right. It's getting worse now that he's getting older. I mean, so does so does Flowers, but I mean, look at both of their upper bodies to their lower bodies. Flowers was close there. Well, after these past three weeks, Dana most certainly can uh, lighten the roster, as they say. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of guys that he can get rid of. Johnson looks good, man. Doesn't look like the old slow guy. He always does. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, like he, he didn't look good, bad in his last fight. He just, he no. He said at his press conference, he's like, man, that dude threw an overhand right. I never saw it. In all our tape study, he never threw an overhand right. That's <laughs> like, hilarious. Just totally didn't even pay attention to it. He got slapped. <laughs> So did you start going through all the ins and outs of uh, Bet365? Yeah, I love it. My God. They give out. I, I, I'm, I'm struggling with it because we can't. It's only available in like eight or nine states, so I can't use mm -hmm. a lot of the lines on wager talk or plays. Mm -hmm. But my God, are there some gifts. Mm -hmm. Jesus. 
I like I I had heard all the stories about Bet Three Sixty Five, but I now that I have it, I'm gee, like Jesus. Oh jeez. Um, like I said, what, just keep it open your first NASCAR race and watch how long they keep the lines up. It's it's insane. It's insane the numbers you can get. You'll get like. 25 laps to go. The guy in 10th is on fresh tires. Everybody else is on 50 lap tires. <laughs> and you'll get a top five line. That's hilarious. You'll get like, even like to win, it's, he's like, you know, plus 1,800. I'm like, wait a minute. If there's one caution, he's in first. Because everybody's got a pit except him. Like, Oh, my gosh. Okay, like, yeah, they do some real stupid shit. <laughs> but it's good for us. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that's so funny. I mean, I don't top, even know. top ten stage winners, top five stage winners, top three stage winners. Oh man, oh They're my bring god! Bring out some shit like, what's uh, Watkins Glen? Now, like they they didn't do stages; they just kept running the race. But yeah, when they used to do that, and you needed you knew what a driver needed points. Like, oh, he's staying out. He's definitely staying out. He's going to get stage points. Oh, my gosh. Wow. So, Flowers looks pretty horrible, like you said. He looks, he's, he is horrible. He's terrible. He's not even throwing anything. Come on. Nice body shot by Johnson. Ooh. I mean, Flowers is just starting to fade. You can see this. Mm -hmm. You can just see it happening. Oh, my Lord. Mm Mm-mm. Oh. Uh-oh, here you go, Jim. Starting to... Here's where the finish comes from. Thinking. Ooh. Oh, how's that going, by the way? What? The golf tournament. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What's that? The, go- the golf tournament. Um, so we have it, the, the, the course. The course is playing pretty tricky today. Mm-hmm. We have we need Justin Thomas and Scotty Scheffler to finish inside the top twenty. They're they're both tied for eighth, but. So they're 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 playing their third round right now, but it's the sun's going to go down, so they'll have to come out tomorrow, finish their third round, and then just turn around and play their fourth round. So, so it, it's yeah, it, it's it's playing tough today. This is a you got a couple guys that are going low, but they're both at even, and they're what through like the sixth hole. So. Nice. Oh, Justin Thomas just bogeyed you, dumb dick. <laughs> That was a veteran move by Johnson right there. Missing a five-foot five putt. Did you catch that? No, what did he? This Johnson. He got knee in the nuts. He didn't give him a break. Mm. Because he knows Flowers is smoked. He knows Flowers is tired, Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on, Johnson. Get this finish here.
So if Johnson doesn't finish here, Flowers is going to be absolutely exhausted. You just hope yeah. Johnson's got enough. If Johnson's not going to have to finish, I can't. Which I don't think he does. He's running away with this thing. I don't think he's going to finish in this position, but Flowers is Flowers is looking terrible on the feet. Mm -hmm. Oh, big elbow. Uh, how do I think Hermanson wins? I think he wins by keeping it on the feet and using uh, the, the the way he beat Chris Curtis. Mm -hmm. Circling around, jumping in, frustrating the shit out of him, and staying on the feet. If he goes to the ground, yeah, it's Pfeiffer. But the way he wins is using his experience. We haven't seen Pfeiffer go deep. Like, we haven't seen Pfeiffer go and pass, what, round two? No. Yeah, it's five round fight. Mm -hmm. So if it's it's weather the storm. Yeah, it's yeah, it's weather the storm. Don't get knocked out or submitted in the first round. And then just kind of bide your time. Pepper him and piece him up and just make it one of those just like really frustrating fight, fights where Chris Curtis was like bitching and pissing and moaning in the middle of the ring and it was like mm -hmm. dude you're losing like he's 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 putting on a clinic man I don't know my reads have been not great so I'm not going to offer an opinion <clears throat> yeah this fight has not been what we thought it, mm -hmm. fl it just flowers is bad, man. Yeah. I didn't expect him to light the world on fire, but geez. He can't even find Johnson's chin. How's he going to hit it? <laughs> He's getting schooled. <laughs> schooled. That's right. I got faith in Hobo Cop. Come on, Hobo Cop. The thing that has kept me off for Manson is the fact that it's a back injury. Oh. Mm. That's that's I I would be all in on everything that you guys are saying about her Manson. Just back and neck injuries. Mm-hmm. Man, they're Come on, Johnson. Oh! There it is. Did he hit him? Or did he just... Is that a headbutt? Oh, flowers. <laughs> oh, flowers. Oh, there you go. Come on, Johnson. Come on. God. I'm sitting here relying on a Michael Johnson submission. <laughs> a Michael Johnson finish. Nobody wants to tell Johnson about the fingers in the eyes? All right. What'd Going you say? Kimura. He was like sticking his fingers in his eyes, it looked like. All right. Are we going for a Kimura finish here, Johnson? I can get on board with this. That's Michael what he's Johnson. trying, isn't he? I can get on board with this. Ah, you fucking suck. <laughs> God.
Arm triangle, you dummy. <laughs> he may just ride this out, huh? Well, now he's now he's in half guard, so he's got a better shot at the uh, Kimura, but he's, I don't know what he's going for now. He's just... <laughs> he's just riding him. <laughs> yeah, he is. There it is. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh. So who's getting cut? Fernie Garcia, <laughs> Darius Flowers, definitely getting fucking cut. Armin Petrosian. I hope <laughs> <laughs> that performance. Oh, oh. What the. He's so out of position. There you go. Get those pillow punches in there. <laughs> Garbage fight. Jesus, what a fucked up fight. Yeah, Flowers is bad, man. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, righty. What's is Rodriguez next? Rodriguez mm -hmm. Tavares is that? Yep. Oh, you know, bare knuckle fighting is this weekend. Is it now? It is now. All right. <laughs> we should get ready now. <laughs> <laughs> here, let's let's look up some of these. Oh, here, let's go over the. Um, here, let's do the women's fight from last night. Okay. Just yeah. in case yeah. people didn't, in yeah. case people didn't see. Okay, so. You wanna you wanna back frame this for everybody? What okay, so you? this is uh, my my crush in power slap is Sheena Bathory. Uh, she has absolutely flatlined a couple chicks in in power slap. The problem is we haven't seen her get slapped, <laughs> get clobbered. Mm -hmm. And so she's going up against Cataline, who is a former MMA fighter. Mm -hmm. And we watched Cataline practicing slapping, and we were like, oh, no way. Like, she can't slap. Mm -hmm. So I'll just hit play. And because Jim and I are complete nerds about this, we <laughs> now are handicapping. Like, you can tell how we know how you need to hold your chin to accept slaps. Yes. And Okay, so we'll watch here. So Sheena is the blonde, okay? Okay. So we have, we have some gigantic red flags here. Uh, so we're lining up to slap here. One of the things that is just a gigantic no-no is how Sheena is holding her jaw. Your jaw mm -hmm. needs to be completely closed. Jim, would you like to explain why your jaw needs to be closed? Um, I would like to think that our audience has enough knowledge to know <laughs> that, yes, your jaw needs to be closed when you're about to receive a strike. So, uh. <laughs> yeah, so 
most people in Power Slap, they like they're bracing for. Yeah. There's one guy who like completely turtles up. He like somehow yeah. gets his shoulders like down into his neck to so Turpin, right Turpin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good and there was a, the guy last night did it as well. So Bathory is just like I'm just gonna eat the shot and right. Right here is when I panicked because Jim and I bet on Bathory. <laughs> right here is where I was like, oh, no. She's like a light slap would would get her. So here's here's the measure. She's still not adjusting. She's not intense. That's the other thing I really do mean. Like you got to get yourself mm-hmm. hyped up. And so Cataline measures and <laughs> – <laughs> God damn. <laughs> like, <clears throat> so this is the woman we bet on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, so that right there, this is who Jim and I predicted and bet our hard earned money on to win. Mm-hmm. Um, so to the surprise of no one, she did not make the eight count. <laughs> uh crowd went absolutely bonkers. And so she does get up, but we have controversy because on the replay you can't So first off you can't hit under you can't hit under the jaw or on the head. You have to hit right on the cheek. So mm. that's a foul. And then the other thing you can't do is you can't move your feet. And uh Cataline clearly moved her feet uh when she when she uh and she slapped. So the bat it's clubbing. That is absolutely that's clubbing. Right. So Cataline is celebrating right now. Sheena is they're trying to explain to Sheena where <laughs> what where she, she is. <laughs> so now they're huddling around and they're going to the replay. And what you'll see is Cataline moves her feet. You cannot move your feet. So watch her left foot here. She lifts it up and changes the plant. And so if you knock someone out and you commit a foul, you get disqualified. <laughs> so despite the fact that we bet on this woman here – <laughs> who is unconscious this foot she that i mean you can't do that yeah and um we won because the girl in blue got disqualified so the 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 blonde girl that you saw getting knocked on her ass won the fight believe it or not it goes down as a win for her so great handicapping on our part Soon as she came out, and we're like, "Oh no!" Yeah, yeah. And then, then it happens, and like, "Well, that sucked." And like they start chit chatting, because in the moment you don't see any of this stuff. Like, yes, is there a foul. So Cataline got pissed, stormed out of the arena. She was like, "I'm out." Uh, Just left. Yeah, and we managed to uh, somehow <laughs> cash a bet on her. Cash it. <laughs> cash it. <laughs> So, yeah, that was our great bet from last night. It's that first oh, slap, gonna... man. Whoever gets that first slap. It was a doozy for sure. That was. Fucking incredible. I mean. It was a good slap. I mean. <laughs> back me up. When we saw Cataline practicing slapping, we were like, what is she doing? She was, it looked like me throwing a ball with my left mm-hmm. hand. It was, it was, I was like. She's like. Mm. And we were mm. like, oh, dude, she knows how to punch, not how to slap. And, and the other funny thing is Bisbing does the announcing. You think he's unprepared for UFC. Oh, he's just God. calling people by the wrong names, doesn't know the rules. It's just awful. Uh, so born sinner, yes and no, mm-hmm. on that one, Jim. What? It's tough though. They don't do it. So they do it on, on the the slap house. They would say who slaps. First. <laughs> Think about what you just said there. <laughs> the slap house. <laughs> That's what they called it. I know. 
So and so is back in the slap house. <laughs> so usually you can't find out till they're walking out now to these big yeah, events. They, uh, yeah. And the thing with that is, is they're, they close the lines very early. So, I mean, you can... I mean, how late did they keep everything open yesterday? Did they wipe. They off? kept them open even before the fight. Like at bare knuckle, yeah, so once the event getting, starts, they take everything down. Power slap. It was fight by fight. It's getting a little better. It's getting a little better where you have a little bit more time. But yeah, if you can find out who gets the slap first, and uh, and go from there. So yeah, it's just like if if, if Vernon Kath, Kathy could just slap first every time, he'd be world champion forever. Yeah, you never, you never be able to. Yeah. <gasps> what, bro? What? You're not gonna believe this. Guess who is fighting in bare knuckle? Don't say Cameron Van, Van Camp. Oh my God! Are you serious? The pride of Lebanon, Indiana. This he th- fought. He fought and lost in the last bare knuckle. This is a guy that got knocked out by Andre Fiola, Nicholas yeah. Mata, in UFC, yeah. and now he, and he lost bare knuckle. And now he's fighting. They have a oh, they have a woman's yeah. fight. One of them is one and three. The other is zero oh and one. Okay. Um. I mean, this is just a gold mine. God, is this a gold mine? <laughs> they have this one guy who is six foot, two hundred seventy pounds. This is just great. I can't wait for bare knuckle. It's good stuff. It's good stuff, man. And when is we'll the s- when is the Bellator? Uh, PFL card, isn't that? I don't know. I'll look I that up. Assume. It's coming up. I saw the face-off between, well, who's it uh, in PFL? Petrino, who won? Mm-hmm. And, and Pitbull. Oh, my God. He's huge. Who is? Petrino. Oh, or, really? Or, or whatever his fucking name was. Um, the guy who beat Braga. He is massive compared mm. to Pitbull. Massive. All right, Rodriguez. All right, Gregory. Come on, buddy. Mm, February 24th. Mm, creeping up. Start looking at that a little bit more. It's, uh, what's his name against Impa? Um, Shit, who's the Bellator champion that we love? Fuck. Oh, Rodriguez, come on, asshole. Don't. I don't like it already. I don't like it already. Oh shit, Rodriguez is chinny. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Yep. We're in deep shit. Deep shit. Yet again. Wrestle, you idiot. You such an advantage on the ground. I know. I know. Oh, that was a good one. Mm-hmm. Don't overswing. I know. Eblin, yes, Johnny Eblin is fighting Impa. That's a 
Wicked matchup. Brad's already looking for breath. Come on, Greg. Wear on him a little bit. Mm hmm. Slow him down. Oh, God. Oh, good shot. Oh, good, good shot. shot. Don't get over. Oh, God. This is making me so nervous. Nice. Okay. There's Lock a wizard. If he, if he could just, just win this round. Just, mm -hmm. just, just stay here. Don't tire yourself out. Just win the round. Just lean on him. <laughs> I'm thinking the same thing. Just don't get, don't, don't punch yourself out. Don't get too tired. Just, mm -hmm. I like that. Oh he's too... shit! Don't do that. Oh, his arms are up. Thank God. Yeah, they yeah, just put his arm happened. right down. Don't do it, please. Don't do it. Not. Don't do it. No, it needs to the ribs mm -hmm. all day. You know, I'm relying on Jason Herzog to let him know when he's down or not. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> he's up. I mean down. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. Take a point. I Warning. I got to take a point, though. I got to take a point. <laughs> So, do you think to? So, I think Rodriguez took Tavares' best shots. I agree. I would agree with you there, pal. I, I thought Rodriguez was much more effective when he was really patient and setting up his shots. Like, like when Tavares got him to come forward, that was when, when Tavares could make it a little chaotic. Mm -hmm. I thought that was when Tavares was at his best. I agree. But... Oh, boy. Now go right back to it. What are you doing?
Oh, he is set up the wrestling. Okay, yeah. interesting. Yeah, he's got, this is a huge advantage. This would be amazing. Just look at the calf of. Tavares. Oh my God! I didn't see it. Oh, yeah. look at that! Oof. Look at that mouse! Holy cow! Ew! Oh, that is gnarly, man. Yeah, Tavares starting to wear here. To that leg, man. Go back to it. Mm-hmm. Love the kicks. There's one. Oh, there you go. And at this point, even if he does, like, lift up the leg and check it a little bit, oh, it's, it's still just <laughs> eating. <laughs> I'll send you the video from uh, from Wednesday. Of uh, Jim kicking the, doing leg kicks mm. for the filming, the sound of them, <laughs> it it makes you sick to your stomach, like knowing that, you know, it, it, he's hitting a pad right now, but he throws it just as hard and it's shit on wild. Shit. Oh, it's wild. It's crazy. Come on, Rodriguez. There you go. That was a good one. Body language is good for Rodriguez here in this round. And it's bad for Tavares because, mm -hmm. I mean, the leg is obviously – like, the bigger shots have gone to Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. Oh. Dude, my leg is starting to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> like, just the placebo effect, I guess. He either kicked it more and it swelled to the size of the bubble or he popped the bubble. Mm. I can't tell, but it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, DC said Tavares is winning this round. You agree? Bullshit. Not now. Oh, definitely. well, definitely not now. Tavares wasn't winning that round. I mean, if you're talking damage and bigger shots, wasn't it Rodriguez? A hundred percent. Like? A hundred percent. Tavares never staggered Rodriguez one bit. Oh, he's going crucifix? What's he doing? Let's take this round, Rodriguez. Surely it's his now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, that was straight to the back of the head. <laughs> Okay, five more minutes. Got to be too well. I, I would think it's too well, right? Am I missing something? I don't know. It's got to be too well.
48. So you're waiting for 48 on the total? Hmm. You're stuck at 47. I think that number is damn accurate. That, that, that's just dancing right around where I would put it. I've been tempted on the over one and a half field goals for each kicker all week. Nice shot, Rodriguez. Yes. Nice shot, Rodriguez. Nice. Oh, finish Leave this no man. Down. Oh, good knee. Don't, 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 don't get too overzealous. Oh, to Devaris' face, man, is just oh. blasted. Finish oh. the man. Oh. Finish him. Get in oh. there, Herzog. Give him a warning. Knock that motherfucker out. <laughs> Did you see Tavares? He's like, what? <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> Dude, look at Tavares' face. Oh, my Dude, God. Rodriguez hits hard. All right, he does damage when he hits. It's a shame he doesn't have a granite chin. I mean, I think honestly, this fight just, I don't like that he was overzealous. He yeah. took shots from Tavares and it wobbled him, but man, when this guy hits, he hits fucking hard. He really does. God. I mean, Bang. look at some of these power shots. Bang. Boom. Oh, good knee. That knee was. All right, we just need this goddamn Pateria Prusik fight. <laughs> Not start round three. We I have know. the easiest play on the card. <laughs> like literally, we have the we have the most obvious play on the card, which is. <laughs> These two the, guys did not see round three. That's the play it. That was that was bullseye <laughs> circled since last weekend. Last like, weekend, this has been months <laughs> in the making. <laughs> we were like, "This is the one." Okay, just get us home, please. Get us home. Make it a good night. <laughs> Seriously, Bateria did not make it to round three. If I lose this one, I... <laughs> <laughs> if we lose this one, we're going. We're going to bed. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, no reason to stay up. <laughs> oh man. Chumba Casino. Do you know how bitter I am about about all these ESPN things? I have a list of places I refuse to go because they because advertise. The ads? Yeah, I pay a monthly fee mm -hmm. for ESPN Plus. They show me commercials. Then I pay for pay per views, and they show me commercials on those. So I have a list of companies that, in my opinion, I have already paid. I have paid mm -hmm. my ESPN Plus. I have paid for the pay per view. Therefore, I'm. You are not only are you not going to get my business. I'm going to go out of my way to make sure that, I, that you don't get my business. <laughs> like, I'm not going to accidentally go in your store. We were watching, uh, we were watching TV the other night and I said the same thing to my wife. I go, I've never watched an ad and said, I need to go buy that product. It's 99% it, of the ads are subliminal product awareness. Mm -hmm. So it's, on the top of your mind like they're not to get you to be like oh look oh look I'll, i better go do that but if i see it in like the supermarket like you i'm like fuck that shit <laughs> like, no, yeah know. yeah because like a lot of the advertisements and i keep this in mind on wager talk i think i do a pretty good job of this like what well advertisements are asking you for something mm -hmm. okay they're never giving you anything back. 
like Burger yeah. King's like, hey, here's our Whopper. And I'm like, okay, you want me to come yeah. get your Whopper? What do I get out of it? Mm-hmm. A, a shitty burger? <laughs> like, so I feel like, like whenever I do, I try and do like ads on Wager Talk, I try and give out free plays or at least educate or, you know, yeah. mm-hmm. something. Here's a little give because I'm asking you for something. So, In return. yeah. Yes. So <laughs> that way it's not the most hollow, like, hey, come get. Now, obviously, if the picks win, then yes, it's a f- great financial transaction. You purchased my product, <laughs> my product, you know, brought yours, but I just. Th- these ESPN Plus ads, yeah, it's got, Peacock does that with WWE. It, isn't that maddening? Isn't that mm-hmm. maddening? Just, what the f- <laughs> The but audacity. The scary, the scary part is, is there's just people out there, too, that are just mindless advertising sponges. Yeah. That, like, it, it, this shit works. It's got to work. It's got to work on some people. Yeah. And I'm sure it probably works on more than not, you know? Yeah. Um, what's, what's the one? What's it, what's, what's it called? You guys probably know this in the chat. Um, where, where you don't scan all your products when you go to the self-checkout at, like, Walmart. Yeah. S- something stealing or something. When you don't scan all your products? Like you, you like you have your yeah. cart. You have ten items in there. You scan nine of them and you leave a ten, mm-hmm. and you didn't pay for the fucking box of Kleenex. Whatever. Yeah. Like I, I can't remember what it's called, but I, I, <laughs> I was laughing. I was, <clears throat> well, a. <laughs> do you know who does that the most? Do, do you know where? You know where most theft comes from? It's not smash and grab stuff. <laughs> it's like more well-off people doing shit like that. Oh, yeah, probably. It's not. Yeah, it's, makes not sense. it's not the Twitter videos of somebody running in, grabbing a bunch of stuff mm-hmm. and running out. It's like the middle class, the higher class, like doing shit like that. Um, but I, 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 I had to let scan, scan, something like that. So, no, there's a... Well, <laughs> shoplifting. Well, I, I know that. No, it... What is the fucking name? Um... Not scanning product. There it is. Not scanning items. I don't know. Okay, but so anyway, so here, so here's the whole point. So, so the supermarket to cut costs now doesn't pay somebody to ring yes. shit up. Okay, so now. Mm-hmm. So now I, I get to walk into the store. I get to pick out all my own stuff. And now I get to scan it. And now I'm in theft prevention? Yeah. Like, is there anything else I can do for you, store? Is mm-hmm. it like, would you like a massage? Owner? Would you like your back? Is there anything else I can do? So now they're getting on me because I'm not doing my job properly because your shitty scanner won't scan the fucking roast beef. So yeah. now I got to figure out the proper way to do a job that I'm not getting paid for properly so you can make more money? No, fuck you. We, You're, <laughs> how much we, money can you get out of me? We what? just got into this argument today at the store. We went food <laughs> shopping for tomorrow. And every time me and my wife go, she'll do self-checkout. Yeah. All well and good. However, our shop, right, stop and shop, you have to take scan the item. And then you have to place it on a weighted area. Yes. And God forbid it's a quarter ounce <laughs> off from the number. The whole machine freezes. Just stops. And some, somebody's got to come over with a card and all that stuff, right? So we had a fucking grocery cart full of shit. And I'm like, I am not going to self-checkout. Period. I'm not. It's just like, it's so much fast. I'm like, not fucking doing it. And I went and I sat online eight cards deep because I, I'm not scanning them. I'm not doing it. It's not my job. I'm That's what I mean. Them. Like I was there one day and the doors were broke, the stuck open, and the wind was making all the scales go crazy. And this oh poor sixteen year old kid with his magic card was running from scanner to scanner because they kept freezing. Yeah. From the it's yeah. so stupid. Yeah, like, like, do you want me to pop open the hood of the scanner and fix it? You, can I calibrate no. it for you too while I'm at it? Nope. 
Nope. Do I get a name tag? Actual humans. Yeah, can I at least get a name tag for my job? <laughs> can I get an employee <laughs> discount? Is that okay? Yeah, yes, exactly. Can I get the employee discount? Like, it's ridiculous, man. <laughs> yeah, they want, they, they want to, they, they're saving money on labor, making me do my own shit. Their scanners don't work, and then they're on, they're mad because I tried to rub the bag the bag of lettuce over the scanner. It didn't work, so I threw it in the bag and left with your two dollar <laughs> bag of lettuce. Meanwhile, you're you're saving money so left left and right over me. I'll give you I'll give you a little insight to my father. Okay. <laughs> So this is good. This is good. Okay. This is uh, life lessons when you're a kid that you're like, oh yeah. <laughs> so we had this hardware store by us called Rockaway Sales, and this is way back when when it was just type the price of the product and then take the sticker machine and put a sticker on whatever the product was. That's how the pricing was done, all by hand. So my dad, when he was building this house, I mean, they didn't have a pot to piss in, and he spent a ton of money at this place, and he always did. And, but we would always go there, and he'd get, like, a box of roofing nails, right? <laughs> yeah. And they would leave the scanner out in the store, the little ticket sticker maker. Yeah. And he would find the fucking sticker maker and change the price and go... <laughs> <laughs> so the amount of lumber and hardware and door handles and every time he went and he would do it and he would say don't tell your mother every time do not oh tell your mother. my god mm -hmm. that is amazing well he would get pissed because he would go in there all the time and you know again we're built he was building a house like he spent thousands and thousands at this little Store. Oh my God! Fuck all of a discount. <laughs> and yeah, he used to like. I need. I need a hammer. And it, there'd be two hammers, and one would be twenty bucks, and one would be fifteen. And he would peel the stickers off oh and switch them. God. They charge you five cent bottle return fee. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. And yeah, Corbett should play about shoplift. No, talk about the multi-million saved in mm -hmm. checkout. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, you're killing up. jobs. Now you're mad at, and now you're mad at us. Isn't that great? Oh, oh poor, oh, you poor thing. <laughs> you poor. <laughs> um, um, you can. Uh, there was a uh, the Walmart right next to me. They, they normally there's a there's a bottle of wine. There's a bottle of wine. There's a uh, vineyard. They have really high end stuff and then some not so high end stuff. This Walmart always had the low end stuff for like, mm -hmm. I don't know, 15, 20 bucks a bottle. And it's the yellow label and the red label is the expensive one. I went in there yeah. one day and they had accidentally, I don't know how they got sent the red label stuff and they just put it up there at the same price. So each mm -hmm. one of those bottles was like 140, mm -hmm. but they had them go for 20. And I think, I think I, to I think I told this. I like, I was like, oh, that's weird. And then I went home and I was like, fucking, I should just go get those bottles of wine. And I went back the next day and they were all gone. Somebody, no somebody realized yeah. it. But uh -huh. yeah, well, you could absolutely like take one of the barcodes of the shitty bottle of wines and just, because it's adhesive, they just yes. <laughs> razor, razor, put it on the, and and because uh, I did find out, I asked one of the Walmart people when they were checking the receipt. I, like they just like looked at my receipt and my bags and I was like I was I did I stopped I was like I was like what exactly are you looking at like you did and they were yeah. like and they were like oh on the top of your receipt it it tells you how many items you have so if it says 10 we look and see if you have 10 items so I was like oh so you could put the barcode of like a shitty bottle of wine on mm -hmm. an expensive bottle of wine and it no even if they checked your receipt they wouldn't they wouldn't know it no they so. definitely wouldn't. They used to crack me up, man. He was, and my dad's an upstanding guy. He really is. But, That's man. I get it. The label maker. Oh my god. The funniest. All right, thing here ever. we go. Come on, guys. Let's smoke end this quick, each other. Please. please, please. Pretty please. Yeah. Um, tell me when you get to four minutes and fifty seconds. Oh, I didn't even start yet. No, mine hasn't either, but I want to. Oh, okay. I had to refresh my stream.
I hope we don't need. I hope it's over before that. That would it be could amazing. Be. Look at these two guys. Jeez. Dude, look at these two motherfuckers, man. God, they're ready to kill each other. They look like two bad guys from John Wick. <laughs> look at those tattoos. Does he have Pedro Pasquale on his forearm? Is that his right. Is? All right. I am at 450. No. Okay. I gotta tell you, man, I do kind of like Pateria. <laughs> I think you're yeah. right. Come on, don't be timid now, boys. Come on. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> it was close. He la that landed clean. Mm. Oh, great. I poke. Uh, mm -mm. Do we bet the other guy? <laughs> um, let's see how it is. I, I probably am going to lay off because I just already have something. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that look that one. bad. Yeah, it wasn't like he was, you know, two knuckles deep in. Uh, yeah. What's his name's eye the other week? Okay. I don't know what to make of this. I hate shenanigans. Mm -hmm. This towel infuriates me. It's not even a towel anymore. It's what a is that? That's a handy Dunkin wipe. Dunkin' Donuts napkin. <laughs> Does the doctor like spit on it before he gives it to him? Like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dude, so clean it off. This is supposed to fix my eyeball. Okay. Eh. <laughs> so I poke. <clears throat> All right, come on, you two, get to work here. Uh, I don't think he saw that coming. <laughs> mm -mm. Go, 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 go. Come on. No clinch. <laughs> oh, another good one. Yeah, he's landing flush on Pateria. Oh, my God. 
Oh no, Jim. This is not looking. This is like the worst thing for the for this bet. He punched him in the thigh. Oh, mm. maybe hit him a little bit. That was uh Well, you shouldn't direct punches towards your own groin. Not a good blocking technique. Your br Brundage, Bubbles, Brundage. It will always be Brundage. It's not even in comparison. At least, at least Ehor like throws punches mm -hmm. back. You know, like he's an actual fighter. This is this is cursed, man. I don't like this at all. I know, I know. I'm shitting my pants. I am too. They can't get in a groove. Fuck me. What's he gonna have? Like seven minutes of rest time in this first round mm -hmm. too. Ugh. This just negates the cardio thing, mm -hmm. man. A little subtle encouragement from the ref there. Just handing yeah. him out a piece like, hey, when you're ready, come on. God damn it. God damn it. Pretoria was getting hit hard too, man. Go ahead. Put it in. Put it in your mouth. Hey, uh, did you check to see if he can speak English? Because I know Jeez, you just said yeah, a lot. Seriously. Oh no, this fight's this this bet's dead, man. Oh my god. Let's <laughs> see where this is going. Two fouls, he gets a break. Now he pushes this guy up against the fence. They can see this coming a mile away. God damn it. This is what round two is going to look like. <laughs> I don't know.
don't know if uh, I, I think we still got some some equity in the the cardio drop off. It, it might be more egregious than usual at being down a weight class. But this uh, bright check does not look too good. So we might have walked into a situation where he's just so bad. God damn it. Those two breaks, man, were fucking yeah, that bullshit. Killer. That was a killer. Mm -hmm. That was a killer. It was, man. That was it. That was the death blow. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What's up, Lee? All right. I am trying to be positive here, Jim. Mm -hmm. Me too. Uh, after this fight, Lee, I got two that uh, I took a little taste of. Come on, Pateria. One of you guys be aggressive, for God's sake. I know. Come on. He punched him in the... Things are going to go the fucking distance. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. it's not, it's... Because Brizcheck is like, doesn't have the power now. He's like, done too. I mean. Yeah, they're both, they both are just like, not, they don't have the power. Both of them are not even close. No, they're not landing big shots at all. They're just like the throwing, not landing at all. Oh my god, this was like minus seven hundred, and it's not even—it's not even gonna come close. Fuck me. I'm sick. And there's the wrestling. <sighs> Fucking horrible fight. 
Like, they don't even have, like, damage <laughs> on them. <laughs> what in the fucking Jesus hell was Christ. that? Please knock this fucking man out in this round, please. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This was this was the most obvious play on the card and mm -hmm. it's not it's not even not even not only is it not gonna win, it's not even a sniff it winning. Was, it was fucking doomed on the first eye poke. Yeah. On the fucking eye poke it was doomed. All of a sudden, Pateri is like a, a point striker. I know. Yeah. He's not putting any power behind anything. <sighs> Fucking joke, man. I cannot... I cannot put in a UFC winner to save my life on Wager Talk. I literally can't. I've got to be like, I don't know if I've won one this year. Well, it's embarrassing. This, after this week, I'm strongly suggesting if you're not winning, everybody, walk away to the fucking pay-per-views. These fights are shit. Yeah. These fights are fucking shit. I don't even. I don't even know, don't even know what's what. What's wrong with the handicapping? It's just they're just bad. They're unreliable fucking fighters. I don't know how else to. Like, have we even had a no sweat win? No, not really. I mean, Gregory Rodriguez was, but yeah, he almost got knocked out in the first. Got clipped Truth. twice. I mean, just terrible. Just terrible. These two bums are gonna go the distance. This is the first time Pater this is the first time Pateri has seen round three. Oh my god. This is one of the worst fights of the night. It, it it absolutely is one of the worst fights of the night. Yeah, of all the fights that's gonna Oh great, here we go. Let's yeah, get a real let's get a quick finish right. right in the right in the first part of round three. Yep, here it is. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Yep. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Can't put a worse taste in my mouth than this right now.
sad thing was I loved, I liked Pateri and I didn't play that. <laughs> he's winning this fight. <laughs> oh, he's winning this fight. He is, but. Yeah, I, <laughs> those breaks in the first round, like, I was just like, oh, Murder. okay. We already know. <laughs> we already know what happened. Done. The, yeah, done. <laughs> done. Done. Stick a fork in it. Done. How are these two going to go the distance? I Unbelievable, man. Yeah, sitting here like, oh, we're not going to make money on Gregory, Gregory Rodriguez. It's just mind blowing. I, that's that's I, like, I've lost money on Natalia Silva and Gregory Rodriguez. Somehow. Somehow. It's getting very frustrating. And we hit the show best bet. I should be happy about that. But. <laughs> I know, man. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh. <laughs> well, the only thing I have left going is a play on Danny Gay. Yeah. I don't even know. I, I can't even sit here and pretend like I have any wise words of wisdom that would talk anybody <laughs> right <laughs> off or on a play at this point. I feel like a dipshit. No, there's nothing you can take away besides Pateria got two free breaks, like fucking seven minutes worth of break <laughs> in the first round. Uh, and then, like, as soon as the second round started, you're like, oh, these guys don't have the power to finish. Mm -mm. Doesn't matter if even if they did have the power. They couldn't even hit each other. They're just That's swinging a good in point. air for seven That's minutes. That's a good point. Let's go down the list of people here then. Well, for Lee, if you're still in here, Lee, <clears throat> I have two sack props for the Super Bowl. And they're probably not who you guys would think. I feel like most people would think 49ers, but no. Mm -hmm. Not taking the 49ers. Let me just see if the number is still playable or what. So I took our good buddy George Karlaftis and our good buddy Chris Jones. I feel that the 49ers offensive line is minus Williams is mediocre. And especially in pass protection. Brock Purdy's been looking to run a lot more. A lot more. Um... I think there's going to be some opportunities for either of those guys to get home. Where's the line? So Chris Jones is plus 130 and Carlathis is plus 110. Each for a half a sack. Both plus money plays. I'm not playing any of the 49ers. None. Mm. Zero. Um... 
if I had to guess a four, I, I mean, I you could say Bosa is good for one, but you never know with him. I mean, he really he did not have the best season in the world, so. I guess the other I guess the other weird thing is like yeah we <laughs> we predicted those three fights. To start round two, they did. Pick Loma, did. Protas, mm-hmm. yeah. Oki, yeah. Rodriguez, yeah. Literally, I, I guess you look at it, we had one miss. <laughs> yeah, but that one miss was the play. Big miss. It happens to be the play. And I'm not going to say Protas is any kind of a win. Oh, yeah, that was a weird that one. Was, that was just... He was getting smoked. Loma looked great. Mm-hmm. It should have been. It should honestly. It should have been Loma Rodriguez. Looking back on it, yeah. Or just the fucking to start round twos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> mm-hmm. Even though that you had the Fernie Garcia, Hyder <laughs> Mill, like just a lot. Of, some of these fights are just not the like. I don't want to say the script, but just like the style is just like. Wait a minute, what the? Yeah. Oh, that was the other thing that pissed me off this week. I lost the J.J. Watt Defensive Player of the Year <laughs> bet. Miles Garrett. Like, ugh, okay. That's a real odd deal when you think about it. Like, T.J. Watt has, what, five sacks more than Miles Garrett, and Miles Garrett wins Defensive Player of the Year. I get why, because he is such a game wrecker. Mm-hmm. But when you look at their stat line side by side, they don't compare. Yeah. They just don't. Yeah, Flacco cashed all the Hamlin betters. Oh, my God. Just distraught. That was pretty crazy. That was pretty crazy. What? What part of it? That Flacco won over Demar. Demar Hamlin died. Yeah. On the football field. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I bet you. I bet you if he would have got that fake punt in the playoff game, he would have won it. <laughs> <laughs> like he well, literally that, came back to life. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. He literally came back to life. I don't know, man. Look at these guys that Andre feel. Yeah, two tackles and one carry for minus two yards. Born, but this was like everyone thought this was just Demar Hamlin's award to win. Like it was going to be that the beginning. What was he minus twelve hundred the beginning of the season? Yeah, some crazy number. Well, I mean, fell for the Hamlin prop. I, I don't know if I'd say fell for it. Just really strange. Mm. I I felt a little that that whole prop to begin with, with him listed in there, just felt dirty. Because we're talking about somebody's life. Like it was, it just felt dirty to bet on. I was like, ugh.
Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. But I, yeah, I don't know what to say about like fell for the fell for the prop. I don't know. Hmm. Wow, you guys are really, you guys are all like an EJ by KO, huh? Finish, no distance. Really? EJ Finish, feel? <clears throat> all I know is this, if Feely comes out and wrestles and makes this a shit fight. Yeah. I uh, just, just, please give us a good fight, please. I'm sick of watching crap. Yeah. Like, honestly, the, what we were watching in BKFC was 10 times more exciting than these UFCs. <laughs> these fights have been pretty trash. Oh, remember the <laughs> the funny jet story I told you with the cell phones? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So this week's latest thing is, <laughs> this is typical sports, right? Article comes out, says that he caught all stuff. Then a source says, it was a lie. <laughs> it didn't really happen. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they say they found the coach responsible from the leaks and he's been removed. And as much as I love Rogers, going yeah. to Joe Rogan and talking about how he lost millions, <laughs> like the poor bleeding thing. heart, I'm like, poor oh, thing. poor Alan. Poor thing. I lost millions of dollars with my stance on COVID. You're still getting that 15 mil a year, right, Aaron? <laughs> right? You okay? You got enough? Mm-hmm. Sure you got enough, pal? Hmm. Oh, what are some look aheads? I don't know. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm texting with Nathan trying to figure mm -hmm. out what in the hell is going wrong. Like, we, I, we calculated up. We went six and one on picks. <laughs> Lost the one. Yeah. The one happened to be like the complete murder. So it's like, do we really have bad reads or are we actually reading these fights okay? That's the question, isn't it? Yeah. I mean that's the that's the eternal question. <clears throat> Lee and Maverick, I don't want anything to do with that. <laughs> yeah. Open Elliot, Val Woodburn. 
Nope. Let's see. Yeah, Quinn on Barlow. I'm not that high on Barlow. He's got one move. All right. I need I need Dan to put some money in my account here. Come on, Dan. Jesus, Rinya Nakamura is minus nine hundred against Carlos. Right? Minus nine hundred. AJ Dobson, Trayshawn Gore, garbage. Yeah. We both like Delima over Tafa. I like Lemos over Dern. I'm just, I, I'm done with the Dern experiment. Love mm-hmm. McKenzie, but she can't get it to yeah. now. She's fucked. And her, uh, Lemos has the power to really hurt her. Really hurt her. Mm-hmm. Um, Hernandez, Kopilov. Eileen Fluffy. I love Fluffy in that yeah, one. And I, I love I, Copy Lop, but this, that's a bad style matchup. I cashed out my oops bet on that. Yeah. Yeah, and more and more I thought about it. I'm like, don't let her ride. I like Marab over Cejudo. Yeah, that's a real popular one. Jeff Neal, Ian Gary, blah, blah, blah. The Volk Taporia fight is just so damn volatile. This shit mm-hmm. about, about Volk drinking every day and I don't know. That whole situation. I can't get on. What 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 was the whole thing about Volk? Just he's just a, he's a mess. If he's not fighting, he's a mess. If he doesn't have a fight booked, he's a mess. He, he said even leading up to the fight he was drinking. I I don't know, man. Something just doesn't I don't know. You think they're doing Val Woodburn a favor, Bubbles? I don't know. Watching Val Woodburn get knocked out by those looping, swinging, bow nickel punches doesn't give me any (laughs) confidence in that. Oh, my God. Danny Gay by knockout. That's over. Nice. Oh Thank you, Dan. Oh, my Thank God. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. God damn. Good bet, guys. You guys that have my finishing. Good God. Dude, anybody well, who's not in the top there, that, there, There's 50K, Gay. On this shit card, that's 100K. They might as well give them all the bonuses. Jesus. Damn. Nuked him. Nuked him. Absolutely. Just, I feel he was. Yo, could the ref stop it there? Like, could yeah, you jump in? Yeah, a good in? point. He was just, yeah. I mean, also, I, I don't know. Ige didn't need to. Oh, no, that's all right. Yeah, it was. The okay. second one was. Oh, Herzog. What a surprise. Yeah, shocker, Herzog. right? <laughs> Dude, Jason Herzog is having a bad weekend, man. Look at that overzealous push, too, that he did. He was he was real willing to dive in there and save Feely for more damage, right? Yeah. Boom. Andre Chitty Feely. <sighs> Good for Dan, because I thought he won that Bryce Mitchell fight, man. I did, too. I know. Dude needed a win. <clears throat> Eric Silva, eh. Alta Morano and Felipe Dos Anjos, eh. Plus and There's an under. Manuel Torres and Chris Duncan. (laughs) That's going to be who falls first. 
<clears throat> yeah, you're right, you Zuri. Massive favorite. Is anybody excited for Yair Rodriguez and Brian Ortega too? Or is this just like a fight that's just absolutely pointless? No. So bad. Let's look up uh, Bellator. All right. So what do you think here, Andy? You got Ferreira against Ryan Bader. <laughs> Where do you want to go with that one? <laughs> Great question. I don't know. Kasanganai <laughs> and Eblin, that's going to be an absolutely awesome fight. Uh, Pinedo, like him over Pitbull. Huge size advantage. Oh, yeah, Ray Cooper the third stepping in on short notice to fight Jackson. Oh, Ray yeah, Cooper, that's right. Ray Cooper's going to get fucking smoked. <laughs> he can't even make weight. Bruno Capeloza against Nemkov. Nemkov all day. All day. You look <clears> at the <throat> PFL. The, the here, Let me pull it up here. The PFL Bellator, yeah. Tiago Santos, your favorite fighter against Yoel Romero. I I can't believe that's a real thing that's I happening, know, isn't it? Right. That's awful. Clay Collard. That's against, awful. It's horrible, horrible, horrible. That's that's probably the worst matchup they made. It's pretty shit. bad. <clears throat> Clay Collard against AJ McKee. I would. That's an interesting fight. Mm-hmm. McKee didn't look fantastic. Uh, Aaron Pico over Gabriel Braga all day long. Yeah. All day long. Pico's just going to wrestle and take mm -hmm. down, isn't he? Oh, Pico's going to... He's going to wear him out. He's going to yeah. wear him out like a pair of tennis shoes. Ali Walsh is fighting a guy who's o o o. I know. What? I, seriously... <laughs> Clarissa Shields makes her return. Great. Against a one and two women's fighter. Yay. So that woman lost in CFA, the Narina, and then beat someone that was 0 and 2. They're trying to do whatever they can to get her to a get win. Clarissa yeah. Shields a win. Yeah, 100%. This woman only fought a couple nights ago. I'll take Clarissa Shields. Mm hmm. You got El Katani who looked good fighting somebody I know nothing about who's for him. Mm -hmm. I don't know these other two. I mean, I would think Impa is going to be a pretty large underdog to Eblin. <laughs> so that could be interesting. Yeah. I I'd say Pinedo over Pitbull is probably my favorite one. Think so? Pitbulls, they're just getting up there, man. Uh, no, he's been, he's been around the block. He's just yeah. been doing it for a long time. Yeah, and that, that size of Pinedo, man, that's mm -hmm. it's big. Yeah, he's lost two in a row. He, yeah, he, and he's looked horrific in his last two fights. Mm -hmm. Horrific. Super, what did, who did he fight? He went and fought a Super Ryzen 2, and he got knocked out in two minutes. What the fuck? What is he doing? 
Pitbull? That's what it says on his resume. It says on Tapology. Hmm. Got paid to take a dive. Maybe. <clears throat> Scott Coker still has his hands in there. <laughs> Just saying. No, Mo, there has not been a hole in one at the waste management, so. I mean, are we really going to, I mean, don't you take, what's your, what's your favorite one on that card? Probably Panado. Yeah. Um, I mean, Ryan Bader, <laughs> he's back. Uh, he's old. I was going to say Ferreira, Ferreira, Ferreira over Bader. But, but. Uh, Bader has been faring better at heavyweight than he has light, light heavyweight. Got that big win against Fedor, who's, what, 73? Before that, he beat Chick Congo. I love when you do this to me. <laughs> Decision. That's right. Decision. That's right. I win that fight. against Chicago. <laughs> I would say, yeah, those two. I, I mean, I love Jackson over Ray Cooper. I mean. Uh, just, yeah, okay. Ray, Ray Cooper is going to come in fat and out of shape. Yeah, Jackson's just going to wrestle and tire him he's out. He's going to wrestle the fuck out of him. The yeah. fuck out of him. Uh, Nemkov is a good solid bet over Kapaloza. I mean, what's Kapaloza's path to victory? Knock him out in the first round. After mm -hmm. that, Nemkov is going to play the outside. He's not going to be able to catch him. You know, to me, it's it's kind of almost looking like the. I don't know. I guess it's pretty even. As far as which company uh, has the better guys. Joe Piper versus Jack Hermanson. Ugh, that arm break is just so gross. Mm-hmm. So we can do it with all your time now that football's over, Andy. Uh, let me go <laughs> pour a glass of wine and I'll tell you because <laughs> this is about as honest as we get online. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, on that note, I'm going to get a beer. Hanging out at the Mexican restaurant. No, no, not hanging out at the Mexican restaurant. 
Um, so, yeah, okay, so in a nutshell, what am I getting ready to do? What I am getting ready to do is we're going to be set up for a really big year for the production company. So I'm gonna, we're going to pay off a lot of the debt that we have. And starting next year, we should have a lot of cash. And nice. we are actually looking at expanding our business outside of the production world. So here's what I mean. Like I need to spend probably twelve to fifteen thousand dollars to buy some subs that will complete one of our speaker rigs. So now we're complete. We're a complete production company that can do a full concert with our mobile stage, sound and lights. Mm -hmm. Then we have a separate system that's top that we already we have it booked at a winery for the whole season. We take it out there one time, we leave it. Nice. And yeah, three grand, three grand a pop. Every every time they turn it on, it's three grand, and we send a sound engineer. So that business, that was literally on the verge of bankruptcy a million times during COVID, is now flourishing. So I have that one. We just bought. We're buying a property. We close on April fifteenth. So I have that. Mm -hmm. uh, for the betting stuff, now that football's over. We really were really lowering the volume. Um, like we were eleventh at Wager Talk in volume in January, and that was with the Australian Open tennis. Mm -hmm. So we're we are gonna have very few plays. It's gonna be the ultimate quality over quantity, and I know that's gonna murder me in sales. Like like I don't know I. I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be way too honest here. I don't know. I like. I love what I do, and I love the industry, um, and I love the people that I work with, but there's, there's, there's like big frustration things when – okay, so for example, the last four days, we have zero sales on anything except Super Bowl. Yeah. Like, no, like that's all like anyone so. cares about. Yeah, stupid. and so, like, like once football season's over, I hope to get more people to buy other things. Like, even like okay, like even though we just lost the UFC play, we hit a three percent lacrosse play. Corbin mm -hmm. goes two and one on soccer. Like, it's still a it's a it's a fine day. Golf looks great. If we if we hit if we hit the Super Bowl plays, we have a fucking smoking weekend. Mm -hmm. um, but. It's we don't have a five percent college basketball play up, which everyone does. <laughs> so um, I am really focusing on just putting up a few plays here, or there. Um, really, really focusing on the three percent, and you're 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 not going to believe this. I am look. I don't want to take any money out of my production business. Mm -hmm. I don't want to take any money out of the gambling business. I'm thinking about getting a job. Okay. Something part-time that can just fill in the cracks. Okay. So, like... Nothing wrong with that. No, like, I don't want to take any money... I don't want to take any money out of the businesses that I have. The, the, the growth... Is too much. If I take money out of the businesses, it stunts the growth for 12 years. If I don't take money within two years, they're massive. So mm -hmm. I want to do less work with – I want to do less work with some of the businesses that I have. And one of them is the gambling thing, and I do believe that less plays are going to equal more units. Like Corbin this week, he had two tennis plays, murdered them both. No sweat, easy, like, money. Are those great for sales? No. Are they great for a bankroll? Fuck yes. yes. <laughs> like, so I've gone over this a million, million times about if you make 3% a week, you can turn your bankroll into, you know, a ton. So, and I've told people you can do this, like, three, four, five, six plays, depending on what's going on. And even though we lost UFC, I still feel fine about my hockey plays and mm -hmm. golf plays and some of the other ones. So I'm just going to really, really focus on that. Um, 
I have a client that uh, I'm a consultant now for his place nice. and nice. his bankroll. We do one hour every two weeks. We've done one call and we already completely turned it around. Mm. Completely turned it around for him. That is an so, absolutely fantastic thing. Yeah. Yeah. So mm. if anybody is watching, yes, I will I will absolutely entertain doing consultant calls. So mm -hmm. we did one one hour play or a one one hour call and he's been texting me all week. He's like Everything is turned around. We are. And, mm -hmm. and he was, he sent me all of his plays and they're good. He's had a million of them. <laughs> and I just walked through, he cut his plays down probably by 75%. He's making yeah. more money in the mm -hmm. first week. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of move. I'm just, I'm, I, I want to move on. I want to upgrade everything. Does that make sense? Most certainly. So, <clears throat> I like it. I like it. And it's tough because Scott, yeah, Scott, you bring it up. Like what I do isn't great for sales. It just isn't. Like it's not the the mainstream, man. No, that's why I've said before I don't mm -hmm. think people want to win. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't I really truly don't. So uh and and the industry has changed so much and I I don't I I have a good read on the people that I'm that like are in like our road to millions and things, mm -hmm. but other people like new people coming to the website. I don't think I have a good read on them. I don't, I don't know what they, I, I'm not sure what they're looking for. I, I think you know what they're looking for and you just know it's not. Maybe it's that's not, it. Yeah. You know, that, they, that's they, probably like a good said, way. They to, want college basketball. They want college football. They want college basketball. They want the volume. They want to, be able to every night sit down and watch a game and have money on it every single night. That's something that I've done way less of. Like the two weeks off from having money on daily sports is like taking a vacation that you didn't know you needed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, okay. Like this is great, you know? Now, now I, I will say that. The flip side of that is we're really embracing this. We're, we're going to be doing the lazy line concept. Mm. And there's just like, there are tons of opportunities out there. Mm. And I'm like, I've, I've said, well, I, I was like, I think NBA is just damn near impossible long, <laughs> like over the course of the season. But here's the thing. I think it's impossible night to night. There's a couple people that can that will do it, but I don't think it's possible long term. But with the lazy line, like I use the LeBron example, I think those are where like I, I think those are where the money's at. And I think that there's opportunities, but I think they're more applicable just f just for people that follow long term, mm -hmm. not daily plays. Yeah, like, yeah, like if I'm like, sense. hey, I've got, <laughs> like, hey, I've got an NBA play for sale, and they're like, what is it? Like LeBron under one or over one and a half made three pointers, and they're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like, <laughs> and it's like, well, what it is is, it's hit seventy percent of the time the last yes. thirty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play it three times this week. Mm -hmm. But if you're somebody that's new to wager talk and you're just like. I want to get I want to get this play and the, the you buy my play the first time and you you get a LeBron <laughs> over one and a half three pointers you're like what the hell and then somebody else is like I've got four college basketball plays and three of them are on ESPN you're like I want that guy yeah I want those plays Big those are the plays matchup. I want <laughs> yeah so yeah I don't like yeah and. The bankroll is where it was pennies is now substantial mm -hmm. and it's, it's, I, I don't want to talk about like my, I, I used to talk all the time about how much money, like dollars we were talking about, but yeah. I don't want to do that anymore. Um, but I will just say if people were on the same journey as me, wavelength, 
and stop doing it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's hard to talk to new customers because that's not really like I don't I don't I don't talk to the new customers that are like signing up for one play. If you've known me for a while and you know what Road to Millions mm-hmm. is all about, you know that it's okay if we have a losing week where we lose like two or three percent. That's that's fine. That's part of the process. Yeah. So yeah, we'll like, wake up. I'll wake up tomorrow and just say, "Well, shitty UFC day. Move the fuck on." Yeah, but ninety-one units last year. My mm-hmm. mom. I, I had dinner with my mom last night. She was. No, she had a meeting with her with her uh, financial advisor, and they were just so proud they made nine percent last year. And I was just, I was like, "Mom, I've done that with your betting accounts. <laughs> I did that like over the last two weeks with you." Yeah. <laughs> so. Ooh. This Good is job, Joe, by man. Pfeiffer. All right, so we'll talk Pfeiffer and Hermanson. So, I'll keep. I like it. We, I like it. Yeah, we can. We can. Honestly, we can keep talking about this because I. This is stuff I don't. I can't talk about on Road to Millions, and that's true. You know, like, and I'm perfectly fine with talking with people that want to. But I, I will tell you, I haven't done Bankroll Reset Day in two weeks because I see the views on the shows. What do you mean? People don't watch the show that I do Bankroll Reset Day. <laughs> They watch the shows where we give out a shitload of free picks. Mm, yeah. So well, that's what that, it's that's what it's got to be about unfortunately is views. So the behind mm-hmm. the curtain, the behind the curtain experience like right now to talk about it is people obviously in this chat are on the same wavelength, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like we'll have we're going to do the Super Bowl show tomorrow. We'll have 5, 6, 7,000 people watch. By one in the afternoon. <laughs> yes, yes. And when I do a show on Monday where we recap our betting strategies and we give out one free play, I'll have 200 people watch it. Mm-hmm. And it just, it's, it's tough. It's really, it's, it's really weird because I know what my goals are and I know how I'm going to get there. But it's just tough to talk to people about it. I said it before and I'll say it again. Once you commit to the system... Things go a lot better, guys. Just go yeah, and like losing better. the UFC thing is like really annoying. Guess what? It's <laughs> not but that's the that's the key. It's, what you just said. It's annoying. It's not annoying. It's not detrimental. It's not the it, death just, blow. <laughs> it's just <laughs> annoying. Yeah, that we lost. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're not gonna wake up tomorrow and say, "I don't have a bankroll." It's like we lost the play. It happens. <laughs> yeah, you're like, my bankroll's not gone. It's not gone. Oh, <laughs> <Still> there. <laughs> yep. All right, so I'm watching this. Pfeiffer looks good, obviously. Mm-hmm. Hermanson just needs, like I said, Hermanson just got to weather the storm for this first round. Keep yeah. the movement going. Joe's already done some pretty good work on that lead leg with those kicks. Oh, here's another. We setting the record for nut shots tonight. It's a pretty good one. Oh, God. Yeah, Born Center says NBA never bet anything. I, for the most part, agree, but I have found a couple of plays that if you can gravitate towards. Do you know Draymond Green, the books, forever had his turnover prop at one and a half? Do you know the over hit 16 games in a row before they moved it to two and a half? 16! That's what you find in NBA. You have to find that. And so you can't, like when you find NBA plays, you can't just like try and handicap one night. Oh boy, Hermanson's totally fucked. Come on, end this early. (laughs) This'll be the, uh, this'll be the parlay winner. (laughs) Yeah, right. Um, that's what I love about it, though. Like, the outlook that you have for NBA and for NHL. How it's just, it's nothing on the radar. I'm so glad I didn't put that hockey play in. Fucker scored two oh, goals. Did he really? <laughs> wow. In the third period when they were getting their asses whooped. Complete garbage again, goals. Again, fucking third period. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go back to Chicago. Uh, I'm going back to Chicago. Going back to yeah, absolutely. Right that that's the thing. It. it lost. Great. I'm going back to it again. What do they it, play tomorrow? 
I had four probably out of not. five before the for the All Star break, just blindly mm-hmm. betting the two and a half, whatever number it is. Mm-hmm. Just take the under, and I'll go right back to it. They don't play Monday. There they are. Yeah, Tuesday they play the Canucks. Yeah, hundred mm-hmm. percent. And that's the beauty of it, though, is that. Okay, I'll have a play for Tuesday. Why look at anything Monday if you don't need to? Like, yeah. If it cashes Tuesday, you go, when do they play again? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, we'll watch this fight, and then we'll stay on, and we'll talk a little. Mm. We'll talk some business and numbers, because I do love talking about it. Um I love talking about the industry and where we're at. I, t- I don't get a chance to talk about it with a bunch of people I work with because it is, it's so weird at Wager Talk, man. I like, I do videos with everybody, yeah. but I don't know them. <laughs> you don't know what they're, yeah. yeah I get you. No, no, like, like, like you, you. You know, you, do you know who I know is Dan Alexander, mm. who's the producer who you don't really hear, but he does all of our yeah. lacrosse plays, fucking killed it today. Uh, crush his play. He got engaged today. Good for him. Yeah, like texting with him. It's like, I know him. I know him better than I know guys that I do videos with. Mm-hmm. You know who I'm, you know I'm actually close with? is Prez. I'm not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not surprised by that. Yeah. <laughs> he seems like, he, you know, again, you can tell people's personalities on the videos. You Dude, can tell who's biggest, a fun time and who's not a fun time. Biggest heart, most generous person yeah. I've met in a while. Like, I, love when, I love when people get on. They're like, he's, Prez just cares about himself. He's so, it's like, you fucking morons. He's putting out a persona and a product. Yeah. What don't you understand about this? Yeah, and, and, and part of it is a persona, part of it is not, but when it boils down... He is just, yeah, his character no, like, is. When he says shit like, like somebody makes a comment, and he's like, sure, I'll talk about me. I love yeah. talking about me. Yeah. Like, it's funny as hell. Yeah. Are you really going to yeah. take that that serious? Yeah, Rudy. Uh, Rudy um, yeah, I love Rudy. Rudy's a good guy. Awesome in the industry. Um, he should do well. Uh Rudy's going to be one of the guys where if Jim can't make it, Nathan can't make it, then we're just – Rudy will jump on. He's mm-hmm. He can do it. He's like, oh, man, eight hours? I'm like, it's oh, not that you'll bad. you'll be fine. You'll be it's fine. not that bad. So. It goes fast. A little cut on Piper. Oh, is that Hermanson that did some damage to Piper? Joe might have missed his opportunity. Are you seeing what I'm seeing here, Jim? (laughs) I am. Just a subtle reminder, this is five rounds. Mm -hmm. (laughs) What's a live line here on Mr. Hermanson? Because I got to tell (laughs) you... Four to one on Hermanson. Okay. This could I'm be a holding close this. Round I'm holding this live line wide open. I want to see what happens here.
<laughs> Bubbles, you were asking about the parlay buster. I said I thought this was it. <laughs> yeah, contender series is not fair to well. Not a good look tonight. Not a good look. Oh, yeah, this is going five. They're smiling at each other. Gotta love it. I. Hermanson's only two to one now. I think Piper's in trouble, man. He, it, the thing is, though, is Piper up to zero? Well, it's second round, so. That's what I mean, like. Oh, like winning this round? If he know. comes out of this round, is he up 2-0? Because oh, that would yeah. mean Hermanson's yeah, got to win. Is. Okay, yeah, he's he's going to be up 2-0. I mean, but, he's winning this last minute here, so. Yeah, but Herman Hermanson blocked those shots. Those didn't land. True, true. Oh, you see that jab? Touch him, Jim. <sighs> yeah, I still think it's going to be Joe's round, man. It's going to be tight, though. And again, who the fuck knows what these judges are thinking? Joe's getting a little shiny, though. That's what I'm more worried about. He's shiny and he's bleeding. <laughs> I think Pfeiffer's in trouble, man. He's plus 220. I'm putting $5 on it. <laughs> because I want to get credited for this call that I made I about you. Hermanson. I I I I I want to say I cashed. <laughs> you guys bet the draw. <laughs> it's pretty good. Jesus. That's what I mean. Like Pi I agree, that, that, those were yeah. Piper's two best rounds right there. You just saw the best. No grappling yet, which I think is very interesting. That's if yeah. You, if, if you that see could be coming. Yeah, if you see her Manson start to try to push forward and get a clinch or get grappling going here, I think you take him. I'm not doing it. No, I know. I'm done for the night. They keep talking about Pfeiffer shooting for a double leg. Dude, if he shoots for a double leg and doesn't get it. He ain't shooting for a double leg. That's what, I, that's what I'm thinking. That leg's in trouble. Piper's leg. Ooh, look at it. You're right. I didn't even see it. Yeah, the outside of that calf is welting up. Oh, he's, he's switching stances. Mm -hmm. Another five-round main event. Easy overs the whole way, all plus money. Ooh! I'm just saying, I grabbed him at 225. He's now 175. Hermanson, 150. <laughs> <laughs> And he's getting an extra large coffee tomorrow with that $5 bet. 
<laughs> one twenty four. <laughs> I. <laughs> Oh, oh, 100. <laughs> oh, that leg. Jim, yeah. that leg is gone. Jim, Piper's leg is absolutely mauled. And guess who is oh, the favorite now on the live lines? <laughs> it was right at the mark we thought, dude. Oh, get him. Get that? him. Jack Kirby is minus 130. Get him. I got Oh, get him, Jack! Get this him, is Jack! Great. This, is, this is the happiest we've seen Andy all night, guys. So let's let's relish this. I like. Uh, please try. Oh, nice takedown, oh, Joe! Oh, no. Joe's done. Minus two seventy for Jack Hermanson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I absolutely got in at even money, Good but. For you. I I'm so happy right now. Minus three forty five for Jack, and we didn't get the goddamn Pateria fight to work. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, so. I am and, gonna I am gonna wake up tomorrow, have my coffee, and just sit in the kitchen and say, "How? <laughs> How? Because we were pretty damn accurate, oh. <laughs> like." That's so crazy. You can pick what? This will be seven and one, right? Hermanson I pulls this off. Seven and one. And you're blah. All right, here comes Pfeiffer. No, this is Pfeiffer's like last gasp. Like this mm -hmm. is his like second, third wind. The leg's done. Hermanson's not wearing damage and Pfeiffer is. No, no, come on, Hermanson. This is your round. Oh, he's not going to lose this round. He beat the shit out of him for four minutes. Oh, good body shot. Oh. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> nice, Jack. <laughs> nice. Nice. They're both tired. Oh, yeah. This is a um, tough fight. High pace. High pace fight. So two to one, I would say pretty solidly, right? Mm-hmm. I'm rooting for Jack, but I'm going to lock in Pfeiffer at uh, two to one. Guarantee profits. Good idea. Bang. Because uh, Herm Hermanson's tired as well, so I j I, I, small profit, I'll take it on the main event. Not sexy, but... Chipping it away. All counts. Chipping away. Mm. Ooh. Interesting.
Piper's cardio hanging in there. Mm-hmm. That leg, man, is just going to be in Ooh, bad nice shape move. tomorrow. Yeah, Hector, just uh, put it in uh, Twitter. Now, Pfeiffer's the favorite. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Get just sitting on plus money on both these guys. You did your job. <laughs> Our part's over. It's it's even money, and I I think it's going to be two two. Pfeiffer can't get the takedown. I don't know, man. I lean Joe in this round so far, even though we can't get the takedown. Jack's hit him with I think, two good stinging shots. Whoever wins this next two minutes here wins this round. Yeah, that's true. I think the body language of Jack is better. The, the the look for Pfeiffer about getting his leg absolutely mm -hmm. walloped is bad. Pfeiffer just hit a wall. I thought that too. He backed up. I was like, uh-oh. Right? Just stop. Uh-oh. Wow. Wild swinging shots. I think I'm watching too much information. Mm. I'm going to take this week and approach things differently. I mean, in all reality, this week is going to be a very strange week for me. So mm -hmm. um, I think I'm going to watch a little bit less opinions of other people. And UFC video, like videos made by, the, like how many times did we have to see Joe Pfeiffer punching the, uh, the, the hit power machine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that right. fucking story all week. Yeah. I think the fact that Pfeiffer's not getting those takedowns is a bad, bad look for him. Mm hmm That leg's fucked. Oh, his legs is. is <laughs> yeah, you're right. So if you guys want to hang out after this is over, we'll talk. We'll talk the 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 betting markets, the business, all that stuff. So join in if you got questions, comments, whatever. Hey, Hector sent me a video for his favorite Super Bowl yeah. player. Yeah. Boom, boom. Props for the Super Hector, you sound good on camera. You know, I do need a stand in once the baby comes, Hector. He looks good, sounds good. You sound good. It's a home run. I'm setting the bar pretty low here, guys. Don't be embarrassed by your, your setup, your attire.
just wait to the next show I, I do after the kid comes. We're going to log in. There's going to be like spit up stain, <laughs> baby food, unshaven for two weeks. <laughs> oh, I All like right. Jack pushing the pace early. I love it. I will say this. Piper looks, or uh, Hermanson looks great coming off that injury. You're not seeing any Yeah, I, 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 didn't, I didn't quite understand why everyone was so down on Hermanson. I, did, I, I, did, was, I didn't quite I was get worried it. about the back injury. That was the biggest reason for me. It was a back okay. injury. Okay. But oh, he looks fantastic. Brutal he leg does. kick. Accepting it now. Oh, he's so done. He's tired. Hermanson is minus eight ten. So you call beating a line move there, Mister Lang. Boom. Oh, that's why he's minus eight ten. Oh, wow. Because Piper ain't getting up. <laughs> Piper's not getting up. looking good there center it's looking good you got two and a half minutes and i think you're getting all of them there buddy yeah you're getting the whole brinks truck backed up to your house i'm gonna be sweating out good old kyle use check to come through for me tomorrow come on kyle Oof. You know what I worry too with Pfeiffer? I don't know what he does to fix this. He doesn't. You know what so I mean? Like, he's a, you can beat up on Alan Amendowski and Abdul yeah. Azak Rod. Like. Dana's golden boy, they elevated him too quick. They fucking do this all the time. All yeah. the time. Yep. Yeah, it's like the Dana White curse. It is. It's a curse. Oh, Bo's time's coming, Bubbles. Don't think mm -hmm. Bo's time's not fucking coming. His time's coming. Mm-hmm. 
Unfortunately, I don't believe it's going to be Cody Brunnage to do it. Just, just a thought. But fucking great performance. Yeah, from Hermanson. Fucking great. If that Jack Hermanson fought Chris Curtis, yeah. Man, oh man, my God! Holy shit! Like, you know, I can get behind a fighter that looks like that. Just, shoot. Bubbles, you bring up a... Bubbles, you speak lunacy half the time, but man, you bring up some damn good points. It's a great point. We gotta start looking at the rankings, man. I do. Fuck. I'm disappointed in myself tonight. Not happy. Came down to that last round. I cannot believe that I called the amount of things <laughs> that I did tonight. <laughs> I did a video predicting Jack Hermanson to win in the exact fucking way that he just did. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you did good, buddy. You did good. What do we actually hit? We hit the show best bet. We hit the parlay. Luma and Oki. Live. I mean, we hit live. Bit. Right. We lost one thing. Oh, wait. No. Did Oki lose? I, wait. I, that was the goddamn Bateria fight. Did not go. I fucking just made, <laughs> yes. made her broke the night, man. God. Oh, man. my God. Okay. Here. Vito brings up a good one. Jim, you know what's hitting? Is our is our stupid theories, only fans theory easy, fade Dana's favorite fucking fighter, easy, like God. Good point, Vito. Good fucking point. Do we just take MMA out of this? That's 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 what I mean. Forget the odds. Forget the. No, I'm not films. trying to. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm really not. I'm trying not to be funny either. Right, <laughs> like we. Nice. Like, do we just forget this shit and just okay? Listen, <laughs> Dana's favorite fighter who he elevates too fast, loser. Only fans, like loser. Like, Contender series fighting veterans. Contender series fades. They're just they're risky. I mean, Darius Flowers, man, Michael Johnson look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he made Amazing. Michael Johnson look like a title contender. Holy shit. I think the, the the ranking step up, like the you know, fringe top ten guy fighting a top five, like that that Danny Gay spot looking back on it, that was yeah. a missed, that was a missed opportunity. I know and I'm not saying that he, because he finished him by knockout, but like that's historically a pretty damn good hit rate. Mm -hmm. You get those guys, and again, it's the Hermanson too. Hermanson's fighting title challengers. Ige's fighting title challengers. <laughs> now you're going to fight top 15, top Piper's 10. Piper's fighting Alan Amandowski. Yeah, it's, 
yeah, I think it's time for a reset. Too much. That's what I mean, though. Like I said this week, I'm not going to watch shit this week. I'm not. I'm not going to watch anybody else's bullshit <laughs> at all. I'm going to talk to you on Wednesday, and we're going to say, <laughs> all right, what'd you find out? Who's got an yeah. OnlyFans? Who's what? Yeah, I think less is be- less is more. Less is more. Yeah. Like, if you want to cut through all the nonsense with MMA, maybe that's just the way that we, maybe that's just the way to do it. Like, kind of look, just look outside of, because everyone breaks down the film. And that's probably what the books are doing, too. So how, how do you get, talking about lazy line, the Joe Pfeiffer line was a lazy line. Yeah, it's a good one you can bring up. That was a... Mm-hmm. That's like all this information is made to sway you. Like so that Hector just said basically the exact yeah. same thing. It's not it baked into the line. Mm-hmm. Like most of the things are baked into the line, so you don't really have an advantage. But the Joe Pfeiffer one, that was a lazy line. Oh, mm-hmm. three finishes, d- d- moving up to main event title. Like going up against a guy who I'm sorry. I just can't believe people glossed over that he was beating Roman Delize until he got put in the most random calf yeah. slicer in the history of calf slicers. What have you ever seen a calf slicer in a calf, I think they, a calf it, slicer in UFC? It was glossed over because of how bad Roman looked last week. I, it, it, it's it's that fact is happenstance because of the timing of the two fights. If this fight was a month later, I don't think you that would have been glossed over as much. But the yeah. fact that he looked so fucking bad last week, <laughs> that swayed a lot of people, I think. Yeah. That. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, so uh, just talking bets and stuff, like, me and Corbin have been talking, talking for a while, and I think we're just pretty settled in on we're going to be doing less, less bets. Um, his plays are probably going to be higher percentage. Mm-hmm. Like, like his darts plays. I mean, my God, my God. Like you said, just you told me you're like you need to just tell people to just bet the darts plays and just forget it. You don't need to watch it. Just thank mm-hmm. you very much. We'll like we'll put it in. You could get rich off of these plays. Yeah. This is a 17 week series. Every Thursday, every Thursday for months, we can get these. We can get these plays. Um, like so, but if I'm like. If I'm an employee at Wager Talk, there's a difference between selling a bunch of college basketball plays and selling a darts play. We don't sell darts plays mm-hmm. unless people really, really know us. But I think I'm less concerned with that and just focusing on let's just put out winners as many as we can. Like if we go through a cold stretch, the worst we're going to be is like down 6 or 7% at the end of the week. But when we... Mm-hmm. When we go on a good run, then we're going to be up. But I know it means less sales. But I'll fill I'll I'll fill in those gaps. Well, when you're not reliant, you have the the ability to not be reliant on your sales. You, yeah, your your well being in life is not reliant on your wager talk sales. It's going to be reliant on your bankroll if the road to millions goes the way it does, and it's retirement time. So. Where do you put your time and investment? You put it into your bankroll. You don't put it into your sales. Mm-hmm. If it's not going to get you where you wanted to, where you want to be, right? Yeah. So I, you're, you, you brought up something interesting where somebody was like, "Oh, you just sold your business. Well, now what yeah. are you going to do?" Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, because you because make I, money now. <laughs> <laughs> because the the things that I do, like for my like my audio video production company, like having heart to hearts with my business partner, our goal, not our goals haven't changed, but the way we're getting to them have changed. This is our last year of expanding our video production company for audio and video. We're expanding into other businesses. I Mm -hmm. would love to sell stuff. You just sold a business. So what's your mindset right now? Well, see, here's the thing. Yes, I am selling a business. But I already have another one. So the thing is, is that I really like this other one. Mm -hmm. I like the school. 
I'm excited to go there. It's a better lifestyle. So like, where's the end goal? Gonna be a new dad. Don't wanna work in a shop all day anymore. Don't wanna deal with bullshit. Don't wanna be around chemicals. Don't wanna not be able to uh, decide to stay an extra day on a vacation because I have to get home to the shop, you know? So we're kind of past that point in our lives. And the school is a healthy lifestyle. I mean, you can't bullshit it. You can't be a fat bastard up there telling people to work hard. <laughs> it's, I'm serious. Here's my, here's my fat out of shape karate instructor. Do more Watch. jumping jacks. <laughs> <sighs> Watch when he demonstrates sit, these yeah. kicks. He's only got two or three of them in him. So just because he gets winded Listen, after. The- nothing is more embarrassing than demonstrating a technique and fucking it up because you're, you slip or you fall or you're out of shape or you go to kick and like you pull a muscle. It's really fucking embarrassing. <laughs> that was the best of us. But no, I'm, I'm, and it's, it's funny you say it cause you're talking about like selling a product at this point, I'm viewing myself as the product. So in a way I'm selling myself with our, our little kid programs, our four year olds or five year olds or six year old, you're selling that father figure disciplinarian kind of vibe a little bit. Um, Rex Quando, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's a, it's a very different mentality. It's it's a weird limbo. Um, but it's it's kind of on par with what you were saying. It's like y- you've always put investing into the companies, investing into the companies, and now it's time to start pulling out of the companies. Like, I think we forget to do that, and I forgot to do that for years with my shop. Mm-hmm. Borrowed against it. Buy more equipment, buy more projects, hire more employees, never put money in our bank account. So, yeah, it, it funded our lives for 20 years, but there's no big golden nugget at the end of the rainbow mm-hmm. of profit. So the only way you get profit is by selling it off. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and I, like, I, I like, I'm, I'm looking hard at starting a physical products company, mm-hmm. um, you know, for, for things, but like when I'm looking at betting in the road to millions, I, when I, when I made the comment about like, I don't think people want to win. Yeah. I, I really think that a lot of people look at betting as just a release. Mm-hmm. It's an excitement thing. Um, and like, like seriously, like talking, <laughs> just talking to my mom last night, like, and I, like I have retirement, I have Roth IRAs, uh, you know, with, with the same financial people that my mom does. And my mom was just like, they were just so happy that they made 9% last year. And I was, I was just like, are you fucking kidding me? That's it? That's, like, a that's, it's a that's what you made? And I, I told her, I was like, mom, you have like $6,000 in your, your, you know, your things. I was like, I made you 500 like two weeks ago. I haven't put another play in. I haven't put mm-hmm. one play in since then. I made 500 off of like 6,000. That's damn near like. <laughs> close to the nine percent and like that's what i'm struggling with what, what i'm struggling with is i can do that for bank rolls and stuff but it doesn't necessarily translate to a great sales product on wager talk yeah because it's not that mentality that people can say that they look at it as a retirement or they're they're on board but hey we all look forward to saturday night right we all do we love look it to saturday night it's a great time um but where I've grown and, and speaking with you and, and I, if anybody out there is listening right now and is stuck in a rut, please find somebody to talk to about it who knows what they're doing because it, I am sitting here aggravated because we weren't profitable. Like you get what I'm, I'm not like, oh, but I had a good time. I lost money, but we had a good time tonight. It's not good enough anymore. No, like, that was fun. Need, that was we fun. We need to be profitable. Yeah. We need to be profitable. If you're going to look at it that way, the lower the volume and the profit, but that's not how everyone's going to look at it until they start looking at it the way you do. Yeah, and, and that's, my, that's my, my offer part. still stands to all you guys. Like, if you want to do a call, 
to go mm-hmm. over your bankroll and your bets and your betting strategy. Yeah. If you really want to take it serious, I will absolutely do that. Like, mm-hmm. like when we, like when we do the road to million stuff and we like go on there and it's like, well, we're down 3% this week. We're down 1%. Like we're down 5%. Like I, like I get that if you're, <laughs> if you're like an average better and you're looking at that and you're going, well, why the fuck would I like pay this guy? He's down like four, like 2%. But like somebody that has a year's access said the same thing. He was like, if I were to do that for my investments every day, look at them, mm-hmm. I would lose my lose mind. Your fucking mind. Because exactly. in the stock market, you're down. <laughs> like last year, you were down 75% of the time, but the big spikes. And, and mm-hmm. he made the point, he was like, it's so much easier to just put money in stocks and not worry about it. But when you're betting, you're seeing the numbers every day. So when you like, you have highs when you win and you have big lows when you lose. So it's hard to like, mm-hmm. it's hard to manage those emotional up and downs. So like my, my personal going forward, I would like to have a max with football ending because football, like you were telling me, Football changes the fucking game. When it's football season, the whole gambling world is different. When it's not football season, it changes everything. Um, I would like to have a cap of six plays per week. Mm, Okay. Six plays per week, Sunday's a day of rest. (laughs) Just don't need to have a play. And I think that's good for my time and the availability that I'm going to have is to just have... Roughly six plays, whether they're you and Corbin's plays or my own plays or whatever. I think capping it at six is good to go. You you can get rich off of six plays a week. Exactly. And you can make epiphany <laughs> like, that you have to have. It's it's so it's so true. So so you have two like, darts plays, right? Every you Thursday, have, there's going to be a darts play. There's going to be like for me moving forward, there's prob I, I will, I was nervous at the beginning of the year when Corbin said, I want to get really aggressive with tennis. And I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> so what I thought it meant was I'm going to have 15 plays a week, even in these off tournaments. What he meant was there's these little pockets of little itty bitty plays on these off tournaments that mm. nobody's paying attention to. Like we had a 5% play this week. It hit talk about no sweat. It wasn't even a yeah. sweat. It was a, and so that's what he's, that's what he's been looking at. And that's kind of what I've been looking at too, is like, you know, it's okay if we don't have a play every day, like mm-hmm. <laughs> Monday through Friday, we had five plays, three and we were three and two profitable. And that was perfectly fine for me. But like, is that a great advertisement on the front of a website? No. <laughs> but it's, I'm okay with that now. It, your long-term profits are the only thing that you can push that might grab their attention. But like you said, I don't even know that's going to do it for some of these basketball betters. No. It's college no. basketball guys and just it's high volume approach. It, it's a different world, man. It's a different yeah. fucking world. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah. Honestly, if anybody wants to talk, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not talking for you, Jim, but you're always great about talking to people and. Kind oh of yeah, yeah. Going through just the most certainly change of mindset of how you look at everything. So, and what's crazy is, like, <laughs> doing the show tonight. Like, yeah, we lost we lost the wager talk official play, but we did hit the show best bet, and we did have mm-hmm. live plays and stuff. I mm-hmm. personally ended up profitable tonight. And it breaks my heart because if you just would have gotten the UFC play today, you're down. Mm-hmm. And that, like that, it that bothers me. When it's like, oh, I had a, I, I turned a little profit tonight, but you know, you know, there's that, nothing I, you can do to fix that either, except say watch the show. But yeah, really, yeah. what this, what this show is, is just, it's just a bunch of us hanging out and spitballing things and throwing it at the wall and seeing what sticks, Mm -hmm. you know? And there's a lot of guys that make, we've spoke about this. There's guys that make a whole career with this just based off live betting. Oh, nuke. Yeah. Nuke the house. They're great. It's live betting. It's amazing. Um, It's a (laughs) lot of fucking work. (laughs) 
<laughs> it's way It's an insane amount of work. More work. If, yeah, if you don't know, so Nuke the House, uh, they've been doing it for a while. Uh, guy does a lot of NASCAR, but he does live betting. And, <laughs> like, I don't know what he does now, but during football season, like, he was on. You think we're on for a while. He was on, on. for the entire season, and I really like their strategy because he would – He'd have some pre-bets like before. And to be honest, most of them didn't go well. It, all he needed was one player mm-hmm. to like really latch onto where he was like, this guy's going to carve up this other team. Mm-hmm. I can see it in the first quarter. So he he would end the game with like 10 bets on the same player with yeah. live bets and be up like 18 units. And it was like mm-hmm. lost 10 units on the pre-flop, like up 18. But, man, you got to commit to – it's a lot of hours sitting and watching, oh. and you gotta have, like we were saying, you gotta have your books all open, and like that ready was to the tough the part. Button. Like, yeah, that was the tough part with the live betting. It's tough. It's tough with it's football. Smart. With football, it's tough. Like mm-hmm. it, it, with UFC, it's like okay, they're in between rounds, mm-hmm. <laughs> like or yeah, or like okay, everybody's got the same line for now because they're on the ground or you know. So, but yeah, football is was really really tough. So. So yeah, so th- yeah, so this year is going to be interesting because I really think I'm going to go get like a part time job or something, so I don't have to take money out of bank rolls and take money out of out of businesses. So it's a wise idea. It's it's that's really funny that you brought that up because again, like people have been asking me what I'm going to do, and I look at what people get paid for mindless jobs that <laughs> used to pay dog shit. When we were younger, but like, you know, could you, could you go work at Lowe's like three days a week and stack lumber? Yes. Easy. Sign me up. Would you do it for full benefits and sick days and vacation time and yeah, like something like, dollars an hour? Yeah. Like I yeah, probably absolutely. would. You, you and I have talked, <laughs> you and I have talked about it. like when you were like, oh, if I had a bunch of money, what's a mindless job I would do? Mm-hmm. A leaf blow. I fucking yeah, love that's it. right. Yep. <laughs> Mine was deliver pizza. Yep. Hey, do pizza. you have a leaf blower and are you paying $20 <laughs> an hour? I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's a different thing. I want to, I want to most certainly after things get settled, um, you figure February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Uh, I would say before football season starts. I'm basing it around football season. Before football season starts, I want to make a large investment like I did the first time into my bankroll. Because I had to wipe my bankroll out with what we were, with the baby Of course. Card. Of course we had to. Um, but... Keep this same approach that you're talking about. I love, love where you're going with this. Love where you're going with this. With the lower volume and hearing that Corbin's on board with it and you guys are like, whoop. Mm -hmm. You're fucking on it. And just really get to the point where, I remember you had said to me a while ago, when your bankroll gets bigger, you'll have less plays because then you have actual real money on bets. And you don't want to have seven, eight bets on a UFC card when you have real money on a play. Yeah, yeah. If you're if you're like, oh my god, if I have a bad night, mm-hmm. I'm down ten thousand dollars. Yeah. And it sounds, it sounds like, I don't want it to sound like you're shitting on people that don't have big bets, but like, it's a different mentality. It's a very, very different mentality when you have an actual bankroll of like you know six thousand, seven thousand, whatever dollars. You know, and, and you have multiple hundreds, if not thousands, on a play. Yeah. You yeah, just it's... want that to win. You don't need any other shit stressing you out. Mm-hmm. That's it. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but but it takes that mentality when you're starting off to get to that point. Mm-hmm. And that that's what's that's mm-hmm. what's really really hard. I I've tried to tell people yeah. that like like yeah like yeah I remember when. You, you you remember when me and Nathan first started and we were like, all right, we got, <laughs> we're starting, we're betting like $25 a bet. Yeah. And that was only a couple of years ago. And and it was like... Yeah, when you look back, it was, man. Yeah. Absolutely it was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's amazing. Like, it really is amazing how quickly you can get it up. And what's what's weird is like, so when you think low volume... 
Yeah, uh, well, lower volume. It's going to take longer. It's quicker. That's what's it does bonkers. It makes zero. Um, it's <laughs> quicker. It makes zero sense in the gambler's mind. Mathematically, yes. it makes all the sense. All the sense. <laughs> How I live working on pools. I make three dollars an hour. I'm gonna have over there four days. <laughs> <laughs> what is up? <laughs> Exactly, man. I got, <laughs> I got, I got a buddy. He's he's it's a, a good deal. Yeah, I got a buddy. He's a uh, he's a part time realtor, but he's having like a huge couple years. And uh, mm -hmm. he was he's a retired sheriff. Um, he's got some he's got some wild ass stories. Um, <laughs> but so he took this job at this. Uh, he loves landscaping and painting and fixing mm -hmm. up stuff. So he took this job at this painting company, and it just he hates it. Hates it, and it just pays so good. All he does is go in there and measure, give quotes, and that's it. <laughs> and that's it. It's like I make a killing. It's like I hate every second of it. But it makes yeah, I wanna, I wanna do something I love going forward. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, I looked at it like I'm I'm turning forty. If I'm lucky, I get forty more. I want to do something. That, I, I want to switch it up and just do some fun stuff. So I and enjoy. I. And, and that's the thing. I I am blessed because I love what I do at Wager Talk. I mm -hmm. it gets me up in the morning. Literally, there are mornings where I wake up and I go, I wonder, like, I, I hope, like, oh, I hope we get good lines on this player to not have a point tonight in the NHL. Yeah. And it literally gets me out of bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or like, like, oh, it's Thursday. Golf starts in a minute. <laughs> like, yeah. like. I, my guy tees off in a little bit. So, like, I, I love, like, that, and I, I will do it forever. And I know I can do it for a long, long time because I work with people that have been doing it. I mean, Dave Koken's been doing it longer than I've been alive. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, it is cool that I know that I can have something like that. Um, but it's weird because right now I am, look, I am probably just going to get some kind of part-time job that is mindless and it'll just be like cash for a couple years just so I can just so I can live while I build up like mm -hmm. the businesses and stuff. So freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. That's the biggest mm -hmm. thing, that's the biggest value is options and freedom in your uh work and career. You are, bo board setter, you are the second person I know that works on pools that has said that exact same thing. I know I know another guy <laughs> And it's it's so judgmental me like eight like eight years ago, like he drives this badass car. Mm. I was like I was like, God damn, like nice fucking car. And he was like, Not bad for someone that works on pools. I was like, What? <laughs> he was like, Yeah, I work on pools. I was like, You own that? I was like, Yeah. I was like, How? And then he told me, I was like, Oh <laughs> That's how. <laughs> oh <Yeah>. no shit. <laughs> we were uh, we were talking about like private training. The other day, it's like case in point. Like, say you have an eleven-year-old daughter that wants pitching lessons for softball. She goes for a half hour of pitching lessons. It's one hundred and fifty dollars an hour, half hour. One hundred fifty bucks in a half hour. That's like, that's like the equivalent to what the crab guys make on deadliest catch. Like, yeah. <laughs> it, it's insane when you add it all up. So. Like, we do private lessons, and there's big freaking money. I have three companies right now, uh, daycare companies, that want us to do satellite programs at their daycares. So my day could possibly consist of going to two daycares, teaching for a half hour. Hey, do push-ups, sit-ups, <laughs> punch, key You're right? Hey, uh, right? Uh -huh. And then go back and teach at your school, and... Yeah, it's it's lucrative, man. But I, I I I have a friend. His wife is is was awesome softball pitcher. She had a full time job as a teacher, and she quit to give mm -hmm. private lessons softball because she, she doubled her income. More, she? Doubled her income. Uh -huh. <laughs> Coaching high end women's softball. Like <laughs> our school's in a big hangar. And there's three uh, 
three um, separate units, right? So we're in the end unit. The second unit's coming up available. I've already talked to a bunch of people. I'm going to put, I'm going to try to make a bid for it by the unit next door and just put literally a batting cage, a pitching cage. <laughs> yeah. And if you want to teach lessons, you rent space for me. It's a great teach idea, as many man. As you want. It's indoor. You can do it all year round. It's great. Nothing like that by us. But I like I like the uh, the strategy with the road to millions. It's a little bittersweet that tomorrow is like the last day of NFL RTM, but hell of a season, hell of a season. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was a great season. But honestly, I I'm more excited. I hope. I hope that once football season is over, like we get more people in to try some of these other plays mm-hmm. that that we have. So um, it it is it is it is just wild, man. If like like I said, we've put up I've put up plays for sale for the last five days. I've sold none of them except for Super Bowl, <laughs> except for the Super Bowl. So and I, I get it. I like I get it. Yeah, you want the Super Bowl plays and everything, but it's just the the my mentality is I'm like, well, I don't really give a shit where the plays come from. I really don't care. Am I cashing on darts? Am I cashing mm-hmm. on? So, and uh, me and Corbin were laughing because um, Wager Talk sends us a an accounting thing at the end of the month. They send everybody like you need to put up more free plays or you need to, you know, do this. And this is how mm-hmm. many, this is your winning percentage. This is how many units this is how many new customers, you know, brought up, blah, 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 blah. And like, just the, the thing, like a couple of things that we got were just like, yeah, your the note was your plays are not for the average better. Like the average person would like, like get our plays and be like, what the fuck is Scotty Scheffler top 20 and Peter Wright under two and a half 180s in the Premier Dart League. What <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> like, well, Peter Wright already cashed and Scotty Scheffler's yeah. tied for eighth mm-hmm. right now. <laughs> so. What the fuck's a 180? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's so true. It's so true. It's so true. Um, so, yeah, yeah, like, like, we know our audience, like we know who it is, like we try and talk, but yeah, like when I do the bankroll reset day, I'm just stunned. That's our least watched video of the week. By far. By far. Least watched video. <laughs> but <laughs> it just makes no sense. I mean, I'm done trying to figure it out. Like I'm just I'm done trying to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Why? Why it's that way? I'm looking at Protest's face right now. My God, is he lucky to get that <laughs> yeah, win? How did he win? That was the guy that got knocked out, or was the guy that actually knocked? Out I should have ta- I should have taken that that fight as like notice. Like the gambling gods are going to give you this one, and Jim, you should just close your phone for the rest of the night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so interesting, interesting stuff. Like I said, if you guys ever want to just shoot the shit or talk mm-hmm. about stuff, just send me a message. We'll do a we do a call and talk about talk about your bankroll, your gambling stuff. I I got I I tell you, man, I got to give that guy so much credit. Um, I won't tell you his name, but I I had never met him, but he just like followed stuff. Was like, I love the way you look at it. Oh, the guy I, for the consulting and everything. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. He mm-hmm. was he was like. I want I want to hire you one hour a week. Mm-hmm. We'll do it and we'll do it every two weeks. And he just sent me a spreadsheet of all of his plays. Mm-hmm. And within I, I looked at his plays, I was like, within ten minutes, I was like, I automatically know how this guy can go from. And he, and he he was winning. I'll give him that. Like he mm-hmm. knew he knew his he knew his stuff. But it was just too many plays, and yeah. I'm I'm so proud of him. Like I talked to him last week, and he sent me yeah, he sent me a message. He said, uh, I followed your advice with less volume, and it's looking so much better. We're up 1.46 units, and it's only Wednesday. And then, like, a little bit, it's like, 
I'm streaking on tennis. I got rid of all the other plays. I mean, he, mm -hmm. I'm like, he's like, he loves betting tennis. Loves yeah. betting tennis. And he's good at it. He knows all the players. Yeah, so he's, uh, yesterday, four and two in tennis. Up for the day. Then he sends me a message today. Probably not betting the Super Bowl. I'm up. I was like, Great. hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Right there. That, that Just, yes. Yeah. Perfect. It's <laughs> so... It, yes, it's perfect. It's simple. It's the hardest fucking thing to do. <laughs> it is impossible. It's it is so the hardest difficult. thing to do, guys. If anybody's left listening, you you got to realize it's just hard. It's like quitting smoking. It's like quitting drinking. You have a craving to put a bet in, mm -hmm. and just stop your craving. Mm -hmm. and go do something else. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, so, yeah, absolutely wild. Like, so proud of him. Like, just, just within a week. He was, he, he was like, yeah, he's like, I really liked a couple free plays that I saw in Wager Talk, and I saw a couple free plays that I like here. And I was like, mm -hmm. and, I was like and, and I was like, I already know what your favorite play on Monday was. I, I, to, I told him, I was like, I see all your plays. And I was like, I already know what your favorite play was. What is it? And he was like, Katie Bolter and tennis. And I was like, I was like, exactly. And I was like, so why were there three soccer plays, four mm -hmm. college basketball plays, two NBA, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, well, I saw free plays here and saw this, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, if you had just put that one play in that you know, it, you knew mm -hmm. you were going to win. And that's what he's been doing. Just getting rid of all the noise. What's the best of the best of the best. Uh, I think yeah, you're, so I think you're on to something, man. If you're looking for you're looking for a side job. I think this would be your side job, to be honest with you. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Be a consultant. Get a clientele. I, yeah. I, I, I think I can help. Not think I can help. I know I can help. I know you can help. Yeah, I know I can help. Because you kind hold people accountable. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, anyway, wild night. Wild night. Yeah. All Good right, so, Super Bowl boys. Yeah, I still got a couple plays locked in, so we'll see. Um, do we have any look aheads for next week? Do we try that? I'm not. I'm not. I, honestly, yeah, I'm not feeling myself right now, and uh, I don't like a lot of the play. I don't like I don't a lot like of the fights. I don't like it. We'll see what happens later in the week. I think there's Fucking better spots. Sean Gore. If, if you were going to ask me right now, would I rather bet on UFC or pick one play in bare knuckle for next week? I'd rather pick one play for bare knuckle. Oh, we're going all in on bare knuckle. Yeah. Absolutely going in on bare knuckle. Absolutely. Yeah, there's, there's a gym lesson right there is we, we need to be okay not betting on the UFC. <laughs> yeah. No, period. It's not an ego thing. It's just like if this is the shit they're going to give us till 298 and 299 and 300, I'm not betting on it. Yeah. These cars have yeah. fucking sucked for three weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> for um, three weeks. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, so you do want all your eggs in one basket. No, mm -mm. because the the plan is just to make 3% a week. And on that, per, like, f just using him as, a, as an example, he, he had something like 11 plays on a Monday. And he knew what the one play that he liked the most was. So instead of having one play at like 3%, he had 11 plays that he had like 10% on. Mm -hmm. And so my, what I was telling him was I was like, you need to go seven and three, probably eight and two with the juice to really kind of turn a little bit of a profit. And you're sprinkling it across a bunch of different sports. And that's just really, really hard. But you knew you had the one play that the books fucked up a line, the lazy mm -hmm. line. And if if you put 2% on it and you win, now you only need like 1 or 2% for the rest of the week. Yeah. So it's not like you're going it's not like you're putting 20% on one play. But it was like, no, this was the best of the best play. And I I've told people this like I think this is probably my favorite analogy like when you're betting against the books, it's like doing a free throw contest against Steph Curry. If you're standing on a basketball court and Steph Curry comes up to you and says, I'll challenge you to a best of the free throws, best of hundred. 
mm-hmm. you have 0% chance of winning. Mm-hmm. And that's like the same thing if you fire off 100 bets against the books in a week. You, you're probably not going to win. But if Steph Curry says, best of three, you, you actually have a chance. What if he chance. misses one? You, what mm-hmm. if he misses? And so, like, you're, spoiler, you're not going to beat <laughs> Steph Curry. But by lowering the amount of chances that the expert has, you increase your chances. So in that particular in that particular instance, like that, what that guy was saying on Monday, he knew deep down inside what the play was that he was going to make his two percent, mm-hmm. and and so what I was telling him was, okay, let's say you, let's say, okay, let's say you go three percent and you, f- she fucks up and you lose three percent, okay, but you already put eleven plays in. What if you go two and eleven? You lost way more than than three percent. So the low volume mm-hmm. on the individual sports. It just protects you from the huge losing days where you just get absolutely cleaned out. So, and those are the bad ones. Those are the days that really ruin your progress. Oh, kills it's like, your bankroll. It's like if you're falling off the wagon, you know. Like say you're. <laughs> it's, I'm see. Don't tell me I it know. doesn't make sense. It because, does. Hey, it absolutely make. We're all addicted at some point. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. We're all addicted at some point to gambling, to some extent, <laughs> and it's an addiction. For some people, and yeah, you gotta let it go. All right, uh, no bubbles. You would smoke, then go against. You would Steph smoke, Curry. and yes. then you would shoot. It's free throws against Steph Curry. Orders wrong. Lee, props. What comes first? They show Taylor Swift or a TD. No value. Mm-hmm. I would lean. They would show Taylor Swift because I think this is a defensive battle. You could see some field goals in the first quarter. Yeah, and if they cut to Taylor Swift. I guess it's, does the first kickoff have to happen? Because I think they could cut to her before the game starts. You know, I had a question with you about this because you had said the amount of time that she's on TV. So say Chiefs win. Clock goes to zero. Does none of that time matter? No, you have to check the book's rules. You just have to check and see what the... Be careful, be careful. Yes, absolutely be careful. (laughs) <laughs> so. It's like all of a sudden there's 30 seconds of her and Travis hugging <laughs> at the end of the game. You think the one? No. Yeah, no, them. it's zero to zero. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. Uh, Taylor Swift getting shown on the first Kelsey reception. <laughs> on, well, I, I told people to uh, take the under on 28 and a half seconds of her being mm-hmm. shown on live TV. So, mm-hmm. um, I like that one. I don't think she's going to be shown that much. I, 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 I don't think she'd be shown hardly at all, actually. The only thing I'm going to add to my Super Bowl card is I have to find something to put with that touchback. I just think they're going to kick it out of the end zone. It's not going to be returnable. If Butker, if, if the yeah. Chiefs kick first, yeah. Butker's blasting the He's going to kick that fucker it. gone. It's minus 300, so it's a piece of something. Absolutely. I mean. Yeah. That's a, it's a good one. It's a good something. one. Something. <laughs> <This is, laughs> yeah, there's. Me and Bubbles were having this debate <laughs> during the week. It's getting returns. Yeah, Bubbles, Bubbles bet no touchback, so that's where, that's where he's at. <laughs> <It's kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we've Yeah, we've got the plays locked in. Um, yeah, we have a 5% on the Super Bowl that we had to take down because the fucking books moved the line. <laughs> so pissed off. <laughs> oh, oh my God. So, well, good stuff. I'm going to get going. Uh, we'll be doing Road to Millions tomorrow, Super Bowl edition. <laughs> with the mo- Yes. Time out. I just got to yell at him. Bubbles, the fucking kickoff line got moved. What, two years ago? Those numbers don't matter. <laughs> they don't matter. <laughs> I love you, buddy. But they kick off <laughs> 10 yards deeper than they used to. That's why it makes sense as a parlay piece. The, the, the NFL used to want kickoffs because it was more exciting. Then the lawsuits for CTE came and they were like, no more kickoffs. <laughs> 
It's yeah. so true. Buckner's Buckner's gonna kick it to the thirtieth row. <laughs> <laughs> Row thirty behind the goalpost. <laughs> there was there was there was another one that was like that was just fucking hilarious. God, what was it? It was it was something similar. It was like, well, yeah, the they changed the rule. Yeah. Oh, like, oh, no, like, <laughs> so the rule hasn't been in effect for more than six years. Of course, it's, like <laughs> that cracks me up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry, sorry to interrupt. No, you're. Good. I was waiting. I was waiting for him to throw that stat out. Line. That's but, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what the. Oh, the shift. The shift in baseball last year. Yeah, this we're, year we're, it's gonna be gone, right? Uh, well, like last year, like we 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 had a future on Corey Seager to have like over a certain amount of hits. Because he was like the number one player affected by the shift the most, yeah. he missed he missed six weeks because of injury, and he still went over. <laughs> <laughs> and like, if you would look it up, you would be like, "Well, the last three years, he's never gotten even close to this many hits." It's like, "Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they had five people on one exactly. side of the infield." <laughs> you got to pay attention to those rule changes. <laughs> that was it. Was the Corey Seager and the hits? Like you were like, it was like, well, you know. I don't know. He he's had 112 hits average the last five years, and his total is at 160. And you're like, yeah, easy over. (laughs) (laughs) They can only put the normal amount of players over there now. (laughs) Me, yes. (laughs) Oh man, god damn, was that funny? Uh, All right, good stuff. Good luck, Bubbles. I hope you hit all your plays, man. Born (laughs) sinner. It was great to talk to you tonight. So. Yep. uh, all right, Jim, I'm sure I'll talk to you t- tomorrow. So have fun cooking all your your 12 different things of meat. There's one good thing that can happen tomorrow, and that's that I will be full. So. Overeating, mm-hmm. absolutely. Mm-hmm. Love it. Love it. So, All right, guys. Good stuff. I'll talk to everyone later. See you guys.